I like it. I like it this way round. I've moved it. I've moved it a little bit closer now. That's a bit better. I think it's me. Let me scoot closer. <laughs> There you go. Oh, it's happy Claire weekend. McDonald's. Oh, give us a smush. Love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, happy weekend, everybody. <gasps> and today? I know, I know, genuinely. I was up at the crack of dawn this morning. Literally up at the crack of dawn because I'm so excited for <gasps> today's show. I know, I know, I know, I know. Do, shall, we, shall we just for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we have. We've been spoilt with the wonderful collectible opportunities that Dave has brought to us for, I don't know how long it's been, maybe a year, two oh, years now? Yeah, incredible, sure. isn't he? Yeah. He's wonderful, isn't he? He is. He's so, so, yeah, and he's, he's so, he is incredible at what he does and he's lovely as well. Wonder, uh, yeah. yeah. Do you know, he's the funniest person. Yeah. Literally so funny and just unbelievable at what he does. Yes, yeah. Um, but... Today, not only are you getting one of those amazing rare opportunities, you're even getting, and bearing in mind that Dave sort of rubs shoulders with, I'll blow his trumpet now when he's not here, because he'll get him, he gets he gets he gets embarrassed otherwise. But Dave rubs shoulders with the likes of Levion. <gasps> yeah, Eddie Levion. The biggest names in jewellery design. Dave's probably very good friends with. Well, he has taken all of that wealth of experience and designed his own collection. And I have to say this, I truly, truly believe that this showcase is one of the most spectacularly beautiful collections, never mind here at Jewelry Maker, never mind here at Gemporia, that maybe the world's ever seen. I know mm. it seems a big statement, but I stand by it. Do you know, it speaks volumes. My husband is not even remotely interested in jewelry. Not even remotely. No, he'll, he'll try and entertain me or yes. not. He'll try and look interested <laughs> when I'm talking. However, when I showed him these pieces, he was like, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, exquisite. And you said it's such a perfect pink, isn't it? It, it is. Uh, pink is my favourite colour and this is just, yeah, it's absolutely perfect. I love, I love this necklace. I love it. Yeah, it is gorgeous. I love it so much. Well, look at that. I know. <gasps> we are talking about Queen Conch. Oh. We've never had it here before at Jewelry Maker. We've only ever had it once at Gemporia. None of these pieces have ever been seen before. They are brand new, exclusive today. And I can categorically tell you they will all sell out. Do you know, again, if we just, the people in this building that have seen it, the fact that Ross is like, has actually said this morning, I. I, I, in fact, I can't say it, can I? Ross, you've, you've, you've shown an interest, haven't you? He's... Okay, okay. He, sa uh, he said he's buying today. Mm, yeah. Claire and I yeah. 100%. He's just deciding which one to get. Oh. And it's a tough decision <gasps> because the donut is amazing. I have to say, I love that almost... Fabergé design oh, as well. Yes, yes, that's the... exactly, yeah, it's absolutely incredible. Look at that. It's stunning. And then, <gasps> I, I'll... <sighs> for those people that I want know. something a little bit more, <sighs> a little bit more dainty. It's beautiful, beautiful. It, uh, just gorgeous. See what I mean? That, it is that perfect pink, isn't it? Look, oh. <sighs> and yes, this will be new to so many of our lovely viewers. It's new to me, so I'm really excited to learn about the story. I know, mm. I know, I remember Dave going to the Caribbean on this quest, if you like, wow. to find Queen Conch, and this is the end result. Uh, it happens at 10 o'clock today. Dave's most beautiful collection, and I truly, truly, truly know that you're going to love every single one of those. Um, they have, we have some pieces which are like mini kits as well. So you've got, we've got Queen Conch strands, mm -hmm. So you can make full necklaces if you wanted to. Yes, we've, yeah. We've teamed it with natural pearls. We've got it with a connector and with a clasp. So yeah, so you do your own, yeah, your so own you setting. So you can do your yeah. own setting. Yeah. Oh, Claire, it's well, so, I'm so, so, so exciting. <gasps> so exciting. Yes. So if you had any plans, you you must, you must draw a line through it because at 10 o'clock it is, yeah, it, it, it's going to be one not to miss. 
So, what else do we have included in today's show? Well, we've got gorgeous Claire McDonald. Oh, you've got some thanks. stunning kits. Can we oh, show yes. these? Oh, yes. Yeah, really lovely. Stunning. I've got rings. Yeah, nine o'clock. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Love really lovely shapes. Really, really lovely shapes to work with. Really enjoyed these. Amazing. So you have you've got the little mini high goo or yes, donuts. Yes. Yes. And then you've got this almost column, haven't you? Yeah, like a column yeah, of jade art. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Loving that. Beautiful to so work with. So coming up within the kits and, yes. and the demo today. Yes, yeah. We've also got, I know something that you were very excited oh, about I last time. Oh, I love these. <gasps> They're stunning, aren't they? Coming up as one of your early birds, you've got your mystic topaz in oh. a mixture of cuts. Look at that. At wow. nine o'clock on the dot. Because, we, uh, yeah, we can't do it before. Do you know why? Because this first hour, it is a lounge hour. Ooh. Oh, I know. Now, what does that mean to you, for those people that are new to the channel? So, okay, basically, you have until from now until 9 o'clock to make your confirmations. If you leave, put them in your baskets and don't check out, they will not be available. Um, and it, again, you might be thinking, okay, so I'm on a time restraint. How does that benefit me? Well, with that time restraint, it means we can take the prices even lower. So um, if they're on the website, you know, sat on the website or maybe throughout the course of the show, uh, but lounge hour will take them even lower, but you have almost like a little curfew. So how do we do this? Have a little look on jewelrymaker.com. So all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. And then you can uh, click on our faces for Watch Live. Not literally on our faces, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> um, and, then you, and then you scroll down. There's me. <laughs> <laughs> this making me, do you remember the one, me, you and Linda, like that? Yeah. The Duff Duff. Yeah, but that's what people said. It was like it was like at the beginning. It was like at the beginning of. It's a murderous duh, look, duh, wasn't duh, it? Duh, duh. It was. Yeah. It was a photograph taken. I don't even remember the photo being taken. But no, it was I don't. Me, you, and Linda Brumwell, literally yeah. all lined up, all yes. looking in the same direction, and and should we, should, should, should we do? Should we? We'll, yes. look, we'll look towards Finn. Yeah, look towards Finn. This was our expressions on that photograph. Duff, 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 duff. <laughs> I didn't know I could, I, I don't know, know what I, know. I was we thinking. really must smile when we're on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, sidetracked. Have a little look at the, at the website. Scroll down and you can shop ahead. You can message in if you <gasps> want me to bring them to air. Lots <gasps> of pieces will be going lower. What have you just Ooh, got? Oh, I've seen um, that, the pink, um, is it the mystic? What's the, oh, yes, I've seen that. that I'd oh, like the mystic that, pink please. topaz. Yes. At 30, uh, no, no, it's not. Hang on, scroll down. What is it? Uh, one oh, and a half carat, no, more than one and a half, almost oh. two carats. Nineteen ninety nine yes, for that beautiful please. emerald cut stone. Um, so yeah, you can shop ahead on that, but some of these will go even lower again. We've got some of your lovely braided or studded Yes, that's cord. nice, isn't it? We've got diamonds. What? Yeah, diamonds. Check these out. Diamond hoop earrings or shepherd hook earrings. So perfect if you want to include it with your jadeite, maybe your oh. yellow jade from yesterday. Um, or alongside maybe your queen conch, which would be absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, it's going to be just the most astonishingly beautiful show. These are lovely. Aren't they amazing? What a morning. I know. What I know, a weekend. What a weekend. Yes. Did, you see the, did you see the yellow jade yesterday? Yes, I did. Oh. Just uh, out of this world, isn't it? Yeah, Beautiful, gorgeous. beautiful. So yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. It's a historic weekend, I think, for, for so many. Yes. Years. Well done if you managed to get hold of the yellow jade. It really is beautiful. Um, Queen Conch today. Oh, my goodness. Dave's designs, which... Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Okay, Very shall proud we get cracking? Shall we? Let's get cracking with your beautiful designs. It's the WAF. Ah, starting us off this morning, this is beautiful and very clear. Oh, I love I, this. I think of you when I see this. Look at that beautiful bubble star. That is Stunning. wonderful. Stunning. Julia Tins. Oh, no, it's not. Hang on, I'm really confused. I'm starting at the at the back. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, we can read backwards. Number two, Dan, just I so you know. I think this is probably Ross's fault, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I, I'm starting at the last one and then moving backwards. Am I? Ross! He says, Ross. Never mind, there's, Ross. There's, there's Ross saying name and shame to Dan, and it wasn't Dan, it was Ross. 
There we go, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go, Ross. We love you. Never mind. Sit down. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. You're not taking the conch with you. Sit down now. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Is he sat down in the chair? Is he? Are you happy, Ross? He's all right now. There you are. <laughs> love you. We love you. <laughs> what are you doing? Writing on a cake? What are you write? To Ross from Ross. You bought yourself a cake. Okay. <laughs> Right, start us off. 219 is from Denise Wilson. There ah, we go. There we go, Denise. How right. lovely. <laughs> That's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is my entry to the WAF this week. Born out of a happy accident, I recently started crochet blankets, uh, but got so far um, and realised I was using the wrong colours for the pattern. Oh. Rather than waste what I'd made, I got some wire and a hairband and a shell pearl, all from Jewelry Maker, and made this. Good luck to it's all. It's gorgeous. That's stunning. I love those happy accidents. That is lovely. Because Beautiful I'd have never Denise. said that was an accident. No, gosh, no, it's lovely. Um, that's what I thought you would have set out to bake. 220 is from lovely Alan Hopkins. Oh, wow, Alan. Stunning. Absolutely Beautiful. Stunning. And look at the photography as well. It's incredible. Oh, clean, isn't it? Mm. Wonderful, clean photography. Uh, please find my entry to this week to the WAF. It's a 925 sterling silver chain and pendant with freshwater pearls. All from Jewelry Maker. I think I remember that, 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 yes, that pendant. Yes, yeah. Um, good luck to everybody. I caught a few shows whilst we were on holiday in Barcelona. Stay Ooh. safe, everybody. Are you the second person we've spoken to this weekend that's in Barcelona? Oh, how nice. Because didn't we have somebody yesterday messaging What's from that? Barcelona? Shopping from Barcelona. Um, and number 221 is from Kim Hopkins. Beautiful, beautiful Kim. Oh, I love that. That's she says, gorgeous. This is my entry to the WAF. It's 925 sterling silver gold plated suite featuring Tiger's Eye Donuts and a Mobius ring jump. Sorry, jump rings in a necklace. Slider bracelets and earrings, all from JM. Good luck to everybody entering. Stay safe, everybody. And that's from Kim. That is stunning, isn't Over it? Over to you. Beautiful. Here we go. So I've got 222, two, two, and this is Fran Porter. There we are. Amazing, oh, wow. Fran. Uh, morning to all. A weather report I saw today's um, says next week's temperatures will be going up. Attached are a pair of earrings using gem uh, duos, a couple of silver coloured dome beads per earring, some 11 O's and some uh, silver plated copper head pins for the ear hooks. I hope you like them and take care to all. Beautiful. They're lovely and I love the stand as well that they're on. Yeah, it's amazing. Gorgeous. Did you did you make that stand? It's incredible. It's lovely. Yeah, amazing. Beautiful as well. Uh, right, I've got 223 and this is Barry Harvey. Oh, that's Beautiful, lovely. Barry. Look at those colours. Hi guys, this is the green jasper marla kit that I got from you a while back and I've added orange banded agate as a marker bead. Uh, as marker beads. I'm loving the rings that are sent into the Wall of Fame, but sadly the arthritis in my hands means I can only wear my wedding ring. Love and magic to all, and that's from Barry. That's gorgeous, Barry. Beautiful, Barry. Uh, and then I've got 224, and this is Julia Tinsley. There's Julia. Yes, beautiful. That amazing love bubble it. style. Absolutely. Got, love it. Got, you, we got to show it twice, didn't we? Yes, yeah. Hi all at JM. This is a Lariat style necklace using white coin, fuchsia, peacock, and grey pearls from a pearl scoop some time ago with silver shell charms. Love this one. Hope you like it too. Love and hug. And that's from Julia. Gorgeous. Love back to you, Julia. It's beautiful. Absolute. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, good luck in the draw. So it happens this Wednesday. Oh, with me. <gasps> so I will try and be lucky for you as well. Oh. Yes, yes. I love the draw. Did I mention how exciting today is going to be? I genuinely cannot <laughs> wait. I can't, I cannot, cannot, cannot wait. The studio looks breathtakingly beautiful. It does. It looks like a Bond Street. Yes. It's shop, it's doesn't it? The presentation. Even the fact that... that we have to the presentation, but the boxes. The boxes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. The fact that, <gasps> Claire, you and I have been pushed against this back wall. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's true. Speaks volumes, yeah, and rightfully so. That's yes. we're, we're where we should be. Yeah, right it's quite there. nice actually. Isn't I do it? quite like it. With it's the quite tools, com yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this was how yeah. we originally planned it to be the studio. Yeah. So I don't know why we're only just doing it now. Yes. Um, so you got your tools behind that you're not allowed to use. <laughs> Just for decoration purposes, yeah. Um, anyway, shall we get cracking for what will be an absolutely amazing show? Truly it will. Um, remember, these deals are available only until 9 a.m. this morning, so make sure you do check out those baskets. And I'm going to start with something. Oh. Uh, what, did you, what was that noise? That was a, oh. Oh. Look at me. 
<laughs> I know, that was a proper swoon, wasn't it? Sky blue topaz. They are, oh. they are a little bit of you. Oh, I love them. And anybody that does, uh, um, obviously, silversmithing. Yeah, or, look, or tube setting, so something like that you could you could do. So that that's so that's tube setting with rounds, probably about the same sort of size, isn't it? Yeah, what, four mil? I think it probably is. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring your hand over here. <laughs> here you go. There, there, there. So that's the that's the tube setting. Oh yes, yeah, so you can actually use use yeah. uh, use the sky blue topaz. Yeah. Hello, Mandy, saying good morning, gorgeous ladies and fabulous crew. Excited for today's show. Going to see Halloween tonight. Can't oh. wait. Oh, that sounds like a lovely day. <gasps> sounds oh, like a really, it does. really good day. It like does. a bit of Halloween. Honestly, Mandy, today is going to be mega, absolutely mega. Uh, hello, Margot. Good morning, lovely people. Looking forward to another fab show and demos with Claire Queen Conch must get and that's margot we are oh, all saying exactly yes. the same thing margot it's it beautiful is, margot it honestly I, i'd go as far as saying probably one of the most beautiful gems i've ever seen mm. yeah it's uh, outstanding isn't it yeah Absolutely. really yeah. amazing now yeah. these are brand new they've never been on our screens previously before also i'm thinking about those of you that do things like dremel um dremel into your big baroque pearls that'd yes. be lovely yeah uh, moving on to what labyrinth a big labyrinth oh yeah beautiful labyrinths within this Everything, by the way, in this hour, brand new, Ooh. brand new. So, yeah, don't think we're taking it to these low prices just with, uh, say, sticky stock or anything like that. No, no, brand new premiere opportunities. Wow, I've not uh, seen this as well. This is lovely, isn't full it? Full of size. Full of labadrescence. You've got a really pronounced cabochon. Mm. Um, really beautiful dome, which is only oh, enhancing that stunning phenomena effect. It's a six carat solitaire. Um, so again, things like your gallery wire, Claire, and your bezel strips. That. Yeah, Oops. it would. Hang it on. Would. Sorry, Finn. Making this really difficult for you, aren't I? <laughs> Not totally and utterly natural. It's really hard to hold, and I can't find my tweezers. Sorry, Dan. Oh, I should have said this earlier on. <laughs> Four pounds and ninety-nine pence only. I mean, just imagine that. Sort of set with, I don't know, some of your gallery wire or some of your... Oh, thank you, Claire. It's OK. You come prepared. We're not even stopping there, though, says Roscoe. Not even stopping there. Look at that. That is lovely, isn't it? And how nice that you know that you're going to get around. Because then you could, that can influence your designs. And, you know, if you're going to... Wow. You know the measure... Definitely multi and earrings will be beautiful with that. You know the though. measurement. So yeah. you know the... Yeah. Sort of, and you can do recommissions, can yes. you? Yes, yeah. You're your best, your own best advertisement, as they say. Absolutely. So if you're wearing this in a piece of jewellery and someone says, oh, I love your ring, and then you can go, I can make it for you. Um, two pounds and 99 pence. How many did we have then, Roscoe? We had 40. Um, we don't often see the rounds in your cabochon. I don't know why. I don't think there's no, actually and any that's a nice behind size, that. isn't it? That's a lovely side. That would go very nicely with um, that wire coming up in the 9 o'clock. So you perfect the with the 9 a.m. kit? Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. So is that like a D-shaped? Yes. Yes. So it's got the flat side and then the yeah. curved. Yeah, yeah. So you could almost frame it, couldn't yes. you? Yes, yeah, and just glue it in. Which, to be honest, you're going to be needing your additional gemstones with the nine o'clock kit. Because you've got loads of the wire. You've got loads yeah. of wire. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, at a 2 .99, why not? Uh, stock up moustaches. We've also got some lovely garnets. Do have a little look on the website and make sure you check out loads of people taking up your recommendations, Claire, in multi buying, like Joe Surprise, in Hampshire, yeah. Yeah. Melanie in Suffolk's multi bought, Stephanie, Oxfordshire, Rachel, Tracy, London, Walden, to you all. Make sure you do check out those baskets. I only had 40, only had 40, um, and available until nine o'clock. Um, so if it's in those baskets, it won't be there come nine o'clock. Um, have I got my Yuki? Yes, I do. That's this a is nice a nice colour. colour. It is, isn't it? I would put those with <coughs> the, um, you know, the wrapper around bracelets that you've got. Think what, that. these? Yes, yeah, that's nice together, yeah. Oh, they do work, don't they? Yeah. Also coming up within this hour, we've got different colours too. It's going to work with all of those. Um, yeah, I don't think I've actually seen this colour before. It's described as matte galvanised dark mauve. Oh. I can't say mauve like a normal person. <laughs> I have to say it like that. It's quite nice. Mauve. mauve. It's a mauve. good word, isn't it? It's an enjoyable word to say. Mauve. Mauve. I don't know how I say it, Norm. Mauve. 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 <laughs> mauve. <laughs> Three pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, there's a warmth to this. There's a definite... I like that. Purple presence. 
Do you think of excitable today? <laughs> yes. Honestly? If I was Good a child, if I was a child, my mother would be basically saying, "Will you just calm down?" Yeah, taking him aside. Right. Yeah, yeah, just just calm You're not down. Not being clever or funny. Yeah, stop showing off. Settle down. Just settle down. Yeah, that's a hundred percent conversation that would be going on. Three pounds and ninety nine pence, but again available uh, at that price point only until. 9am this morning and you can shop ahead on the website as well do chat to our contact center if you are uh, if you're shopping with us on the phone lines as well they are fully fully prepared for what will be the most probably historic day in jm history mm. i know big statement yes. but what i stand by yeah. um should we do some fire polish can't remember the last time i saw fire oh, polish I like these. these are pretty aren't they How red light brown tortoise shell Okay, I, I don't know how to go about describing that. But it's almost like you've got like a, I don't know, you've got something going on inside, haven't you? Yeah, it's a bit like a... Um, Terrible description. Um, what's it, what are they called? Do you know that Rutile? It's a bit like that, isn't it? But it's um, bigger inclusions. It's That's... a pound, Claire. It's a oh, pound. Oh, my word. Right. Yeah. Something going on inside. I don't know why that raised so many titters <laughs> from the gallery. <laughs> oh dear me our lovely customers good job they're with it this morning claire isn't it because uh, uh we're just yeah we've got to simmer down somewhat yes excitement and a pound well yeah. done london's got three rachel's got four midlands has got four susan alison angela tracy oxford gloria diane well done Remember, only available until nine o'clock. And do come and say hello text in we'd love to hear from you this morning i've got some more beautiful mayukis and these are, have I got the right ones? Delicas, which are a transparent taupe. <laughs> well, how did you pronounce it, Us Torp. It's torp. Is that your Coventry accent? Torp. You are good with words. Um, look at how beautiful they are. Oh, they're like a smoky quartz colour, aren't they? Nice. Really beautiful, and you can see they've got the flat sides are, are delicate. So yeah. for those of you that do see beading, you'll know that um, <clears throat> basically they, they they create almost a fabric, don't they? Yes, like a, I mean I'm not a sea beader, but I'd imagine they sit together beautifully, don't yes. they? And then make a, a yeah, rather than the rounds, it's the flat edges together. Yes, no 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 bumpy bits. They're yes. just smooth. Yes, the Lovely. worst. <laughs> <laughs> the worst description ever. There's, there's I think. a few good ones this <laughs> so far. I'm not, we're only 22 minutes into the show. Um, goodness me! I wonder if Dave's ready for both Claire and I. At two pounds and ninety nine pence, I, I, I think I'm right in saying, and forgive me if I'm not, but I think I'm right in saying that you pay more a slightly higher premium for delicas. I know they tend to come um, in these uh, in these smaller tubes, but don't be fooled by the size of these tubes. There's yes, there's a lot thousands in there. It's them, isn't it? there. Yeah. And they're nice little alternatives to a spacer bead. Yes. Yeah. Don't have to use your precious yeah. metals every single time. And in your time. wire work as well. That's true. So lovely and uniform, aren't lovely. they? Lovely. So, Perfect. Yeah. And with your tassels. <laughs> yes. I mean, tassels I think there's a multitude. Good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, available at two ninety nine for you today until stocks last or until the very top of this hour. So make sure you do check those out. Any requests, if you're looking on the website and there's something that you want me to bring to air, then you can always message me and, I, and I'll do that. Shall we do some brand new premiere? Okay, I'll try my best. Mukai. Mukai, mate. I can't do accents. I can't. I can't. I can't. So bad at my Scottish accent's the worst. Oh, can't wait for no, that. No, I'm not going to do embarrass myself on it. Yeah. Because I also because I also might offend lots of our friends in in Scotland, and that was never that would oh. never be my intention. I love the Scottish accent. That's why I tried to copy it, but I can't. Um, I can't do it. Uh, so from the <laughs> western coast of Australia, you have oh, this beautiful one locational gemstone, not formed anywhere else on this planet. Mukai is completely natural. It's a variety of jasper that comes in these wonderful mauves, these beautiful uh, uh, um, okras, mm. um, and these crimson reds. Totally masala natural. as well, isn't it? The oh, masala, masala, that's yes. a nice word. Now yeah. I'm going to be craving a curry. Yeah, Ooh. It would be lovely now, wouldn't it? No, it's too early in Oh, the no, I'd eat, I'd eat one now. Would you? Lovely chapati, yeah. Oh, yummy, yummy, yum, oh. yum, 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 yum. Oh, yes, my tummy's going to be rumbling now. My my next-door neighbour cooks the most unbelievable curries. Oh, really? Honest, it's in, in like, Yeah, in like a, a proper tandoori. Oh, wow. And it just wafts over the fence, mm. just turn up at the doorstep. Oh, 
<laughs> anyway, we're sidetracking, aren't we? We're talking about tandoori's and curries at 25 past eight. Um, it is the mukite that sort of pushed us in that direction. But yeah, totally and utterly natural. Um, I can uh, advise there are only two licenses remaining open at the moment of your mukite, which tells me it is limited. They are now having to source this gemstone from the river beds, obviously making that much more challenging Gosh. to source. Um, so this may well be one of those gemstones that we have to come to uh, expect that it will be maybe uh, running out in the foreseeable future. They haven't mentioned that in any articles that I've um, that I've uh, that I've spoken about, but two mining locate uh, rights. Mm. That's it. That's all there is. Gosh. Do you know what? Not going fast enough this morning. It's a premier. They're six millimeter rounds, stunning mukite. Mukite under ten pounds for starters. Oh. Three for lovely six. Yeah. For, I mean, you think about. Just turn that into a stretch. Stre yeah, absolutely. A beautiful stretchy bracelet. And that's something, I mean, so giftable, isn't it, Mukai? It is, I think, and it's um, because the different colours that you've got in there, um, it's just going to, it will go with lots of different, uh, anything you've got in your in your stash. But, I mean, if you've got the seed beads, I think the seed beads would work oh, what, fabulous. The, what, Either the, of them. But the mauve. Work. The mauve. The mauve seed beads, they would be lovely, but also so would the taupe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mauve and taupe would look absolutely fabulous. Taupe, mauve, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Sorry, can't say it like a normal person. Um, that's on the verge of selling out. Well done. Shall we do some beautiful rose quartz again? Claire McDonald, eat your heart oh, out. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Lovely look addition to your nine o'clock kits, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. It's a nice size. Again, you know exactly. So you know exactly what <coughs> size you're going to be getting. Yeah. Oh yeah. So if you do your commissions and yeah. things like that, yeah. that would be great. Twenty carats in the ro in the gemstone of love. Be a beautiful ring, wouldn't it? It really would. It'd be a stunning cocktail ring again One with things like twenty nine. Yeah, hang on, Ross. Sorry, I've only just <gasps> clocked that. It, yeah, it, yeah, it's big. It's thirty by twenty two millimeters, and it's that perfect color saturation of your rose quartz. Um, I love it because it's almost dreamlike. You have that beautiful, soft, semi-translucency to this wonderful gemstone. Again, we were talking about the beautiful pink of uh, a Queen Conch earlier on. Yes. It's, yeah. that, it's that gentle beauty and appeal, I think, yeah. that you get um, with these softer tones. Um, and plus, uh, again, if you have a business, Rose Quartz is so commercial because there's lots yes, of everyone's, meanings yeah, behind everyone, it. And everyone knows it, don't yeah, they? And it is, it's true. It's, yeah, that's incredible. It's on the verge of selling out. I'm not surprised. We, yeah, so, no surprise there. No surprise. Um, shall we do some more sea beads? These are described as silver-lined dark aqua. Oh. And these are Mayuki, yes. So we had the Delicas earlier on, which are almost tube-like. Um, hang on, what does that say? Motana, have I picked up the right one? Hang on. There you go. There you go. Sorry, my bad. Picked oh, up look the wrong at all one. those lovely colours in there. Oh. So this is your Matana. I believe it's the most one of the most popular colours, one of their biggest sellers. That needs to go with the um, the mystic. Uh, is it topaz? The mystic beautiful. topaz. Yes, yeah. that is perfect together. That's yeah. coming along. Perfect. Make sure you check them out. Uh, oh, should we do some more labradorites? We had the cabochon earlier on, which I believe uh, is close to selling out if it hasn't done already. Well, these are nice little collections, aren't they? That, that's what I was thinking. It is literally, a, it's a suite of jewellery, isn't yes, it, potentially? Yeah. So you have three of your beautiful, almost satellite bead shapes. Um, so immediately I'm thinking of maybe marker beads or guru beads to your mala necklaces or maybe just a suite of jewellery. So literally a pair of earrings and a pendant. Uh, but you also have this uh, double point. Now, if you're into your sort of metaphysical uh, uh, um, crystal healing uh, properties of your gemstones, um, the point is very popular because it believes to channel the energy of the mm. gemstone towards your heart or wherever you're wearing it. But great for things like this. Be wonderful I'm, with I'm that. Just, can I borrow yes, that for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, I'm just going to steal uh, Claire's beautiful jadeite ring. So if you wanted to do that technique, which you're going to be demonstrating yes, something like yes, this, aren't you, yes, in the nine yeah. o'clock hour, yeah. you could do that with your labradorite, of course. 16 carats uh, you're actually getting here, so that's one beautiful labradorite point, full of labradorescence in that really lovely, beautiful, soft cashmere grey. It's my favourite colour, actually, when it mm. comes to... Um, to the labradorite. Uh, yeah, I agree. You sort of like get the lighter <coughs> tones, don't you? Some, a lot more of the pinks in the in your labradorescence. Yeah. Well, people people sort of chase the northern lights, don't they? Yeah. They chase the northern lights, and uh, Lindsay next door. I know she's been uh, to see the northern lights, and she only saw it in a photograph. In a photograph. Did she? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but 
if you can imagine the northern lights maybe at dusk you know when it's yes. slightly uh sl not not pitch black darkness that's what i visualize when we're looking at the cashmere mm. grays here uh, in contrast then you have got that really beautiful sort of deep heathcliff color yes yes yeah. that's the mysterious like moody, yes. moodiness yeah that you see within uh, your satellite beads at four pounds and 99 pence great to go alongside claire's amazing demonstration that's happening in the nine o'clock hour um, so if you wanted to recreate uh, that beautiful jadeite ring, but with labradorite, then get involved with this uh, with this deal. Remember, they're only available until 9 a.m. All stocks last. Chantal, Samantha, hello to Teresa, Jill, hello to London, Elizabeth, Carol, new customer, Carol, hello to Noala, Heather, you're there as well. Early morning deals. Brilliant. Just warming ourselves up for what will be the most incredible show three pounds and 49 pence only isn't it? and uh, for that uh, shape as well it's stunning isn't yeah. it and very yeah. very very workable isn't it so yeah um somebody's asking is the point drilled let me just see let me just double check no so you there's, so i mean i'll be showing you different ways of um you know yeah, doing that sort of like that center bit but i mean and that's with soldering but you could do your wire work couldn't you through that you could do um using your seed beads uh you could go all the way around yeah like a like a um mark was talking about, oh in fact he did peyote yesterday well, so you yeah. could put peyote around that, yeah the perfect yeah yeah that technique would work but are you gonna uh, you know in the nine o'clock hour yes. we're gonna be yeah. talking about soldering so yeah. very easy to absolutely uh, set in that way and and also don't shy away from a bit of trusty glue no Even well, there's a little jewelers. bit there's, there's a little bit of glue in the um in the um in the in the jadeite ring there's, exactly. absolutely, there's nothing wrong with glue nothing no. wrong with it even the biggest designers will work with it just yeah. just for peace of mind really yeah. just put a little bit of glue on there just to secure your gemstone yeah. um absolutely flying out the door and if you love this i'm just going to swap out the the labradorite and oh that's lovely isn't it <laughs> Do what you sounded like then, Adam. Have you seen on these like reels and things on Facebook where normally it's like little puppy dogs and things like that? Just gonna have myself a little laparoonie. <laughs> uh, have a little laparoonie, a na naparoonie and cheese. <laughs> no. Sorry, it's is that, just me. Is that Adam? Uh, it sounded like Adam, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and naparoonie and cheese, and you've got these little cute dogs to sleep. Ah. I know, it's very sweet. <laughs> Um, so if you love the labradorite and you want an alternative, in fact, a sibling gemstone, beautiful, beautiful Amazonite, conjures up images of beautiful tropical destinations, a member of the Feldspar family. But did you know your Amazonite will look even better by sunset and sunrise? Oh. Because they glow. They literally glow. It's a magical gemstone. I think really unique uh, sort of colour tone to it. Very popular. Uh, the likes of Monica Veneda, mm. um, really, actually, I, I would personally credit them for putting this gemstone in the limelight. I think mm. over the uh, limelight over the past sort of couple of years, three pounds and forty nine pence. So again, you're getting three of those beautiful satellite bead shapes. So maybe that's uh, your earrings if you wanted to, um, and then uh, and a necklace, and you could create that gorgeous ring that uh, Claire is demonstrating in the next hour. Is it is that ring? Yes, it, it is. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, it's that that's one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Phew. He's yes, be making that assumption. But then they're a perfect pairing, aren't they? The, all the angles in the, um, the two different shapes. Amazing. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well done. Make sure you check out those baskets. Moving on to what, sorry? A bundle of pearls. Three strands of oh. pearls. Um, do you know what I would be getting this ahead of? Yeah. It'd be perfect to go alongside Dave's amazing, amazing collection. Um, so yes, the queen conch, if you wanted to maybe create a longer line necklace, maybe you wanted to mm -hmm. suspend yeah. Claire's, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, nice. I'm literally calling it yours now. It, I think it is now, isn't it? <laughs> but yes, it is. Um, the yeah. queen conch pendant on a long line necklace, absolutely stunning. Three strands, genuine cultured pearls. Um, you've got a mixture of your shapes and sizes. You know, we're massively in the pearl uh, market now, we're hugely embracing, not just your... It's not just about the perfect round anymore, is it? You know, we love um, so your House of Gucci inspired Baroque pearls. Yes, yeah. Michelle Obama, of course. I think Dave spoke yesterday, really putting uh, Baroque pearls in the in the limelight as well. Um, it, it is about embracing, if you like, and celebrating these beautiful quirks um, and textures. Totally natural, genuine, genuine cultured pearls. So we're not talking about simulated or shell pearl here. 
three strands. Wow. I remember not that long ago when a single strand of pearls would have That's been 19 crazy. Yeah. Lounge hour, remember? They are only available at this price point until 9 a.m. So you've got to check out those baskets. One of those pearl strands would have been 19.99, probably only a few years ago. Do you remember that? That's that's <coughs> incredible. Uh, and when you've got something like that, and you've got that, uh, you know, definitely twist it and do. Um, oh yeah. You know, just may maybe try, if you're used to maybe wearing just sort of like single strands, maybe have a go and see what it looks like, you know, maybe a triple strand or, or well, twisting we've got. it like that. Because that's, that's, you know. We've got the Queen Conch connector. Yes, and that's, coming up. yes, yeah. So these would be absolutely beautiful if you wanted yeah. to put them on. Oh, there, look so. at that, yeah. yeah. I mean, for, look how... For 19, nine, that's, that's incredible, isn't it? Just beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. They would be amazing alongside today's show. Um, you do get all three strands. You haven't got to choose. Again, beautiful, crisp, white, genuine cultured pearls. And look um, at the size of them as yeah, well, Al. You, know, you, could, you could be taking those and they, they could be earrings with your earring. You know, oh, the, yeah, the, the earrings. earrings. Are, yeah, and they would be statement, it, large pearl earrings. That's Still amazing. Still the diamond yes. earrings that we're doing at a, yeah. a lounge hour deal. Yes. How many did we have then of, of, of this? Yeah. There were 16, uh, but we've only got three left and we're over allocated. Well done. So shall we move on to... Oh, amazing deals this morning. I know. So good. I know. It's genuinely going to be one of my, um, my favourite shows. <laughs> <laughs> Ross is literally... I, I love how... He's uh, blowing his own trumpet. He is rather, he? isn't he? Yeah. He is rather. None of us do, so yeah, he's got to, hasn't he? <gasps> <laughs> we do love Ross. Oh, he's Hello. got a nice drink there, look. Got And a cake. Yeah. What's the name of the caterpillar again? Morris the caterpillar cake. Morrison's own caterpillar cake. Do you know, I remember, actually at Jewellery Maker, it was one of the crew's birthday and uh, they cut up the birthday cake and someone gave me the face of the caterpillar. Yeah, what's that all about? Do you hear his reaction then? And I was given that and apparently that's a big no-no. You don't eat the face of the caterpillar. Why? That's the, that'd be the best bit, wouldn't no, it? But, no, but it should be the person whose birthday gets the face. Oh, OK. So, yeah, but I was enough, given yeah. it, and very just like... Did you eat it? Yes, because I just thought... <laughs> that's Is what I've been given. birthday? I don't know. Is... Oh, no, 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 just... You bought a mystery bag from Morrison's for... from an app, and it came with lots of... Really, for £4? So he got a cake, he got... Is that too good to go, that app? Ah, uh, go what? Go puff. Okay. I've not heard of that. No, not me. I do like good, too good to go though. I always champion a bit of good, too Ooh. good to go. Yeah, because I'll go if if there's any local, you have to be quick with them. Have yeah. a look, download the app. It's really good because if there's any bags like Morrison's will do it, your supermarkets will do it, Waitrose. I landed, I struck gold the one day because crispy cremes. I got a crispy creme too good to go. So I went and picked them up and it was one of those massive boxes full of Krispy Kreme donuts. So there's me and Willow literally walking around our street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, just go on it and then you go and, and get it? And they were it. like three quid for this <gasps> big box. You don't know what you're going to get. Well, Krispy Kremes you kind of do. But it was like a big box and then we were going around our neighbours dishing out donuts. Oh, and how get on it, lovely. Get on it. And it's yeah. obviously great because you're, you're saving food, aren't you? Um, I didn't talk even slightly then about the lapis lazuli. I'm ever so sorry if any of the parents have been watching. <laughs> Oops. Love lapis lazuli, oh. and I didn't even remotely speak about it. I'm too busy. I'm too busy talking about Krispy Kreme donuts. Um, should we do some more pearls? <clears throat> and the other one is Olio. It's a good one to get on. Olio, yeah, Olio. Oh. Um, I do because I am a massive feeder, and when I cook food, Jake, Jake came over the other day with, uh, with lovely uh, with my best friend Hannah and their kids, and I, I could feed about sixteen people when yeah. people come round. So instead of it getting wasted, I plate it up and then you put it on oleo. And if anyone wants to come and get a roast dinner, they can come and get it. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So they come and just get free charge. Oh, I'm going to look at all of yeah, these. Yeah, really good. Uh, £29.99 pence only for beautiful, beautiful pearls. Um, I don't know what they're described as in terms of the shape, but I'm looking at... They look, look very... At those. They look surely near round. 
high in their luster. And again, I know it doesn't say that actually on uh, uh, on the graphics, but can mirror like that luster is. They are lovely. Ross, what is that? These aren't shell pearls. They're genuine pearls at £9.99. So again, if you're thinking about these. Really, uh, but it's the potato thing again, isn't it? Like, I know that's the actual name, but it's just... It's, it's unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah. I, I mean, I love a potato, but it's, then there's nothing... Who potato. doesn't? Yeah. They're way too elegant. It's not, it's not the way you would describe no, a beautiful cultured no, pearl, is it? No, no. Um, yeah, totally agree. Nine ninety nine is also not a price tag that we should expect. If that was knotted on a nine carat gold clasp in somewhere like Ernest Jones mm, on your high street, mm. it's going to have a three figure price yeah, tag definitely. attached to it, isn't it? Definitely. Uh, <clears throat> it's going to be a sellout again. These are absolute early bird deals, but they're only available for a remaining twenty minutes now. So if you've got it in your basket, I would definitely, definitely check out. Don't be shy as well. Come and text in. Come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you. We are super excited. Super excited. I've, we've seen him. Dave, can, can he hear us right now? As he just stepped out. Okay. Well, we'll say it when he comes into the studio. Just how beautiful. Yeah, just how beautiful, how beautiful his collection is. I'm yeah. so excited for you all. What an opportunity. Well done. They're on the verge of selling out. Gabrielle, Channel Lars, Alison, Angela, Janine, Paula. Uh, well done to you. Moving Aww. on to what, sorry? Morning, Gabrielle. <coughs> Morning, lovely. Some more pearls. Oh, I like these. Again, Do you like them the... so much that your husband will have to whisper? It would be nice with the diamond earrings. Yes. That we've got coming up. Look. Oh, yes. In fact, look at all these lovely earrings that Anne and Sue have created. Beautiful. Just one pill. Oh. Just one pill. Suspended. Job done. And you've got more than enough on this strand to make a multitude They're of pairs of earrings. They're beautiful. The silver colour. Mm. I mean, uh, listen, uh, yeah, they're dyed pearls. Nothing wrong with that, though. You know, we know what yeah. we're getting, and it means yeah. that you can obviously, uh, we can achieve a, a more affordable price point. They're still cultured pearls. You know, about six, seven, eight years ago, probably even less than that, we only ever saw coloured pearls had they have gone through mm -hmm. that treatment yeah. process. Yeah. And we love them then, and we still love them now, especially when, when it means that you can get hold of them at under £10. Yeah, for that size. <coughs> They're big pearls, aren't they? I'd be putting those with some of the, you know, the... Um, again, wait, wait, the, wait. The, the, wait, wait, uh, wait. Sorry, Claire, go on, finish what you're saying. Oh, no, the, just the, um, the, the, you know, the, the leather, the, one of the, um, the wraparound cord. I'd mix the two. Do you know what I've just and noticed? They look very large, don't they? Are they? <gasps> they are. They're big whole pearls. Oh, you do uh, be stretchy. That's a stretchy bracelet then, isn't it? Or, or your macrame. That's incredible. That's got to be at least two millimetres, hasn't Look it? So that. you could probably get that through some of your thicker... Look at that. Hang on. Look. <gasps> so even, Claire... Oh, my word. Even your silver wire that is coming up in the nine o'clock hour goes... Ooh, that's terrible. Sorry, Finn. Goes through... Goes through each of those pearls. Oh, Wow. I'd be getting these ahead of the nine o'clock kits because you can That's literally incredible. have like a, yeah. a spinning yeah. pearl ring. Amazing. Well done. <coughs> Shall we do these? The ones that you've been eyeing up. I love these. They're gorgeous, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Again, very, uh, very Masoma, quite Ashley Clark in that you've got that beaded, beautiful bezeling um, to these. Now, you're, it's obviously not the pearls, so that's been attached by um, our lovely Anne and Sue with just a simple wrap loop, just perfect. Um, but if I turn it in that direction, can you see you have got that little, little jump ring at the bottom there, um, ready and waiting for you to suspend whatever gemstone you wish. Look at the quality of the... Um the actual the, 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 the post is going to go through your ear. Look, yeah. You can see, can't you? How you have that lever they, action. Yes, yeah. A lot of sterling Fabulous. silver invested in these. And again, with that beautiful, almost like a, a, a sort of vintage frame, you've got that beautiful bezeling um, all the way around. Uh, £29.99 pence for three and a half grams of sterling silver. This wonderful diamond shape. Um, you're getting a pair. How many do we have of these? Uh, in a, a hundred, okay. A hundred available. Um, again, the kind of thing that you could use with, say, your yellow jade from yesterday mm. or the queen conch that's coming up because we have got a strand of queen conch. I mean, anything, couldn't you, with that? that the beautiful silver. 
and that pattern then will go with anything anything that you've got amber you know anything that you've got on there i would also i would i would like them as well without without anything on them i think they're beautiful earrings just you know maybe slip well, off the yeah. little and because they're such a great shape and design yeah absolutely Absolutely, yeah. I mean, with all of your high-end gemstones, the ones that you really want to showcase. Yes, yeah. Again, we do have strands of Queen Conch coming up within uh, Dave's amazing collection. So if you are thinking about uh, creating that beautiful Queen Conch mm. uh, drop, that would be absolutely beautiful. Just wire them on as yes. well, couldn't you? Love it. Nice. Now, we have just over 100 of these available. And we also are on the brink of the most amazing show these are premieres they've never been on screen previously before look i was doing last night you know sat feet up cup of tea in hand doing a little bit of christmas shopping i'm well into the christmas shopping now i've got that in my mind october in fact i'm a little bit behind uh, this year it's October. That's the most beautiful pair of earrings yeah. for, 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 for one of my family. Definitely, yeah. And if you can do the wrap loop technique, which is one of the first techniques that you actually master, yeah. Yeah. then you can recreate these earrings or something similar. Now, we've got a big quantity. Like I said, they've never been on your screens previously before. At £19.99, you've got three and a half grams of solid, precious metal. Like Claire said, you can see the quality, can't you? <coughs> Excuse me. That's so good, isn't it? Should I hold them up to the ear? Mm. So you can visualise them. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. They're uh, very elegant. Claire, we've got 14 minutes left on this hour. We're not stopping there. Shall we sell these out today? There are loads of you... Uh, loving this design we yeah can tell. how do we know that the call screen it's that simple it's that simple yeah, lovely the clock is ticking away brand new a big investment of 925 sterling silver i love them and they're almost going to if you imagine it in the ear it's the, it's, it's like they're going to be so the diamond shape is going to be coming from either side of the lobe isn't it do you know what i mean by that because the bar itself will be hidden are absolutely gorgeous. They're drop earrings, but without becoming overpowering, mm. if that makes sense. We're going lower than £14.99. pence. I don't think it's a case of, if I was saying, oh, they're available at this price tag till the top of the hour. No, I'm going to say this. They're available until they sell out because there are so many of you getting involved and also choosing to multi-buy. Well, why wouldn't you? Mm. Why wouldn't you? I think definitely if our buying team are watching this morning... They're probably having a lie-in, to be fair. But if they are watching, we need to reorder these. The reaction from our lovely customers is huge. They're beautiful, aren't they? Like a huggy style. Mm. £11.99 wow. only. Do you want to have a try at the ear? Oh, no, no, thanks. Not on my Why? sideburns. No, thanks. <laughs> OK. Oh, they're so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. They are really, really lovely. And just, just wearable. So could I maybe sort of wrap directly? Yes, obviously, you've got the jump ring, but what about all you the could, way around? You could also wrap. Uh, so going sort of from this point to this point as well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, that point to that point. <laughs> Couldn't you? You could go across, so not just down. <laughs> you could go there. <laughs> it's very unnerving when someone's literally... <laughs> Go on, do you want to describe it there? So as you've got like this this apex here, so you're Could going be, across it? there and, you know, so it's so not just drop here, but oh, you can yes, go I across see what there. You mean, so so, yeah, 0 0.4 um, sterling silver wire, because look, you've got lots of um, anchor points in there too. Yes, so, so to really create nice. one of those, what were the things as a kid that you used to do like, what's, no, not etch sketch the ones that used to like do that circle and they do all that geometric like spirograph shape. that's it yes that's yeah. it you could do like that kind of spirograph like oh, there's, a, like there's a name for that it begins with g there's a natural name is there uh, yeah i, I couldn't gam, even remember spirograph so gam something okay gamma text in if you know gam, not no not gammon 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 gam gammon i don't know the don't text know. in if you know the answer 11.99 <laughs> Oh, gammon egg and chips. <laughs> Elite, that is. 
elite. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, okay. You can still get them, but remember, there's tons of people on the phone line, so they will be a sellout. Um, I'm about to. Do you know one gemstone we haven't seen that much? That much? Amethyst. I can see them. Look at that glow. We don't You're right. We know we don't. We don't. Do you know what we definitely <gasps> don't see? Wow. Amethyst look at these. like this every day. <gasps> Do you know what? In your high goos of jadeite, can you imagine? Oh, perfect. Oh, it's a dirty box. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> let me just, oh, let me just try and open it because. We need to be looking at the amethyst, don't we? Goodness, ow, hang on. Claire, I'm so useless. There we go. Oh. <gasps> look oh, at them. Oh my goodness me, I'm so glad I did that. Look, look, look at that quality. Do you want to see a price tag, says Ross? That you're not going to say. That's incredible. That, the colour, it's deep, it's intoxicating, it's regal. Oh my goodness, I'll even go as far... Look Would we that. agree some oh. of the best amethyst? Yes, definitely. And we don't definitely. see it that often anymore. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's such a beautiful, beautiful stone, isn't it? It's such well, an amazing colour. <laughs> Colours like this used to come from, I mean, more often than not would have been Zambia, and I know Gemfields own the Zambian mine. Um, I don't think they do anymore. So maybe that's had, maybe, this is me speculating here, but maybe that's actually had a, um, an impact, if you like, on the on the uh, um, availability of top yeah, quality yeah. amethyst, and I don't hesitate in saying that this is top quality amethyst because but they, they see, almost look liquid like, yes, don't they? yeah, and especially in that shape as well. But it's, uh, you know, I think um, there's a real power, don't you think, with that the the effect of, of color on you? And, and to me, that is a I can just it just feels like it's a really strong powerful stone oh, it that's really wonderful is. look at that so beautiful once upon a time historically this was a gemstone worn only by royals and it was an indication mm. of their wealth um I, I don't know you can definitely see that sense of luxury that comes with a sort of deep yeah. intoxicating amethyst maybe that's why cadbury's for example yes. actually go yes. for this beautiful yes. blue because it's an indulgence isn't it yes. Um, but we've been starved of it here at Jewelry Maker, which is, and, and, and this, the, you know, these cabochons is really making me realise, gosh, I miss amethyst. Yeah. I haven't seen it in, that, in such yes. a long time. Yeah. And even strands we don't actually get. Six ninety nine, Ross. So, Claire. Yeah, and your bezel. You could could do I do bezel, this? You? Yeah. And depending on what sort of tube settings, you, you know, what sizes you've got, you could, you could do that. But yes, absolutely, you could bezel wire. How beautiful with your bezel wire. Yeah, seed beading bezels as well would be lovely. Wow, wow. And you've got, how many is that? Three, five. Five individual stones yeah. varying from seven to 11 millimetre, all of that deep, beautiful, intoxicating colour. Full of pleochroism, of course, amethyst. So you, you don't just get purple, which in that in itself is it is an incredibly popular Wait, is color that this one is it that one is it like a bit like tanzanite isn't it which one this blue? one the, the, the lighter one at the um at the at the back at the back uh, yeah, yeah it has got light yeah because you get these kind of bluey pinky yes. uh, uh sort of color play yeah um, from yeah. its natural pleochroic um ability stunning stunning quality um and again the call screens have gone crazy you've got what seven minutes remaining to make your confirmations um, so, Tina, Heather, Cynthia, Jane, new customer, Maya, Tracy, Linda, Donna, Bernadette, Somerset, uh, new customers, you disappear off the screen, Cynthia, Julie, Lynn, and Mona, hello to you, Isle of Man, Gabrielle, Linda, Shirley, West Midlands, Thomas, Alison, lots of multi-buyers, Pauline getting involved. How many did I have, Roscoe? 50? Oh, okay, they're definitely going to be a sell yeah. at them. I've got less than oh, 20. Oh, morning, everybody. Good it's lovely morning. to see everyone, isn't it? Oh, up, up and Adam this morning. What is going to yeah. be an amazing, amazing show? Um, there we go. Let's put the dirty box back on. Ah, <laughs> ah, oh, oh. hang on. Let's see. Is this a dirty clean box? Look at that glow again. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that glow. Hessenite garnet. That's amazing. There are 50 available. Also referred to as the cinnamon stone, Hessenite garnet has a magical ability to create Gosh. an effect described as treacling. 
Oh. If you're a whiskey drinker and you've ever sort of poured just a drop of water into your whiskey, have you noticed how it creates that swirl, that beautiful Ooh. swirling inside? Hessenite garnet has that ability to do that with light. It's just breathtakingly beautiful and it's totally and utterly natural. It is a little fun fact for you. It's also the first gemstone that our founder actually unearthed with his own two hands. Really? Yeah, perhaps feeding yeah. his ambition and love of and passion wow. of gemstones. So we might say that we've got a lot to thank Hessenite Garnet yes. for. They are available for five minutes at £4.99. pence. <sighs> Um, of course, uh, January's birthstone, um, and most people think, oh, January's birthstone, that's red garnet, but actually they're very lucky, fortunate, ja January mm. babies, because you have a wealth of colours. All different colours, yeah. It's one of my favourite gemstone families to actually yeah. discuss garnet, because you've got hessonite, you've got zavarite, you've got demantoid, you've got your colour change. It is wonderful, isn't it? Look at the glow, though. It just draws you in, plays it? light with light, doesn't it? <gasps> yeah. We've got how many? How many, Ross? 50 we had. Oh, my left. word. Well, they're not going to hang around for that, though. Again, your, your, your techniques that are coming up in the nine o'clock hour. Well, this, so, so um, certainly <coughs> a, a ring shanks would be great with this round wire, but this, this profile wire, that D-shape, you know, it's going it, it to, uh, it's beautifully around all of your, uh, the curves of cabochons and like the, the tube like I've got. So that is the perfect, you know, you just, just go all the way around that and then, you, you know, you, you could glue it in. It's absolutely stunning, or you, you solder it to it, you know, um, sterling silver. But I mean, that's a that is a huge garnet, isn't it? Yeah. Like you say, it's a birthstone, huge garnet, and it's incredibly beautiful um, for two ninety nine. Two ninety nine, and we're basically looking at it. You know, the worst it's got, it's going to be because firstly, it's through a perspex. Secondly, it's in a studio, so wait until you see it in natural light. Um, just gonna, yeah, bowl you away that cherry red. Mm. Um, okay, let's do what? Sorry. The studded rope. So you get both of these colours. In terms of the length, this is very you, this. I do like this. I really like it. Um, got, a, got, a, got a metre long length. So you can literally just do kind of wrap around braided bracelets. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. And they look do they do look very nice, don't they, look together? Yeah, they do. That's a good colour mix. Very on trend mm. as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Uber, uber on trend. £39.99. pence. Uh, but you're not paying that. Do you know what else you're not going to pay? You think, you know, and that's, look at single wrap bracelets, um, you know, if you're going to look at, you know, on the high street. Uh, not even, you know, sort of like your designer, you know, higher end ones. I mean, look at that. That's great, isn't it? It's it just so do cool. Two two coils at the end to say if you've got your um, on your step bail makers or on your gizmo, uh, little loop, and then just glue that in, and you can make make your own findings for it. So cool. That's wonderful. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, or you can even just tie it. Yes. Where? Yeah, because you've got it more than enough there. I just, I, I love as well. It's the attention to detail, isn't it? It's the different coloured studs in there. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be great if it was all silver or all one cut, but I do like that you've got that mix in there too. Well, you're not just getting the navy, you are also getting the yeah, blue. Perfect. Again, two metre lengths of both of these colours. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you, don't, you only have to do sort of single wraps, don't you? Yes, if you wanted yes, to. absolutely. If you, it, it, this is the kind of thing that it reminds me of. There was like a pop-up stand in my local town that um, in the lead up to Christmas, uh, they might be there this year as well, but they ha used to do really nice scarves and really nice sort of gloves and, mm. and sort of wrap around style bracelets like yeah. this. And they were about £25. That's so good. That's £3.50 each. £3.50? Goodness me, and even I could make that. That's saying something. <laughs> well, I'm not the most talented jewelry maker. No, you don't. No, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, you are. I should get my own little pop-up stand, shouldn't you I? You should. Absolutely. You should. I mean, wow. Even if you sold them, like, one wrap at £10. Exactly, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking you'd, it'd be more than that, wouldn't it, for one, yeah. one length of it, yeah. And it's going to cross, uh, uh, you know, cover lots of different craft as well because a lot of our jewellery maker customers would maybe be good with textiles. Yeah, it might be a trim on something as well, mightn't it? So it, like clothes a jacket or, yeah. or a bag yeah, or something like shoes. that. Shoes. Well, again, lots of you stocking up your stashes on these amazing early bird deals. You've got one minute... 
one minute, there or thereabouts anyway, um, to check out your baskets before all of your items will disappear if they haven't already done so um, in terms of sellouts. The other colorway. It's nice. Now these have never been lower for whatever reason than 9.99. Love that, it's a really beautiful teal. And then you've got, they're stunning, aren't they? Today, for the first time ever, we're going to match the previous price point. So I think I'd be putting all four together. So the colours are, they, they work very, they work very well. that kind of price, they? why wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Imagine how lovely that would look, a collection like that, if you were, do, you know, you had your own, um, you know, like artisan stall. That'd be wonderful, wouldn't it? Yeah, you could maybe create four, I don't know, what single wraparound yeah. of each colour. Yeah. Um, and, and what did you say about the clasp? How do you do the clasp? So you just, you can, so I've done them before where you, you make a, sort of like a little section, like a coil, um, and then leave a long end on one, one end, you turn a loop in it, uh, and then on the other end you make a little hook, or you, just, or you could use um, uh, a lobster claw or anything like that, and then just glue it in. That's it. Job so done. you're making essentially like a bit like um, a ribbon cord end, something like you know, that. Even if you did like four of these colours, Different colours or two, whatever. It sold them at twenty pounds for, for two wraps. Yeah, or if you've got, you know, if you've got a glue gun, do like a, you know, oh, like a, press, a, a press stud or something like that yes. onto onto the end. That's a great idea. Yeah. For the first time ever, we are going to lower that price point. Remember, you have a matter of minutes to make your confirmations. A matter of oh, minutes. Gosh, yes. Six pounds and 99 pence. Yeah, time is absolutely mm. racing by this morning. I think, well, it always does when you're excited, doesn't it? It always goes super quick, super, super quick. Because have I mentioned we've got the most beautiful showcase today? Oh, the most beautiful. Um, your early bird is coming up with your mystic blue topaz. That's coming up immediately next. So you haven't got too long to wait for that. And we've also got Claire's gorgeous, gorgeous kit hour as well in the next hour. So we're going to go, we're going to dive straight on into it. Mystic topaz, a wonderful gemstone that actually, well, topaz has been around for many years, obviously, but, um, this technique, this beauty of gemstone has actually only been available to, within the market since the 1990s. And ever since that, that uh, uh, um, launch that happened in Hong Kong, the world has absolutely adored it. Often referred to as your Caribbean topaz. Mm. This beautiful, beautiful gemstone um, just displays every single colour that you can imagine. It's your early bird and it's next. <laughs> I just want to show you, I, I very rarely get the chance to look at this book um, and particularly this page. Um, but it is only a short section and it's my words that I've sort of researched over many, many years. But I'm going to read it to you whilst you admire your beautiful mystic topaz. Um, so mystic topaz, firstly, they are all born completely colourless. <gasps> so it'll be the finest quality colourless topaz. And the reason why it has to be, um, you know, ultimate quality is because it would be quite literally pointless going through this technique, this advanced technique, um, to transform it into these beautiful kaleidoscopes of colour um, if there were inclusions Look within, because it would just literally <gasps> block it. So it was launched in Hong Kong in September 1998, uh, but actually it took several years before this majestic stone actually hit the mainstream Ooh. market. It begins with the finest quality natural topaz and uses a modern technology called CVD, that's chemical vapors disposition. The stone is transformed into a kaleidoscope gemstone. This process places a very thin layer of titanium onto the colorless stone. And I should point out that that layer is on the underside. Um, so we, uh, we will only go through that technique and put it on the pavilion of the gemstone. So what that means is when you're wearing it as a finished piece of jewellery, it's not going to scratch. Um, or less likely, I should say. Um, it is recommended that you look after your mystic topaz in the same way that you would do a pearl. So don't be afraid of wearing a gemstone that has an element of coating. Just, you know, just look after it a little bit more. And like I said, we do um, pay attention to where that coating is positioned within mm -hmm. on the gemstone. Um, the ultimate cocktail gemstone, also known as rainbow topaz and Caribbean topaz. I know, Claire, when you and I had the privilege of launching this, that you were... 
you you were a little bit head over heels. I was head over heels, yeah, absolutely. We don't see it doing Mystic no, Topaz. No, 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 we don't. In fact, I, I don't know how often they see it on our sister channel, to be honest. No. Um, and whenever it is available, it is always an on-screen sellout. Now, it's your early bird today. I have a limited quantity available. You get a, you'll get a mixture of your cuts, guaranteed five carats. So in my studio sample, I've got a pair and a, an oval and a oval size. You might get, I don't know, three, you might get a trillion, you might get an emerald cut, you might get a round brilliant cut. Um, guaranteed top quality mystic blue topaz. And that's the thing, we, we all love like your tanzanites, we love our sapphires, um, we love, I don't know, London blue topaz, for example, but with a mystic blue, it's like the ultimate pleochroism. Mm. You know, topaz is not a pleochroic gemstone, but with that mystic technology, it gives you those flashes of greens, those flashes of pinks and purples and golds and yellows within this wonderful, as it said, majestic stone. The graphics are live. It is available for a very, very short time. So please, please, please don't leave these in your basket. Oh, oh, I beg your pardon. So the lounge hour has ended. This one is available. However, let me just remind myself, how many have I got? A hundred, okay. Do you remember what these went to? What, do you remember what they, we launched them at? I think, I, no, no. Do you oh, no, I, I, was, I, I feel like it, I, I remember thinking it was crazy. But you don't want to say it out loud. No, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. Yeah, I, I, I agree. <laughs> because afterwards, so when afterwards I um, got one of the, the rounds and worked with it because it's, I mean, it was, you know, like you say, head over heels. It's fascinating that <coughs> that that iridescence on on the on the back of it. And I hadn't really studied it properly. Mm -hmm. um, so I did. So I went, I worked with it and created like um, just a sterling silver, almost like a, a crisscross grid that was that was new for me of a way to set set the stone. Um, but that it. When you actually sit and you study it, so it's an incredible from the, the front and you're seeing all that mystic, but the back is really, really beautiful. Be it is it? really, really beautiful as well. And that's that fine, yes. fine layer of Yeah, and, and I didn't know until, until we, uh, you know, we bought them. I didn't know that that's what it was. And then you think about, you know, I always remember seeing that titanium jewellery being younger and being absolutely mesmerised mm -hmm. by that because the finish of it and all those colours, it is amazing. And, you, and you've got that effect in the stone. Oh, well, and again, here it's wonderful. in the studio, we're actually looking at it at, at, at its least favourable. Yes, well, I, I would say, for, so from my experience is, you know, get them out, have, have a look at them, and then, um, I mean, they're, they're lovely to just have. It's that peacock, all the peacock colours, yes. aren't they? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like, it is like the eye of, the, yeah, pe yeah, peacock feather eye, definitely. We're at 19 yeah. for five carats. Five carats of mystic blue topaz. We did not close there. I mean, just look, look at them, they are, they are absolutely amazing. Again, just imagine, imagine this one here in like a cocktail ring, yeah. with a halo of maybe, yeah. I don't know, colourless topaz or yeah. diamonds or um, it, it, how much would that be? And it, it'd probably be in nine carat gold, more than likely. Mm. Yes, you can get mystic blue topaz in silver as well. But even then, you're going to be talking, I think, best part of, uh, of 100 pounds, if not more. We didn't even stop here. That price point that oh, you're yeah. reluctant to say yeah. out loud. Yeah, I am. It is, I, it, 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 that is what we did. Yeah. If you watched whilst we launched these, you know what we're talking about. That pear cut, look, it looks like a quad eight hands. It's incredible, isn't it? And I'll put, I'll put the, I'll put the, I'll take a photo of the pendant that I made, and I'll, I'll put it on my um, uh, guest designer page so you can see. I kept it really simple, little bit. Of I did use sterling silver. Um, it's just, it, honestly, when you're working with them, it's just a lovely experience because, it, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to work with and really study it, look all the way around it. And, and that influenced me with the setting because obviously you want the light at the back. But yep. also I wanted to show it a bit as well. So that's a mystic blue topaz, yeah. sterling silver ring that you've created. It's a pendant. So I did a pendant. Oh, sorry. Pendant, yeah, yeah but I mean, you could, you could, absolutely, you could. I mean, they'd be beautiful rings. Well, Claire, at this price point, you might want to create the full suite because... You get a mixture of sizes, a mixture of cuts. You get five carrots for nine pounds and ninety nine pence, which is yeah, absolute madness, really. Um, I mean, straight away. I mean, I've got two Look here, 
two here, which are both big stones, yeah. two and a half carats. I yeah. know one's bigger than the other, obviously, but I mean, that's mad that five pounds. That's five pounds. It's incredible. Uh, if you're lucky enough to see Mystic Blue Topaz on the high street, which is actually not that readily available because of the technologies and the advancements that it takes to actually transform the finest quality topaz to mm. this beautiful hypnotic kaleidoscope of color. Um, you pay a premium for them, though. You do, don't you? I mean, yes, it will be in sterling silver, but more often than not, my experience anyway, is it's in nine carat gold. You know, we used to do showcases when I was on Gems and they would all be sellouts. And the gold, I would, I mean, I, I do, I do mm. like, I mean, I think because you've got the blue, so the blue and the cooler tones with the go beautifully with the silver. So I was happy with the pendant, but I totally, you know, with the gold, because you have got those flashes of yellow, haven't you, in there? Because you've got that, that rainbow, you can, and you can especially see in that pair, I mean, gold, yellow gold would look lovely, because it would really enhance that, wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't it? Out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 9.99, we had just, done, uh, just over, sorry, 100 of these available. Um, so in the photograph, you can see you've got a pear and a round brilliant cut. I've got here in the studio an oval and a pear. Uh, you might get an octagon. But that's nice, isn't it? You look at uh, people <laughs> multi-buying, you know, you don't know what you're going to get and how, how wonderful is that. And there are lots of lovely designs. If you have a look now at um, different rings where, where lots of designers are putting those two completely different yeah, shades together. Yeah. Um, and just putting them side by side, it's incredible look. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I yeah. love that design yeah. as well. Like a, like a Gemini kind of yes, design. Yeah, yeah. really yeah. beautiful. Um, Chris in West Midlands, you've got fifteen carats on its way to you. Johnny, you've got ten carats on its on your on its way to you. Pauline, you've got ten. Loads of multi buyers. Christina, Olivia, hello to you. Chris, Elizabeth, uh, West Midlands, uh, Leicestershire, Joe, Pauline, Nicolette, Leslie, well done to you. Margaret, new customer. Belinda, Gordon, hello to you. Merthyr, Tidville, Sunbury. Oh, beautiful. London. The new customer Somerset, well done. Make sure you check out your baskets mm. on those because there was only a hundred. Oh, uh, enjoy them because they are beautiful. Oh, now we are less than an hour away from the launch of Queen Conch. This has to be, or oh, it's never been on our screens before, it's only ever been on our sister channel once. Has to be some of the most beautiful, beautiful pieces that you will ever, ever, ever see. We have the wonderful Dave stepping into the studio, launching his first ever beautiful collection here at JM. And I know you're going to love it. Coming up in the next hour, we have the talent, the gorgeousness that is our lovely Claire McDonald. Yeah, thanks. Um, that is going to be demonstrating these beautiful sterling silver pieces. So any questions that you have yeah. relating to your beautiful silversmithing, then Claire is your girl. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you check out your baskets. It's just under an hour away, but beautiful kits and demos coming up after this. For five years, uh, I've been working behind the scenes on launching my own uh, special collection to you guys, the collectors. I wanted to bring you something that you'd never seen before. I wanted you to encounter true, unsurpassed rarity. The beginning of this year, I was in the Caribbean searching for vendors to bring us this material. I've been to Edar Oberstein to try and find carvers that can work with this material. Eventually, we found a high jewelry house in the midst of Hong Kong that worked with some of the biggest jewelry houses on the planet. And we are bringing you a limited couture selection of the legendary Queen Kong. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Jewelry makers, this coming Wednesday, we are launching Britain's Next Gem, a hugely exciting competition that Jewelry Maker launched on social media some months back. The finalists will be joining me in the studio from 8 a.m., that's this Wednesday, and we need you to play your part in crowning the winner. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Make sure you go to our website www.jewelrymaker.com. We have got over a thousand lines going into a huge online exclusive clearance with up to 95% off prices. Wow. See you there. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. We've just been talking about past dates. Haven't yeah, we? dodgy dates. Dodgy dates. <laughs> dodgy dates. Yeah. Oh, I bet we've all experienced at least one, haven't yeah. we? We've all experienced one. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> anyway, Claire, you've done it again, haven't you? Oh, dear, I, I love... I, these were really, diff really different, different... Um, uh, shapes to, to work with to make rings and I, I, I really really enjoyed but doesn't it doesn't it show I mean look, looking at these stunning designs you don't need a multitude of components to make luxury jewelry no, do I, you I think that's the thing I think when you're working with um, really interesting shapes we always say don't we like a lot of work is, is done for you so maybe keep the rest of it quite uh, quite simple, I guess. I guess like the the larger ring, you know, you've got a little bit of, of wire work, but it's not particularly what I wouldn't say is ornate. But it's all about the shape of the gem, isn't it? It's 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 about the um, the gemstone itself, and that it's a really interesting shape, both of them. Yeah, look at that silver work on the shoulders, stunning, Claire, absolutely Thank stunning. You. Thank you. Um, uh, basically, two kits. We've got a few additional yes. components yeah. that we're going to be yes. introducing yeah. as well. Um, how do the wires differ? Because I, I differ. I know we've got obviously different shapes. Yes. Of but the wires are different. Yes, as well, aren't they? yes, they are. So you've got you've got some really interesting uh, wires in in both of these. So the wire um, that, that you can see, so this one here, mm -hmm. that comes with the uh, sort of like the the tube, the column. Um, you can see in there. So you see, if you have a look on the outside, you've got that lovely curve, uh, and then on the inside, you've got off that flat edge. So that's like a yeah, perfect. So it's like that D the profile. So it's, it's like called D shaped, shape, isn't yes. it? So wedding bands you can get. In yeah, that shape so it's as well. really comfortable to wear, but it also works really, really well if you're trying to um, enclose and get a nice secure fit to um, on the side of gemstones, and that could be could be cabochons as well. So I've actually used this um, almost for very flat. You know, when we, I think you had them yesterday. The, you know, the beautiful rose cut flat tanzanites. Yeah. It works fabulously with that as well because because you've got the the the, um, the cabochons are, are shallow, so you can just push it over. It works fabulously with those. So it so sits alongside the actual girdle of yes, the gemstone. Yes. And yeah. then in the other kit, yeah. I firstly, mean, it, beautiful, beautiful. A lot of silver. Yeah. So you've got your good, really good weight structural wire here. So Solid sterling yeah. silver wire. So yeah. this would be things like your shanks. 
Yeah, so that is, if you have a look, that's that. I mean, and how much, look at how much the, the thickness of silver there. And that hasn't even been, I haven't done anything, so I haven't hammered it or textured it, anything else like that. And you can see you've got, you know, that's good, really good structural wire there. Beautiful, beautiful gram weight. Um, mm. So two different mm. kits. We have got, like I said, other additions that we'll be bringing to you throughout the course of the hour as well that you could incorporate. Yeah, and great into. tools as well. Yes, yes. yeah. A new yeah. tool. Yes, we've got a new tool. A new, what, yes. Should we talk about this tool? Yeah, so this is like a, yeah, this is a new, uh, so like a soldering support. So yeah. anything like that, you know, when we've, when we've, um, uh, when we do soldering um, demos, um, anything that can support uh, the work that you're doing, because <coughs> I know it sounds silly, but you know, what you've got to, you must make it, make sure that everything is set up really, really securely, because once you start heating it, you know, you can't touch no, it. No, obviously not. Uh, and you can be as delicate as you like with your tweezers or a soldering pick or something, but if you can get it so that it's secure, and, and, a, and a frame like this, it just makes it a lot easier. So we've never had this tool before. No. How no. many? How many? How many do we have then, Ross? Ninety available. Um, so I tell Ross is saying that you well, you can shop ahead on this one. You can actually pre-order it because we're gonna. It's uploaded to the website and uh, apparently a crazy price. Oh. I don't. I've got, I don't. Know. I don't know either. But it's a, under a tenner. No, because this is again. This is a. Because, you know, the whole point with this is you want it to be stable, Solid. secure, so that yeah. once you put that on there, nothing's going to move. Oh, OK. So that um, is, the weight that you've got in there, that's that's brilliant. Under £10. Absolutely brilliant. Shop ahead, you can get yours. There we go, we verbalise the price pledge. And likewise with Claire's absolutely beautiful kit. So two kits, two, a really simple components, making the most beautiful jewellery. Shall we start with the donut, which is... Um, this amazing piece. So I'm going to kind of prop the donut up. And then you have, uh, in terms of length, I'm not very good with measurements, but what's that? Is it 15, maybe about 15 centimetres, 15, something like that? Do you think? Yeah. We'll have a little look in a second on the graphics. But a solid piece of lovely, um, lovely sterling silver. Um, is this Lola's? It is think, 15. I Gosh, you're fine. It's um, got my name on it, oh, so it's that's not mine now. It, yeah. Uh, 15 centimetres um, of what, 2 mil? 1.5? Maybe something. Roscoe, <laughs> what's the thickness on this? Oh, we're, we're kind of stabbing in the dark, aren't we, Claire? <laughs> 1.5, I think, in terms of its thickness. So great for things like your shanks. It is 1.5. There uh, we it's, go. It is, it's, uh, it's perfect for, um, for your, yeah. That's your beautiful. Range. It's this scroll that you've done on the side here. So that is one continuous. So I've used, I have used all of the, um, all of the wire on that one. Did um, you? Yes, I did. I was indulgent with Why that not? one. Why not? Because I just wanted to, I wanted to frame it around and have a, a, a bit of a, like a chunkier all the way around, sort of like double shank. Do you know what? If you got those topaz from the first hour, you could put one of your little topaz yes, in there, couldn't you? Yes, perfect. Or maybe a beautiful little diamond or something Stunning. like that. Yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, the graphics are live. Type A Burmese jade eye in your beautiful little donut shape. Then you've got 15 centimetres of your 1.5 uh, 925 sterling silver wire. Um, don't forget, you can shop ahead on that amazing tool that, Claire, you're going to be demonstrating with as well. Yeah. Um, Wow. I mean, how much would you expect to pay for a piece of jewellery like that? You know, knowing that it is Taipei Burmese jadeite, knowing that firstly, it's one of a kind. It's a one of a kind mm. piece. Mm. Nobody will have the exact same ring. It's not moulded in a cast yeah. or anything like that. Um, yeah. How much would something like that be? I don't know. What do you think? 150, 200 pounds? Oh, OK. It's quite a, a sizeable piece. Ross it? thinks yeah. I'm being a bit conservative. You think between two, two, anywhere between two and 500, says Adam. Yeah, I agree. In fact, you know what? That's very... I can imagine our sister channel selling something like that. It's that kind of level of design, really beautiful. That wonderful scroll filigree work. Well, straight away, you can make that piece... For forty nine ninety nine. And so, what I'd almost say as well is, if you're looking at, at that, if you make, if you're making to sell to, I would almost be, you know, you could put, you could put a jump ring on, on, on that. If you were looking for quicker makes, yeah, 
a jump ring on that is a fabulous pendant. Uh, <laughs> and I'd do, in, do your plain stacker rings with the um, with So the if, you're, if you're thinking about if profit. If you're thinking about selling and that's what you're looking to do, and yes, like you say, it's a profit out of the kit, that's, yeah. Two and a half grams of sterling silver. Yeah, there's a lot. It's a, it's a lovely Can substantial wire. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess this is your size. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Oh, Clay, it's amazing. Thank you. Uh, hang on, when did that price point change? £29.99. So that's the price, surely, of the silver or the Burmese jade. Two and a half grams. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, and what, what would you say about to people that maybe haven't done silver uh, soldering before? Is, I... it, is, it, is it scary? Do I need to have a degree? You definitely don't need to have a degree i can totally understand that you might if you've if you've worked with um you know all cold techniques so far that you might be a bit nervous about it absolutely i remember i was and it just but the best thing you can do safely is to just dive in and have a go absolutely especially have a with go the with tools it. that you know, yeah and we are going to be bringing you some of the tools yes yeah, so to definitely say today. safe do it safely yeah. um and just start off start off with if you've got your torch um, thank you, Miss Janet. That's really kind of you. And yes. just ball, ball the wire. Maybe try that first so that you get get to see what it's like. Holding the torch, feeling comfortable with it, and then just, ha just have a go. Really, really have a go. Claire, would you say twenty nine ninety nine is a good price? I would say it's a really good price. For two and a half grams Beautiful of sterling silver. Beautiful, shaped, shaped, carved, you know, jade Match. like that, and your sterling silver. Yeah, I would. I would. Because like I think you'd get that back on, depending on where, one ring, one plain stacker ring at that sort of, yeah. you know, that. Like the ones you wear? Yes. Well, it's actually heavier gauge than um, the ones I wear. So there's more silver? Yes. Yeah. Who would love Claire's beautiful, beautiful donut kit with sterling silver under £20? Yes, please. At that price point, we could multi-buy, couldn't we? Yes, yes. And like you could. said, you could use the donut. If you don't want to use the donut in in, in, in a ring, if you like, then use that. Make just create a, a jump ring out of the wire. Sure, yes, that's possible, yeah, isn't yeah, it? absolutely, yeah, yeah. We we'll just put it on some cord. Isn't it? You know, there's there's lots you can do. I like I like the fact that it's got that. Um, so yes, we I love donuts where you can use it, uh, you know, through the obviously the, the the large hole in the centre. But I really like that one that if you were going to have it as a pendant, yeah, you just you just make your own. Um, it's always good to have areas where you can attach in with wire, threads, yeah, cords, things like that. And and we do lots of melee gemstones, don't we? Like round, brilliant cuts. So if you wanted to glue just a little Perfect. melee stone in the yes. centre, yeah, like a garnet or something yeah. like that, very yeah. uh, very Glenlara esque. Yeah. If you were to put that gemstone or a diamond in the centre. And so I, I actually, with that one, I've left it a little bit. Um, I, I was, uh, I created almost like a little handle in it. And so it will spin round. So you can. Um, <gasps> really? Yeah, it does can spin Can you show round. us? Yeah, so if you've got, um, I'll try and find a little bit of. Uh, so it's like a fidget ring? Yes, yeah, so that's what I was using it as yesterday. It's sort of, um, it's, a, it's a complete fidget ring. Yeah. That's cool. So you can literally rotate the donor in the center. Yes. Yeah. Because you know oh, I like wow. things that, that move about and yeah. So if I just, I think I'm not going to say yeah. Can oh see yes. It moves, moves around. So I could. You could sort of like put you know like um, uh, or maybe you could have, couldn't you? Yes or no. <gasps> and then you can spin it and then decide which one you're gonna. So when you're on your dodgy date, you could. Yes. Do I no. stay? Do I call it? Stay, a cab? run off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Climb out the toilet window. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, yes. That's a great, I like that idea. It's just something a bit different, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Is there an escape? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, do you know what? There is going to be another minute clock. That means we're not even <gasps> stopping there. Honestly, we've got two beautiful kits and we've got loads. Of, we want to encourage you into uh, uh, sort of starting, if you haven't already done so, your um, your beautiful silversmithing. We were, um, uh, yeah, yeah we, and we want to obviously bring the best possible price to our more established silversmiths as well. For the silver alone, for the jadeite alone, nineteen ninety nine is amazing. That's mega. That's two and a half grams of sterling oh, silver. Yes. Yeah. Um, the jadeite could be should be more than what's on our screens. It should oh, be. Gosh. I love Where's that it? idea. 
You could do you could do a little wire written Y and N. Yes. Either yeah. side. You've got your stamps, you know, if you if you work with stamping. Oh yes, could, yeah, do it even more subtly so yes. it's on the side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally visualising now. If, if if ever Claire and I go out for a drink then and I see her doing this, do I yeah. say? Yes, I know that you're just wanting yeah. to go home. Oh, sorry, I've got to go. <coughs> Emergency. Yeah. Uh, okay. Crazy I, low. Go with this. I don't know. To be honest, I was more than happy at twenty nine ninety nine. <gasps> How's that? Hang on. I prepped for today's show and I'm sure I didn't see that price tag. Even if you just, even if you, it's jadeite that you love and you, and you don't do any silver work, uh, sell that. You know, work, work with this part. That's incredible. Wait, 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 wait. Just so you know, because I do get this a lot. Oh, the, the presenter's always so shocked, pretend, to pretending to be shocked about the prices. No, I'm not <laughs> pretending. I'm not pretending. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what Ross is going to do half the time because look, this is what he told me. One hundred and forty <laughs> at twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> look, look, look! It's this kit: <gasps> donut. There we go. Type A, Burmese jadeite mini donut, sterling silver round wire, one point five out of one hundred and forty. That's amazing. It was meant to be twenty nine pounds <gasps> and ninety nine pence, Ross. You're going to be in big trouble, Ross. He's like, he's like me. He doesn't care. He's got his cake, hasn't he? And he's he got his care. cake. Morris. That's amazing. It's an absolutely amazing. Unbelievable. So right now I'm thinking even if you don't solder, you're gonna, you can make a jump ring, can't you? But you can also make beautiful rings. Make, make, just make, a, make rings, give it a little hammer. You don't have to solder. Adjustable? It'd be adjustable rings. It's still, you know, precious sterling, sterling silver. silver. That's amazing. And you'd probably get, station. depending on the size, what, three of those? Well, we, know. we know it shouldn't be twelve ninety nine, Claire, because look, I've just shown everybody. <gasps> just shown everybody. <laughs> yes, it is. It is bomb. I'm just saying, because some people say, I had a message the other day, it was like, uh, uh, like um, can you stop pretending that you don't know the prices? I, d I don't know the prices half the time, look. And there you go. <laughs> 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 we don't get to know a, a lot of the prices, and also, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't take. I Ross don't take emails them in. to me the night before. <laughs> he emails them to me the night before, so I can be prepared. <laughs> yes, but he then, never listens yeah. to him anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. what's what's the point? There's Ross? no point. There's no point. Right, should we dive into the demo? And Shall then we? Should we have a look? Little columns. The ring. Is, so, is that what this is called? Like a ring holder? Yeah, I think it's like a, so a soldering stand. For, soldering for, stand. for rings. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds yeah. better, doesn't it? Ring so, holder for soldering. There we go. Yeah. That's what Ross is saying. Um, okay. Okay. There we are. So, so I'm just going to move this. If I just move you're this. You're going to squeeze in, closer. I'm going to just move this here for a minute. Sorry, I'm going to move this in. So let's have a look at the, the, okay. the bits that we're going to make. So if we look at the. So which of the wires are you working with? So right this, now? I'm, I'm working now with the. Um, D shape. Yes, with the, uh, the other one that you've got. Okay. Um, so. What, what we'd be doing, um, and I'll, I'll be showing you uh, so elements of this. So you've got your, you've got your wire here. And when it, when it, when it comes like this, it, it's obviously it's not, it's not been polished or, um, and it looks quite dull. Absolutely, it's, it's totally the same. So if I bring this one in, you can see so lovely high shine there. Oh, yeah, buff so it's just, that, that's the only difference there. It, it really, really does. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to make... Um, Let's have a look. So we've got, as we've said, so we've got the lovely flat side here, and that's what's going to go next to um, next to the the skin, and it's also going to go next to um, the uh, the curve of the of the tube. So the first thing um, I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make the ring shank. So I'm going to choose the the size I would want with this, and let's go all the way around. So. I'm just going to make sure. So I'm really making sure because this is, is that the uh, the profile. So we we do I want it to twist. So I'm just pushing that against here. And if you've got your, um, you know, your saw and blades, great. If you haven't, you can just work with your uh, your flush cutters. So I'm going to snip in 
and so on this one I am gonna um, I'm gonna try and do it so it's just it's a complete round rather than um, doing it as um, uh, the other way that I sometimes do the uh, when I make rings and I've got the flat edge you can if you find it very difficult to get the um, uh, to get a good join now what you can do is you absolutely can uh, do it as a flat edge rather than a round because what we were looking for we want a really really lovely um, neat and tight join here so I'm just going to take off just a little bit of that edge there so just tiny tiny amounts using my needle files just to get that little bit off so the whole point like Al says if you've never tried you know soldering before one of the, the most important things is about the join what what you're going to do you want to get it so that even when you're not holding it that you can't see any that there's no daylight through this gap here. We want to make sure that that gap is lovely um, and neat and you're making good, that it's good contact. So even the tiniest amounts of when you've cut your silver, that can get in the way of the, of getting that lovely, that lovely seam. So I'm just taking those tiny bits off and let's get that. And so that's going to sit in there. So I'd also be looking at, we're looking at, remember, it's a 360 uh, piece that we're working with. So we know that it's, it's looking nice here, but we're going to look to the side as well. Is it, is, it, is it sitting nicely there? What we don't want is we don't want it to be sort of like that. So although we've got some contact that is overlapping here. So we want to, again, make sure that it's, it's sitting nicely there and vice versa. We don't want it looking something like that because it's not going to look very neat. And that's also going to be very, very uncomfortable. So you're just taking the time get a nice uh, nice seam so we've got no edge and then it's sitting and it oh, and it's and it's flat here so we've got nice flat here and nice flat there and so you can hammer it as well if you wanted to if you find that that's really too difficult and you're finding it tough to get the um, to get a good join what you can do but be careful with this profile wire because remember it's not round so we, again we don't want to twist it and you could get a flatter edge here to line them up if you find that that's um, easier. So you can see I've just sort of made a flatter edge there, which can sometimes be easier to get that join. And then afterwards, when you've soldered it, you can then pop it back onto your ring mandrel um, with your, you know, your, your, um, your hide mallet. So something, uh, uh, one of the, or a nylon um, hammer and just hammer it back in into the round there and that's also a good test of how good your soldering has been so that gives us once we've done that first layer of soldering that's going to give us um uh, around something that's looking like that so this is where we come into we're working with um, a, an unusual um uh, shape now and you've got you've got two options there because like Elle said you've got loads and loads of wire with this so you'll have more than enough to um, uh, to make this ring so you're essentially then going to do another exactly like you've done before but on a much smaller scale so if we look at the next component you're going to make is this here so you're making basically like a, um, uh, a a much smaller size ring so like maybe a like a little barbie bangle so I'm going to use my um, I'm not going to use a ring mandrel this time to form the shape. I'm using my step bail making ply. So again, I'm going to start that curve, start to get a little bit of the, of the curve. And if you've got the, um, if you've <coughs> annealed the wire first, so I did, um, I annealed the wire with mine. This one isn't annealed. So you can see it's still, you can still um, work and, and curve it. So annealing just means I, I would have heated it up to soften it. And so I'm going to follow the same so all I'm doing is I'm just gonna bring this round and let's get a nice curve with that so just starting to bring that in let's have a look let's bring that round so you can see I'm gonna there we are there we go so you can see I'm gonna make another smaller one same way so we're gonna take that off and you're going to form there. So that's given, and I've soldered this one as well. So you've now got two, two rings, one that fits <laughs> really nicely. And what I'd say is um, maybe make it so that it's uh, a little bit, what you want is it that, so that you've got a really, really nice tight fit, because then what you can do is if you've got little bits of solder, um, 
little bits of solder in there. What you're going to do is you can go in with your, again, with your needle files. So if I just find um, the round one. So if we take that off, make it a little bit tighter and you're just going to go in and just little bits like that. And then that's going to slide in like that. So we've got a nice tight fit in there. We've put the graphics in for this kit. So this yeah, is so the this, this kit, wire. This kit is, is, is really, really lovely. Some of this, this, is, uh, this wire is some of my favourite wire um, to use because, like I've said, it's, it's great for ring shanks as it is, but also going around bezel, um, you know, as using it as like a bezel. bezel well, because, because of that then, Claire. Yeah. We're not going to mess around. Okay. There are only 50, though, so sorry, this is a, a bit more limited. Oh, goodness me, you can get both kits for what's That's that? Incredible, £26 isn't it? for both, both kits. Absolutely fabulous. Yeah, that one, remember the one I showed you on my sheet, which was meant to be twenty nine ninety nine. You've got both kits for less than that. Wow. That's, wow. That is brilliant. And what, how much was this kit meant to be? £29.99, okay. Yeah, I, I believe you, Ross. I, I'm not even going to bother looking at my sheets anymore. Absolutely brilliant. Because <laughs> you don't listen to your own, <laughs> your own instructions. That's crazy. No, we, That's cold, so, so good. Know, so, he's, so he's good. A, a yeah, he is. He is, but it's a good one. <laughs> Um, um, no, I said rotter, <laughs> rotter. Uh. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do now? So is you'd be soldering. Um, if I just sort of like show you, I'm not gonna solder uh, too much. So what you'd be doing? So this is where this stand really, really comes into its own. <laughs> that kit sold out. So let's bring the graphics on air for this uh, tool. Yeah. New so, tool. So if you if what you know you're thinking. So you can see. So obviously this is, is it, I haven't heated this at all. And what we can do is, so you're oh. I'm pushing those together and I'm going to slide that in. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Okay. I so what I'm not fun. doing, what, I, what I'm not doing is I'm not pushing it and, and opening it up so much so that I've got a lot of tension um, on here. You can see, so I've still got some wiggle room. I, what I don't want to do is I don't want to have something that's really, really... Um, uh, forced so it, the, there's tension pushing out so that the sort of force is going in that direction because what will happen is if I've soldered um, and it's and it's not sort of it's not sort of free moving on there what's going to happen is as I heat the solder the, the, the soldered seam I've done here if I've got too much force pushing out that way that's going to open open up so it's really important when you're setting it up um, that it's gonna, you know, that I've got that wiggle room there, that there's no, I'm not pushing out. So you can maneuver these a little bit, um, but that's really important to remember. But so you can already see the difference in, um, it, it, you've seen me and, and I, you know, you still do it with lots of things and they're, they're really useful and it's a really um, great way. But you know, when I work with, uh, I stack things up with say my pennies or paper clips or other bits like that. Yeah, or, yeah. So this is, a, this is a great way of holding. I mean, and also, and not just, not just for, um, not just, it's, it's brilliant for your soldering as well, but just so you're getting a really, really good view. I guess in like another way of working with your tweezers, you know, Pieces of jewellery are, it's a 360 thing, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to look at it from all, all the way around. But this just means I've got two hands, you know, I can access it. it it's heat resistant, so I, can, I'm, I don't have to worry about my torch being on it. Um, and it just means then, that, so you can take it to, depending on how steady you are, um, you can uh, add your, you know, if you do granulation. So the little bit that I've snipped off there, for example, if I wanted to heat that, that'd be into a ball. I could uh, pop it here, flux it all up, solder it, and it's like that. And so all I've got to do is, is balance it on, or I can then transfer it if I'm really um, adept with my tweezers. And it's sitting up like that, and I can see all the way around. Well, it keeps but your hand. It keeps your hands completely. Free, doesn't it? Yeah, completely. And it just it's a just adjustable. Obviously, you let let that let that cool. That then slides off, and you can see it like that. Perfect, absolutely perfect, and it's lovely, really, really lovely and weighty. So it's a really, that's, that's absolutely brilliant. Well, the core screens, uh, as you can see, Claire, there yeah. are literally four rows of names. We've never yeah. done this tool before. It's no, it's, yeah, absolutely brilliant. So and you can see how that's going to slide that, in. you're not going to replace that, are you? Unless you lose oh, it. I wouldn't say, because uh, again, it, it's, you know, when you get it home, you'll be, the, the weight of that, and these are really solid as well, really solid. Um, 
It's just a really clever, it's, it's, it's like one of those, you know, a lot of tools that we work with, aren't they? They're very, they look so simple, but they, they do an absolutely, absolutely brilliant, brilliant job. So you can see all the way around there, but that base is, that is, is a weighty. Yeah. Well, it's like your vice, isn't it? Like yeah, yeah because it. that's what you want. That's the whole, you know, the whole idea is that, that you want that. So what, what, what we would have then is we'd have our next layer of soldering. It would, would be, um, we want to pop this, so the two rings together. So what we're going to do is, and this, this comes into, um, uh, again, so maybe going on to your uh, soldering block, you're looking to get that onto here. Working with your soldering is entirely up to you. If you're, if you're new to soldering, what I'd say is you're looking at different seams. So we've already soldered here and we've soldered here. If you feel more comfortable uh, at the beginning of your soldering journey, maybe you want maybe focus the next join here uh, and here, which just means you'll really, really have to clean up this join. But then when you feel like a bit more comfortable, maybe put the two together and work with your different solder. So a, a solder that is going to melt um, uh, at a lower temperature than, than these two here. And then you're going to pop that on. So that's going to go on here, solder here, clean everything up. And that's going to give you something that looks like like that. So you can see how that's going to that's going to sit on here okay mm -hmm. and then and this is where so you just this is why you want it to be so it's like a, a nice tight fit rather than um loose so we're just gonna want a bit of a wiggle wiggle in there sort of buffed everything up so i'm just easing that in now when you know that that's quite that is quite tight in there but there's got a little bit of movement i then took it out <coughs> and a tiny tiny weeny bit of glue slide it back in and then just with a um uh, like a piece of you know a wet kitchen roll or uh, something with a little bit of moisture just get any of the the glue off clean it up and let that let that dry but you would have buffed all all of that up as well and then that gives you so if i just sort of show you the difference you can see how shiny that the two you know and that's when it starts to look like your silver but so you can see, so it's a case of just angling those two, those two, you're making two small rings and sitting them on. Beautiful. It's a nice, it's a striking design, isn't it? I think because you've got that unusual tube, like you say, that column shape. And it's mirrored in with the, um, the settings. So keep it really, really simple. Well, firstly, the ring holders sold out. The kits, I think both of them have pretty much sold out. Yeah. Um, Claire... You've done it again. You're just such a clever lady. Oh, are. thank you. Thank so, you. It's a lovely, so, so lovely, lovely, lovely kits to work with. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. How many do we have? Oh, sorry. 14 of the first kit. So that's the one um, with the 1.5 and the donut. Uh, the other kit sold out. The ring holders sold out. Um, Amazing. Yeah, so I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Now, I have got bezel strip. I did see Wonderful. this land on our, on our desk and I saw Claire's eyes widen ever so slightly. Oh, I, I, abs I love it. Absolutely love it. What is bezel strip for those people that don't know? And um, what do I do with it? Bezel strip is, is um, lovely, f fine, malleable silver. So it's almost like it's going to create a border. Now, it means you can go around any shape, absolutely any shape you want, and it's going to follow it really, really beautifully. So, you know... Um, I had some sea glass actually. Um, oh, you know, I remember that piece on Facebook. Yeah. yeah so if you you think about sea glass, it's really organic shapes, uh, and that follows it beautifully. So that donut, amazing, is going to follow it, and that and that. So that's what I've used to follow that. Well, you mentioned the tan tonight. The other day. Yes. Oh, yeah. so you've used yeah, the so, bezel strip yeah, around. Yeah. So bezel strip around. Yeah. Yeah. You can so see you that. Can see in there. So this is what you created, almost the um, to house your spinning donut. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There's a, there's a sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> Housing my spinning donut. Housing your spinning donut. That's what I do at weekends. Strips. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what you do on the weekends <laughs> is your own business. Well, it's everyone's business because I'm That's here. That's true. Yeah. That is true. We do want to know then. I like to share it. Um, yes. <laughs> it, that, that bezel strip is, is incredible. And don't forget there. So you've got, <coughs> you've got, you could, depending on what you're working with, you could have double the amount there because you just cut it in half. Um, 
Oh, I see what you mean. Sort of lengthways. You could go that yes, way. Yes. Yeah. Cut it down yeah, that way. Yeah. Um, in terms of the length, you're actually getting 25 centimetres. This is 999 silver, so it's actually pure. So yes, yeah, so it's fine silver, so lovely and soft. Beautiful and soft. And it doesn't, it, it doesn't look that special, does it, at the moment? But it's when you buff it up, like you said earlier yes. on. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you don't, you know, it's, it's not, you, you're going to do other things to it before. Um, so there's no point in them um, spending time to get it, you know, shiny now. No. Just, and, it, and you don't need, when you're thinking about, talking about getting it shiny, you don't need, if you've got, if you're just starting out uh, and you get yourself, if I just bring that in, so one of those, you know, like a 90, from the 99p, that's all you need. You can get loads of really great mops and buffers, but something like that will... Will polish it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all yeah. you need to do. Yeah, if you get something like your emery board, treat it like your nails. So if I just sort of show you very, very quick, you know, that's a tiny, tiny bit. You can see there how quickly oh, look, that's, yes. that's coming up. So, no, so don't no, think no, you need loads machinery. and loads of kits. You, you know, yes, it's great to have all those wonderful um, buffers and mops, and if you're going to keep doing it, but have it, just have a go with something like that. A simple first. nail. Yeah, and you see the file. difference. Not an, not an emery board. Uh, well, so something like this. So you know, with with this bit where if I've I've done a messy solder join, you yeah, don't so, do messy solder joins. Well, I do joins. sometimes. I just try and turn them away from the um, from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you can just buff it down with that, and then yeah, so that that you know, get yourself one of those. You Works see, have you, treat. Yes, but so best the the the, the strip wire is yeah it's really really and good. i'm guessing that technique is actually also going to sort of wrap it around the gemstone even more as well the, would it in the um which one that when you when you're buffing yeah is it going to sort of push it and cradle it into all the areas well, yes the and you would use your um your pusher um yeah. uh which i think are about they're less than a pound at the moment on our site are they? So you're, you know, if you're thinking, if you're thinking, ah, oh, well, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to invest in a lot of money in tools. Really, have a look because you're a not. A pound. It's a pound at the moment. Yeah, and it's a ninety pence. Ninety. P. Ninety pence. Our square pusher is. Yeah. And that's what you would use with your bezel yes. strip. Yes. Yes, you can. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Well done, Tom. Brilliant. There. Congratulations. Now, uh, do I have? Yes, I do. Are you ready for this? Now, there's twenty of them left. This collection, you're a collect immediate collector, and you know, oh, Claire, those for that, those. Oh my, I, love I know, this. I know. You're an immediate collector. The quality of the stones in this, I launched these not that long ago. They absolutely flew. The quality of the stones. Let me open it actually. That you are getting. There's 25. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Different gems within. You get the box and all the boxes inside. Finn, let's work. Let, let, should, we, should we follow across? So you, oh, you've got wow. an emerald. Look at that. I'm just going to... Yeah. I have got them listed, yeah. You've got appetite. Wow. You have opal. Oh. Or moonstone, maybe. Sorry, it's a no... <laughs> we call it swill blue. It's Swiss blue, obviously, on the list. Um, I'm just going to read the list and you can, uh, and, and Finn can literally just follow down the box if that's okay. So you've got a uh, colourless zircon, you've got a brown zircon, you've got fire opal, uh, you've got an Ethiopian opal, um, you've got a white opal, you've got Swiss blue topaz, you've got imperial topaz, tourmaline smoky quartz, amethyst, mystic topaz, lemon quartz, moonstone, uh, sapphire, appetite, beryl garnet, emerald, specetite garnet, oh. iolite, and uh, topaz, and peridot. Look at the wow. fire opal. Just, that, 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 by the way, that pink, that's a sapphire, right? Look okay. at that. Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm sold on that on, uh, alone. And my, by the way, and look that. At the two of them together. That's they a were fire talking about opal. doing those rings. Look at those Sapphire. two together. Oh, the look, quality of these it. stones, I know, absolutely unbelievable. This is £2 per stone. You've got Tanzanite in here. Oh. Wow. Are you pointing at which one? Is that, Ethiopian that's opal. opal. Oh, my word. You actually get three different Ethio oh. uh, opals, rather. You get a fire opal, an Ethiopian opal, and a white opal. Oh, Just think gosh. that one on its own. And by the way, see these colourless zircons? Oh, Claire, literally one of those in that ring. Yeah, yeah. Would be beautiful. You're not just getting one stone. You've got, you've got, you've got a parcel, a parcel of topaz. 
Sorry. Do you know what? Just even if you do nothing with and just look at them. <coughs> You're an immediate collector. And, yeah. Do you know what? We have 20 just of these left. I had the that. privilege of launching them only, uh, what, last week, wasn't it, Ross? It wasn't long yeah. ago. That's the last remaining quantity from the hundreds that we had the first uh, when they first brought to air. Never mind two pounds, which is utter madness. Where's the emerald? Look, 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 sorry. Uh, that emerald, two pounds. That's amazing, isn't it? Emerald at two pounds. What's it working at now? Bear with. One pound twenty for that emerald. Let's go. Let's 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 find a. <gasps> look, yeah. I mean, the actual display. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at them all. Smoky quartz. That pink sapphire. I'm sorry, is mad. Yeah, yeah. And it's the shape, different shapes too, isn't it? Swiss blue topaz. Yeah. Specitite garnet, tanzanite, amethyst. Oh my goodness me, tourmaline. The quality of these stones are absolutely incredible. Mm. Look at this. Oh. I paid twenty nine ninety nine for that parcel. It's literally like the uh, the introduction to a Bond film, isn't it? Yes. We oh. have twenty of them Look left. Look at that. <coughs> Look at this one. Ooh. Yeah. Honestly, mad quality, crazy deal. I've only got five of them left. Deborah, London, Essex, Lorna, Gabrielle, new customer, London, Alison, Belinda, Annette. Well done, everybody. And if you love your cut stones, um, then I've got one more that I can squeeze in. Well done, everybody. That's on the verge of selling out. Well, congratulations to you all. Again, I would pay that for singles of those. Um, an amazing deal. How about the little it's black amazing. dress in the gemstone world? Totally and utterly natural black spinel. Mm. I love this That's cut. That's incredible. See, this would work with your bezel strip, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. And your kits. Yeah, absolutely it would. So if you got That's Claire's stunning. kits and you're looking for additional gemstones to go That's alongside that wire. Cocktail. Yeah, cocktail ring. <gasps> you love a bit of black spinel, don't you? I do. I've not, I've not seen this before. This is lovely. How about five carrots on the nose? Totally natural gemstone. Who wants it under £10? Yes, please. Perfect with your bezel strip and, and, and Claire's kits in this hour. £9.99 pence only. Can you imagine that? I've, I've shown you before, uh, you know, different celebrities that have chosen black spinel above black diamonds, above sort of your, uh, um, your onyxes even. Um, Maisie Williams, who's a Game of Thrones actress, um, was actually pictured on the red carpet wearing a Gemporia black spinel piece. Wow. Yeah, literally a Gemporia black spinel uh, ring. I would put this with the um, the, the conch collection as oh, well. Oh, yes. Imagine that, your pink and your black together. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well done. Um, okay, let's oh. do. <gasps> with your bezel strips. Doing it in one price crash, though. They're, they're too low. Too low. There's 26 left. Oh my, these are... Oh, you, you, your hands up went, went up in the air there, Claire. What's uh, no, the... I love, I just love them. I they are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. You can see in that, yeah, look at that. <gasps> so with that bezel strip, it would, it would hug, wouldn't it? Perfect. The girdle of the gemstone. Yeah. I just think, ah, it's a funny word, isn't it, to use? The girdle of the gemstone. Yeah. Just hugging the girdle. Uh, it's just mesmerising, isn't it? Can you imagine beautiful, beautiful winter brooch? That's what I'd do with them. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, I mean, you get a parcel, you get a guarantee to have 145 carats of beautiful Labradorite. That is a mad price, Ross. 9.99. I'm sorry, how many did you say we had? 26. Well, Midlands, well done. Uh, make, maker in West Midlands, another maker in West Midlands. Then we've got Heather in Essex multi-buying. Nora, well done, you've got yours. We've got Lynn, Kerry, Staffordshire, Janet. Uh, Linda, London, another London, Tracy. Um, yeah, they're going to be an on-screen seller. There's it? loads of people there. Absolutely. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Toy and I can see you. Just stay where you are on those phone lines um, and you should hopefully be successful. I'll keep everything crossed anyway. Um, right then. Oh, now, if you've only just tuned in, I, I, literally, I, I'm so excited about today and I've been talking about today literally for weeks in advance. 
This has never happened before here at Jewelry Maker. Um, it is a first and I'm so incredibly privileged to be in the presence, well, firstly of our lovely Claire, but also Dave, who's stepping into the studio in a few moments time. Lots of us have de a lot to thank Dave, and I, I'll say this when he's not in the studio, so I don't embarrass him, but we've got a lot to thank Dave for. I mean, I can speak personally. You know, my collection wouldn't be anywhere near what it is if it wasn't for Dave. So he sources the finest gemstones, but he's a gentleman that literally rubs shoulders with the biggest names in jewellery design. Eddie Levion, who literally sets the trends of the jewellery world, um, he, he, you know, he's been to dinner with on regular occasions. So I guess we shouldn't be surprised that when Dave does turn his hand to a collection, he chooses the most beautiful treasure and the designs are just remarkable. I go as far as saying this is some of the most beautiful jewellery I think I've ever, ever witnessed. And it's happening, it's launching in the next few minutes. Don't go anywhere. For the first time ever, Queen Conch, and here is Dave himself taking you on that wonderful journey of how it arrived here in the studio. Around 10 years ago, there was a real excitement uh, in, in the world of fine jewellery, especially here in the Caribbean, as the world's first um, Queen Conch farm was set up, where a place to kind of culture uh, and fully mature the Queen Conch, which can take between 10 and 12 years, some say 14 years, to get the true gem grade material. Um, this is this stone, the Queen Conch shell, not to be confused with the Queen Conch shell of which it produces, has always been a feature of high jewellery. You'll only find sporadic examples. It is a, an incredible shell that was used almost exclusively by the carvers, the cameo relief carvers of Idar Oberstein uh, throughout the last hundred years. And uh, a few years ago, I saw a piece at auction uh, that went for 700,000 US dollars, created by Tiffany & Co, George Frederick Kunz, Henry Hope, and uh, the financier, um, Mr. Uh, JP Morgan, were huge advocates of this incredible shell. And when I heard about this project, my debut uh, collection of jewelry I wanted to feature uh, and bring back, revive the Queen Conch shell. Unfortunately, as you can tell, uh, a series of hurricanes uh, from 2015 to 2017 completely destroyed uh, the Queen Conch farm. As you can see, the wild of the Caribbean is reclaiming the visitor center, which you know thousands of people visited each year. Um, and as such, it hasn't got back running. This is a, a problem we find in the world of you know South Sea pearls and Tahitian pearls. Yeah, if a typhoon takes it out, the investment needed, the capital needed, to then go and collect. Um, or, or harvest those incredible bivalve oysters is expensive. Well, when it comes to the Queen Conch, it's a different matter altogether. Finding a fully mature Queen Conch today is the equivalent of finding a completely natural pearl in the Gulf of Persia, maybe 100, 200 years ago, before the days of Mickey Moto. In fact, it's the rarest stone I've ever been involved in. It's a one in two million chance finding the fully mature Queen Conch. Now you can find juveniles, uh, you know, when they're using it for delicacies, four or five years old, and they're completely disregarded by the fishermen because they have no value. To, to extract the, the full potential of the value of a queen conch, it needs to be a minimum of 10 years old. That's when the shell thickens and can be carved by the world's best carvers, and that's when you get that beautiful coral color throughout the body of the shell in which some incredible intricate pieces can be created. As such, this is a one-time collection that I'm hoping to bring to you guys and I don't think we'll be able, be able to ever do it again because I've spent now a week in the Caribbean um, and as my cameraman who's filming this can attest, we found Conk, we found Queen Conk, but we've only found one gem grade shell and it, what a specimen it was you know it's about this large i'll show you some images of it um, and it has this beautiful blush color throughout and it's so thick it's like porcelain this was the great hope of the caribbean this queen conch farm but unfortunately mother nature had other ideas and as such we've seen a five to ten thousand percent price increase in the value of the fully mature queen conch I said it this morning, bright and early at eight o'clock. I don't think I've ever been more excited than I am this morning. 
I said this morning that we've got a lot to thank Dave for mm. in the wonderful treasures that he has brought to our own collections. But now you're actually getting the level of design that Dave experiences and you can own it. Here he is, the man himself, wonderful Dave Trost. Uh, thank you very much. Um, this is uh, the launch, the debut of, of my kind of collection with you guys, David Harry Jules. Yeah, it's my middle name, Harry. I don't want to call it David Trost because you always see me on your screens um, and I'm happy to, to bring you the incredible jade that I've had a hand in acquiring. But like we talk about here, when we're talking about design, when we're talking about something rare, this is something that we've been working on for about five years. Not with Jewelry Maker, mm -hmm. but I launched this on, on Gemporia in yeah. the finished jewelry. And it was because Steve Bennett came to me and said, Dave, you know, we want you to branch out, create your own kind of brand, create your own thing. And you can have anything from the vault. You can do whatever you want. And I said, look, I'm happy to just continue as I am, bring in the gemstones that I bring to you, do what I do. And I said, if, if the opportunity arises for me to bring something that we've never seen before, mm -hmm. you know, a, a true rarity, then I'd like a budget to go and be able to pursue that. Um, and I didn't want to bring you anything that you had seen before. I didn't want to give, bring you a different variety of, of jadeite, for instance, or a different variety of garnet. Um, I looked to what Jim Poirier's ethos is and jewelry makers, um, and that is kind of taking on the high street. That was Steve's kind of message 18 years ago. He's mm -hmm. like, we're going to take on the high street, and we have. We're like, a, a Jim Poirier, for instance, was on average 57% cheaper than the high street. And it was about giving you that incredible experience and giving you access, cutting out the middlemen. Well, with, with what I wanted to do with, with the David Harry Jewels collection was take on the high jewelers of the world. Mm -hmm. Take on high jewelry, the likes of Mickey Moto, uh, the likes of Saba, who is a, a, an incredible jewelry artist we're going to talk about in this showcase, and bring it for high street prices. That's what I wanted to do. And we finally managed to do it. I remember seeing um, an auction result on this epic and incredible Queen Kong kind of brooch it was, by, signed by Tiffany & Co. And it sold for $750,000. Wow. Right? And I've seen Conk Pearls sell for like $20,000. I've been to Bond Street, seen Charlie Barron buy them. And I was like, why on earth is that three quarters of a million? And when uh, I did some research into it, it was because what they had used was this material, which right. is what they called the Sangha. It is the fully mature Queen Conk. It's the only thing rarer than the Conk Pearl. And th the reason for that is any age Queen Conk can produce a Conk Pearl but only one in two million make it to the, the, the fully mature stage, which is 20 years old. Wow. That's what you need to be able to create the durable jewelry. And it was the kind of carvers of Naples that used to work with this material. It was the carvers of Edar Oberstein, and it has disappeared from the market. And it's something I wanted to pursue, and I was like, well, why is it that Charlie Barron can get us conch pearls, but no one can get us this material? Where, where is it? How can we get hold of it? And the, the reality is this material just simply doesn't exist anymore. This is all extremely old uh, material mm -hmm. that has been collated uh, in a high jewelry house in Hong Kong. That is who we're working with is this material. You're gonna see a level of jewelry I don't think we've ever seen before. You know, we make all of our jewelry in either Jaipur and, and Bangkok. Um, this is a team in Hong Kong that actually when I approach them, they only make one of a kinds. They only make you know, one of a kinds on behalf of jewelry artists and they only work in 18 karat gold and platinum. Yeah. And I went to them, the lady is called Clara, she's incredible. Um, I talked with her about the vision, what I wanted to do, um, how we might be able to work together, you know, and I explained to her, look, we might be able to have this fruitful relationship like 20 years where we can really, really do something special. And she's, um, it's her father's business. She's a young lady and she got on board and she has produced but this incredible jewelry, but to the level of a high jewelry standard. It's right. like nothing we've ever seen before. And I want you to understand that this material is indecipherable from a conch pearl. Because a conch pearl isn't a pearl. It's not a true pearl. Mm -hmm. It's not made of nacre, mm -hmm. like a freshwater pearl or an akoya pearl or a, a South Sea pearl. Uh, a conch pearl is made up of essentially calcium. Mm -hmm. okay, so what the, this does is when an irritant, you can't farm these. When an irritant gets inside, it doesn't surround it with nacre like anything else, like an oyster or a mussel. It surrounds it with a miniature shell. Wow. So it creates a miniature version of itself. And that's why conch pearls are measured in carat weight, not mill size. Yeah. Okay, they are not true pearls. And when we created this, uh, this lady, Clara, that I worked with, when I launched the, the collection on Gem it was a huge success. I'm not talking about money, I'm just talking about sellout, mm -hmm. demand. It was incredible. I had a lot of messages from you guys. We created one standout piece. We had to, we had to create one piece. The whole collection was in silver, which is incredible. We created one piece in 18 karat gold. 
and it was surrounded with uh, incredible diamonds. And in the center of it, Glenn himself, Glenn Lear himself in Carlsbad, California, carved a, a torus out of Montana Yogo Sapphire for me. Wow. And we put a natural pink diamond in the center. And this is the piece. And the team in Hong Kong said, this was put together about two years ago. It, it arrived last year. Um, that piece there was the, the statement piece of the whole, whole debut collection. And it sold for 7,500 pounds. Wow. Okay, which is an incredible deal. Yeah, absolutely. To actually do that, you think that's difficult to do in jade. To do it in what we're bringing you today, they tell me is almost impossible. And then when you factor in what our standout pieces today in the studio, yeah. which is a larger carat weight. It's a larger carat weight. You can show that, Adam, please. <gasps> I've never bought anything like this outside of four figures. Okay, just bear that in mind because here at Jewelry Maker, you're gonna get deals like you've never seen before. But the, the caveat is, and the caveat is, we're very limited. This isn't like a jade showcase that myself and I will bring you where we have, a, okay, here's the big 200 quantity. Even the other day with our yeah, yellow yeah. jade, we finished on a big 200 quantity. Yep. Everything is double figure quantities. All of everything about this, the, the components, the reverse engineering, look, creating this jewelry is one thing, but then to, to bring it to you in a way that means you can create that level of jewelry. Mm -hmm. And I know uh, Claire will know this is, uh, another level entirely. Yeah. It's like, it is reverse engineering essentially. And then I want to go just delve into the history very briefly. Um, this is that piece that I talked about. It's a, a Tiffany & Co signed chrysanthemum. It is a, a conch pearl in the center and then it is stems, stalks that are carved by master carvers in Naples of the same material that we've got for you today. Okay. That's why that sold for three, uh, three quarters of a million pounds. And no one else, by the way, you might find conch pearls on Instagram, you might find conch pearls <coughs> in, in JCK, uh, in Tucson, and they have their value. For the Queen Conch, you're not finding it anywhere. No. I've been around the world twice to find this, but that's a reality. Mm -hmm. Now, I was in uh, the Caribbean in January. I didn't go there to source this material because you can't find it. I went there to tell the story of this material. I went there to find out oh, where wow. this material comes from because that's, that's what I want to bring to you as part of uh, David Harry Jewels, you know, everything. I want you to really understand what you're putting in your collection. Um, and I feel that's extremely important. But when we go back to the history and the gemology of the Queen Kong, this is a, a paper that was written in 1987. And they say during Queen Victoria's reign from 1837 to 1901, the shell of the conch was imported into Europe to be carved as cameos because of the delicate, beautiful pink colors. It was favored by the European cameo carvers because of the relief work. They could have the white and the pink together in the same body of the gem, as opposed to sticking something over the top. Um, and for collecting as a curio, Italian cameo carvers preferred this shell because of its delicate pink tints. And this, that, that passage was written in 1886. Okay, 100 years later, it arrives in this paper. Now, the structure of the Queen Conch shell has been described in great detail by Bowman in 1941 and briefly by Brown in 1986. And again, just want to go into the gemological aspect of this. Since the pearl is formed in exactly the same manner as the shell, one expects to find a similar structure. So the fibrous or lamella structure is present in all shells or inverted commas pearls, because the pearls are shells. Yeah. Okay. Exhibiting the flame structure. And this is with, with a pearl, and we have wonderful uh, naturally colored pink pearls in this collection. You talk about the Orient, talk about the luster, you talk about that. With the 1% of conch pearls, and indeed this material, you talk about the flame. And you can see the flame, yeah. the flame structure on the surface of that pearl. That's present in the pearls and in the shell. It is actually slightly beneath the surface. Almost, it almost looks like you've got like a, a glassy finish on it, but as it moves in the light, it's not an orient you're seeing, it's a flame. And you will see it throughout the pieces that we're gonna bring you today. But I wanted you to understand that many of the pearls that were sold, conch pearls this is, that were sold in like the, the 18th century, the 19th century, were actually carvings of the shell. Wow. Right, because you can't tell the difference, because it is exactly the same. Wow. Um, and this is what I want everyone to understand. Now they say the probability of finding a conch pearl, and this is estimations, you know, and they go into it and they say one in 10,000, one in 15,000. The actual rarity of what I'm bringing you today hangs around one in two million. Goodness. So we have brought you, and I'm not even just talking about jewelry maker, I'm talking about all the projects that I've worked on. You know, I work with American shopping TV networks where I source just on behalf of them. Um, and I've bought you know, the finest Ethiopian emeralds. 
have bought the most incredible um, you know, grandidiorites, uh, rubies, Burma rubies, everything. The rarest gemstone I've ever worked with is the one that we have for you today. Wow. That's why it's so limited. And that is including jadeite and yellow jadeite. Cool. This might never happen again. And I explained that to Steve Bennett five years ago. I said, look, if I do this, it's not going to be like quarterly, where we have Charlie Brown come once every quarter, or Yanni Malas comes once every quarter. The Argyle team used to come once every quarter. I said, we, we might do one show, and it might be two years between the next one. If we want true rarity, that's how it has to work. Mm -hmm. it's, it's as and when basis. Can't go, that was really successful. Can we bring it again? That's not, just to let you know the level of what we are working on in part of the David Harry Jewels collection. The next collection you see here at Jewelry Maker um, that is part of David Harry Jewels is going to be bringing you for the first time cashmere sapphires. Wow. So we have just acquired some cashmere sapphires as part of the David Harry Jewels collection. And that is down to Steve backing me with the budget, but also down to us saying, not resting on our laurels, saying we need the rarest of the rare. Mm -hmm. And if it's once every five years, it's once every five years. <coughs> this is in the British Museum, room 47. This is the material that we're bringing you. Wow, oh my goodness. Conch shell jewellery from Naples, circa 1860. You can see the absolute intricate detailing of these carvings. This is a gentleman called Steve. I'm not going to give you surname because he works with LVMH. He works with some of the biggest jewellery houses on the planet. But I met him at Tucson this year, actually. He's a natural pearl dealer. So I go to pearl booths. I've shown you before. We'll go to these pearl booths. They might be the size of that desk you're on, you know, all yep. the way around, like, in a square. Yep. And they've got stacked with thousands of pearls, you know, from South Sea to Akoya to, to Freshwater and whatever. This gentleman has a booth. It's just him. And he's got about... Eight million dollars of stock in a lunchbox. That's how rare and expensive natural pearls are. In a lunch it's a metal box. lunchbox, of course. Yeah. But that's all he has. And he takes them out. They're all individually packaged and they're sold by the carrot weight. You're talking mellow pearls and conch pearls. And I was talking to him about what I'm doing. And I asked him if he would give me a quote, you know, because this is a guy that works with the rarest of the rare. And he said, many conch pearls that have been sold in Europe since the 18th century are actually the Sanger itself, which is this material. Because, like I said, the, the, the conch shell, goes on this 20-year journey. It doesn't become a queen until it gets its crown, when it's fully mature. Not all of these are called queen Kong. They're called Kong. Yeah. And what I mean by that is, I'll show this. This isn't even a queen, but it's huge. It's incredible. It's like the, the, the rings of a tree. As it gets older, it has more horns. Uh -huh. okay? And that's okay. kind of how you can date them. Okay? You can show it if you want. Um, you get more of these incredible horns. And this is what they call the crown. And they'll only be called a queen when there's so many horns on the crown. Wow. So this itself, the reason I even have this is because it's not gem grade. Right. It's not gem grade. And uh, I want to just show you how beautiful and incredible this is. And still, it's not gem grade. If we just, Finn, if you just show this again, uh, close up, if that's OK. This is it. And I'm going to turn it round. And you're going to see this incredible, beautiful pink color. And you can feel. Yeah. how durable this is, how thick this is. It's incredible, right? This, this incredible polish that you've got, and even this is not gem grade. This is just a curiosity. This is like, you'd find this in a tourist shop in the Caribbean. Uh -huh. the, if they ever find a queen, and they, they might find one a year, they're sold the same day. Your buyer's flying from Japan. They just take them. To buy, to they buy never it. stay on the island. Wow. Um, and they're, they're seldom ever found, but they get about this large, about that large, the, 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 the queen. Um, but like I said, these weren't sourced, well, they were sourced from the Caribbean, they're also sourced from Guatemala, but they're actually probably been out of the waters for about 50 years. 50 because years. Because you can't collate, you can't create yeah. a collection of this. You couldn't, anyone, and I just say to you, go and do it if you want to, even if you're a jeweler and you want to go and create a collection like this, you can't do it. There's no supply of this material. You need to find someone who has a history of, of carving that goes back hundreds of years and they've got material like this lay in a vault. Mm. That's, and that's why I went to Idar in March. Um, eventually we found this incredible team in Hong Kong. Now, Steve said, um, you know, they've been sold as pearls themselves. And he says they're indistinguishable because the composition is exactly the same. And the magic of the Sangha, which is the, the Queen Kong, is the fact that it carries the shimmering flame that only 10% of the pearls have. He says, I carry stock of the pearl, but I don't get the Queen Kong herself. It used to go to Italy or Germany, but now it goes to Japan or Hong Kong. That's where it goes. Mm -hmm. It's just gone. You can't even find it. And we have a collection for you today. This is a, the pearl. Okay, so when I was in the Caribbean, um, this pearl turned up after I left, and they messaged me on WhatsApp, uh, the, the guys that owned this uh, jewelry boutique. And they said, look, we've got this nine point nine and a half carat pearl. Um, that's the size of it, just so you can put it into context. 
And uh, they says, hi, Dave, just got this 9.5 carat. If you're interested, let me know. It's beautiful. What's your price? 14 grand. 14,000 pounds. Wow. $14,000 for less oh, than sorry, yeah. tiny, tiny pearl, 9.5 carats. That's, and that's wholesale. That's wholesale. You got wow. to, that would sell in New York for like $40,000. Yeah. No problem. Like I said, I saw a buyer from LVMH whilst I was there buy a pearl for $40,000. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, you, you just spend $40,000 on a pearl. He said, I'll sell that next week in New York for $100,000. Wow. That's the reality. That everything, anything that is rare like that disappears the same day. Mm -hmm. They fly in and they take that material. This is that piece that I was talking about. That it, that it was genuinely the kind of um, catalyst for this collection. It sold originally for $60,000 to a private buyer. Okay, at the Christie's auction house. The reserve on it was fifteen dollars to $20,000. Diamond, conch pearl, and conch shell. That's the key. Because you see diamonds, you see conch pearls in every auction. What made this so different is that it had the conch shell. The majority yeah. of it is conch shell. And it sold for $60,000. Now, pieces like this, the only place you see these auction houses, it disappeared for a few years, then it reappeared at an auction house, and it sold for $700,000. That's me. Okay, the same brooch. <coughs> Different photography, but the same brooch. There was only one ever made. And it, it sold for, you know, like I said, three quarters of a million dollars. And I was like, I want to bring our collectors that. That's going to be the first ever David Harry Jules thing. And uh, there was plenty of times over the five years that it just looked like it would never happen. I went to Idar Oberstein in Germany. And um, I spoke to someone there and he said, the Sanger shell is the only variety that is considered gem grade. And this gentleman who's about 70 years old, one of the finest carvers in Edar said to me, I've carved one in my life. It was beautiful angel skin color that shifted to a coral in different lights. It was a very hard stone and I carved it like a large round pearl and I could have sold it for, as one as well. And he says, many carvers here haven't even seen one. I would say in my experience, it's far rarer than even the pearl. Much of the examples that you see at the auctions are likely from the masters of Naples and they could be centuries old, okay? And even the shells themselves, they will carve them like this. These are like 11 and a half thousand pounds. One of a kind conch shells. This one here, 25,000 pounds, just a shell carved. You can see as you carve into it, you get the white coloration. Yeah. And this is why they, they preferred them. You know, one of a kind, incredible material. Um, and then you find pieces like this, brooches, $5,700. Pieces like this, conch shell flower and snake ring, 3,800 um, pounds. Michael Kneebone works with this material, two and a half thousand pounds for a pair of calf starfish earrings in the shell. Um, and Sotheby's actually had something like what we have for you today, which is a conch strand. It's amazing. And this was uh, not too long ago at Sotheby's. Uh, the estimate on it was four and a half to 5,000 pounds. And the material wasn't even the same grade as I've got for you today. Mm. In fact, in the condition report, they say, it's conch shell of various shades of pink, cream, and white, varying shapes. Some of them even have crazing. Yours is durable, yours is perfect, has a porcelain-like finish. It's all either angel skin or flamingo pink, sashimi pink colors. You've got the best of the best today, and you're not going to be paying thousands. It is next level. This is a Valentino Magro multi-strand, uh, just the rounds. Again, it's sold for seven and a half thousand pounds. This is the shell. This is the material. Katrina Perez, um, I'm not going to bore you too much longer. I know you're itching to get involved. But Katrina Perez is probably one of the greatest jewelry journalists in the world. She talks about the conch shell. And she goes further than saying one in two million. She says the chances of surviving to such an age in the shell or as slim as one in two billion. Wow. Okay, this is the reality of this material. And I, I draw the more conservative comparison because an average female conch, see how they don't call it a queen? Yeah. Because it must lay two million eggs to produce an offspring that survives to become a queen. And that's from Conch Pearls Limited. Is one in two million. This is the pearl farm, the, the Queen Conch farm. It was the first one, it was about 25 years ago the Caribbean set up this incredible pearl farm. And um, the, the GIA wrote about it. Everyone was excited because what it meant was, okay, we're, we're finally going to try and farm the queen conch, take it all the way through to maturity. It's going to be a 20 year. You think about pearls, they take two years. Yeah, exactly. Probably be a 20 year investment. Wow. And eventually, at the end of this incredible passage of time, we might be able to bring this material back. We might be able to bring this material back. And they wanted to get away, they wanted to get away from, a lot of people fish for this material for the, the conch meat, mm -hmm. okay? And they were like, look, we're not gonna do that. 
we're going to farm this material, we're going to protect it, and then at the end of its life, you know, 20 years in, we're going to have the shell. And that's going to command far more in terms of revenue for this country than the meat yeah. and the pearls. You know, that's the real. If, if we could provide two million of these, then it's going to be incredible. And it was like the shining light of the Caribbean. It was the, the state-of-the-art visitor center. They had these unbelievable sea pens that went out miles into the water. I flew a drone over it. It's incredible. And the, the reason that it looks like that is because a succession of hurricanes completely wiped it out. Oh. And now we are back to the rarest gem on the planet. And the, the price rose when that happened about 10,000% for this 10, material, 10,000, not 1,000 percent, not 200 percent. They were, you know, speculating because they had millions there. And then it just went. Mm. And in fact, what I'd like to do, if, if it's OK with everyone, is take you to that, the farm. I went, uh, you know, pay my respects to show you guys to introduce you to kind of the ghost of the promise of being able to create this incredible collection. And I went there, it is completely derelict. We had to get um, a gentleman called Captain Rico to take us in by boat because you can't get there because the roads are destroyed. So the southern part of this island. I'm going to take you there right now and show you this incredible moment. Take a look at this. We've taken a trip out here to the world's first revolutionary, innovative Queen Conch farm, where they attempted to kind of culture these incredible animals, which was helping to preserve the legacy of the Queen Conch, as well as take them through to a full mature stage and then uh, export them around the world for use in jewellery. Unfortunately, in 2015 and then again in 2017, this area was hit by a series of huge hurricanes that decimated the area. And as you can see by the, the sea pens, which contained some hundreds of thousands, in fact, some people estimate millions of Queen Conch, uh, they were completely compromised. And as a result, uh, you know, the, the natural predators such as nurse sharks, cowfish, and eagle rays were able to come in uh, and feast on the remaining population of Queen Conch. Uh, a project that was incredibly well received around the world has unfortunately disappeared uh, and shows no signs of getting back to its former glory. It lies here as a relic, completely deserted, and all that's left and remains now are the discarded shells of the destroyed Queen Kong. It really is a shame that something as important as this, which was gonna help uh, bring this incredible uh, shell to the rest of the world, has now fallen by the wayside. And it serves to make this uh, incredible Queen Kong extraordinarily rare. And as such, We've seen the price go through the roof. Some people are saying it's gone uh, up by five to 10,000% since the hurricanes ripped through this area. For a fully mature Queen Conch now, it's just about as valuable as a gemstone as you can find. That's the reality for something this rare. This is the journey that we've been on. And the gentleman that took me into that area, um, his name is Captain Rico, an incredible gentleman with an amazing knowledge. He said to me, uh, the Sangha, which is the material we're working with, is ancient in these waters. They have to be very old, between 15 or 20 years at least. He says the conch matures at three or four years old, but she doesn't become a queen until she has her crown. And he's a third generation conch diver. Um, there was also uh, an incredible lady called Beverly who owned one of the finest jewellery stores I've ever seen. And I thought I'd seen the finest in New York. I thought I'd seen the, the finest on Rodeo Drive or in Bond Street. She had this wonderful, incredible uh, jewellery store in Turks and Caicos, okay? And, um, you know, because you have these in in incredibly wealthy people that live in this part of the world. I mean, the guy that created the Pfizer vaccine has this huge, sprawling mansion there. I think Drake lives, uh, lives there for parts of the year. So, the, so you have these areas of extreme wealth, yeah. these unbelievable jewellery stores, and Beverly owned one. And I spoke to her about the project that I was putting together, and she said, the Sangha is a miracle of Mother Nature. It's favoured since antiquity and used by every civilization's masters as the ultimate jewel. She says, I've worked with the Conch Pearl, but never the Queen. They never stay on the island. They go to the Far East. Sometimes buyers fly in the same day that one is brought from the depths. And she said, forget a needle in a haystack. This is like finding a single pink diamond in the vast depths of the ocean. Mm -hmm. And that's, that is you know, the, the, the reality that we are facing. I'm going to show you one more clip of film, and then we will bring you this incredible collection. This is me talking to you about the material you need to put together an unparalleled collection like this. Please take a little listen to this. 
So guys, I'm gonna to explain to you why this is the, the, the rarest gemstone on earth. You know, this is literally the closest I'll ever come to finding, you know, treasure buried beneath the waves. Um, most conch, and uh, we've just pulled this from the ruins of the conch farm. Most conch shells, you know, max out at about this size. This is either because they're dragged from the ocean to be eaten as a delicacy, they're attacked by a, a number of predators, nurse sharks, cowfish, or indeed eagle rays. Remember, it's a slow moving uh, mollusk. And as you can see at this size, they've got, they're extremely brittle, just breaks off, and, and they've got no coloration. Zero coloration. The, uh, this size will still be able to produce a conch pearl, which is what they're indeed looking for. And then you, you get, and I mean, this is still three, four years old. Then, if you get something of this size, now this is special. This is, you know, has that beautiful pink coloration, still very brittle. Um, this may produce that incredible conch pearl, still be eaten as a delicacy around the world, like caviar. But this is not gem grade. And this is like eight years old. And I know that because you kind of count the horns. Um, as Beverly, a local tortoise, as well as uh, Captain Rico, whose family have been involved in conch for a long time. So this is about eight years old. It's taken eight years to get to this age, still a one in a million shot. And you're starting to get that pink coloration, but this will not be snapped up by the Chinese market. This will not be snapped up by the carvers and Idar Oberstein, because this still is too brittle to be able to produce um, those wonderful cameos or those intricate carvings. It is not durable at this age. Now, for the, 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 um, the gold at the end of the rainbow as it was, the, the, the buried treasure that we discovered in the shallows of the Caribbean. And this is where, you know, the Queen Conch deserves its royal status. This is 12 to 14 years old. Again, you can count the horns as they go up through to the, the final horn, so it's about 14 years old. This is impossible. I mean, there, there may not be another one in the shallows here for miles and miles and miles and to find one is almost impossible as well and as we flip this round you get to see that wonderful pink color it extends all the way to the lip this so thick as you can see it's like porcelain it's extremely durable this is what the carvers the high jewelry stores around the world are interested in this is when it maxes out its its potential value and this is probably the rarest organic gemstone in the world. You can't farm this, you can't culture this. And again, it takes 14 years to get to this point and it's got to avoid fishing, it's got to avoid the, the nurse sharks in the area, the eagle rays, the sea turtles, and of course the cowfish. They say this is a one in two million find. And this is what we need to create the Queen Conch collection. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of insight into what the, 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 the extreme kind of parameters of quality you need to be able to put a collection like this together. Um, we heard from a, a dealer in um, the Caribbean who messaged me earlier this year saying, look, we found this incredible pearl. It's uh, whatever it was, $14,000. Mm -hmm. There's only one thing more valuable than that. And there's a gentleman um, that, that is called Saba. His name is Alessandro Sabatini. He studied under the tutelage of the... Um, uh, uh, jewelry house uh, Cartier in Paris. He's an Italian gentleman and he creates um, high jewelry, creates about 30 or 40 pieces a year. He only sells in two places in the world, which is uh, New York's FD Gallery or London's Symbolic and Chase. Okay, 40 signed pieces a year, finest jewelry on the planet. So I tracked down the FD Gallery, okay, you can find them on Instagram, and I looked at them, and in the center there, Ugh. right, I was like, I, I, that just looks familiar to me. Uh, that, that looks like something really, really special. And it is Saba, pink conch shell and diamond ear pendants. No conch pearls, all about this shell because the high jewelry world wants this material, Tiffany & Co. You know, we saw that piece in Sotheby's, now Saba working with it just this year. And so I messaged them and I asked how much these earrings were. It is the, exactly, by the way, the same material That's that is on this color, table, yeah. okay? Just the addition of diamonds, but the same material. You won't believe this. $68,000. Wow. And I said, uh, you know, are these for sale? Thank you, price is $68,000. I was like, US dollars? For real? And they're like, yeah, correct. $68,000 for, and, and remember, even Saba can't create a collection like this. 
Because you know, you've got to find someone who's got the material. You might be able to create one piece. But this is why it's taken five years. We've got all of this available today. And you can take this and create earrings. You can do whatever you want. But this, factually, is harder to create than those than earrings. Because yeah. this is all come from a single piece. All come from a single piece. Oh, my goodness. And, and this is what I mean when I say, and I, I don't want to sound um, arrogant or, or anything. I'm just saying I, the, the whole ethos behind this collection is taking on the world of high jewellery. It's not high street anymore. The only places you can go to find this genuine material are, yeah. unfortunately, Christie's, Sotheby's, you know, the FD Gallery in New York. That's the only places that these <laughs> end up. And we are now bringing you... Remember, you're looking at that right there. I'm not even going to price compare against Sabre right now. I brought something similar to this earlier this year. And unfortunately, because it was so rare, I could only create a one of a kind. And it was seven and a half thousand. One piece. Pounds. One piece, there it is. Mm -hmm. And we are now bringing you this epic high jewellery collection that has been reverse engineered so you guys at Jewellery Maker can put together the most impressive collection of jewellery I think we've ever, ever offered for sale. It's the best of the best. That's a 9.5 carat incredible conch pearl. We saw the price of that. This here is again Tiffany & Co. Amazing. Working with the cage material and we have that exact piece. That wow. is a conch pearl. We are working with the conch shell, yeah. the original material. We've, we've, you know, thank you so much, uh, Adam, for showing them side by side. The caged conch is part of this collection. Remember, everything's double figures. There's not a huge quantity of these. Our cage opens as well. And the, it's quite, uh, the reality of that is people don't like to drill the conch pearl. Mm -mm. So instead, they cage it mm -hmm. because they don't want to defile it. They're like, it's so rare to get hold of that this is how it, it happens. Do you know, Dave, I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, mean this. I have never seen, and I've seen gemstones of, of the finest yep. quality, pieces of jewellery from the biggest designers. I've never seen a collection as beautiful as uh, this. Well, I appreciate that. Like I said, it's been a long time in the making. I am going to start this incredible showcase, <laughs> this offering. And to the thousands of you that are tuned in, we've had an un a believable response, mm. quite overwhelmed. I just want to let you know there's less than 100 opportunities of, of this. we're saying that, that, that's, I mean... I mean, to have 100. Yeah. Uh, and let me let you know, this is how, this is how incredible Jewelry Maker is, right? There's not another jewelry house on the planet in human history that has ever created a collection of Queen Kong jewelry. They, they have sold one-off pieces. Mm. They have bought you incredible, intricate carvings. No one has gone to the lengths that we have to put together an actual offering, like a, a whole beautiful design concept, a collection of jewellery. This stand, and I know this might sound a little bit like hyperbole or I'm getting carried away, this cabinet could sit in Harrods. Totally. That as is. Like, yeah. and, and there would be more eyes on this than anything else. Like yeah. I say, everyone's seen conch pearls in Knightsbridge. Everyone's seen diamonds. They well, don't often get the chance to own the legendary, natural Queen Kong in such... No one knows how to carve this material anymore. No. Mm -hmm. That's why it is in Hong Kong. You know, in Edar, they don't get this material. Well, the natural curvature of the yeah, shell. Yeah, absolutely. So to create... This is what my mind's thinking. How do you create that... You've got to get the perfect... one... First of all, you've got to... And also, first of all, you've got to get the one in two million. Yeah. One... It's, the, the, the compound rarity of this entire showcase is like nothing we've ever done because the way that gemstone mines work, they can be extremely rare, but when you find a mine, you find gemstones, okay? Yeah, of course. You might not find them for 100 years, like Kashmir sapphires, right? When they did find the mine, they mined it for five years. It was there, it was available. Yeah. Then it disappeared, okay? That will never happen with this collection. No. You, there's no way you can go to find this material. There's no X marks. Some, some, some industry or some... Uh, trades uh, uh, people, you know, like the carvers, have to create this over generations. Yeah. Just the raw material. Wow. And we are thrilled to be able to offer you this piece. I'm going to open a minute clock. And I know that it's so strange that we're going to do a minute clock on what is, <coughs> without a shadow of that high jewellery, but it's the way we work here. I'm going to start the clock right now. And in a moment's time, this will be available. Oh, my goodness. I, I literally, Dave. I sold this earlier this year. Yeah, yeah. A, a small, a smaller version of it. I have to admit, 
for seven and a half thousand words and I had to. I had to. Because I only had one. And I had to pay a high price for it. I went back to the team and I said, look, we want to do something that you're probably going to think is impossible. But could your team carve more of these? Could we do something like this for you know, the collectors at Jewelry Maker? You guys are going to get access to this right now. That's so exciting. So, so, so exciting. I mean... I'm going to show you the, I, I, the earrings actually... that this was actually based on. That I drew my inspiration from, if I can. Um, I'm going to find these earrings for you, and I'm going to show you. Here they are. Wow. So that is aquapraise, natural Australian brown diamonds, and conch pearls. And I saw those, and I was like, we have to. I sent that to Kara <laughs> in Hong Kong, and I said, is there a way? Is there a way you could do that? And it's not small. You know, you're not talking about a small... It's huge. Yeah, it's huge. It, it's... I am going to take this over to you guys, and... Uh, you know, Claire or Elle, you can put it on or put it on the back of the hand or do whatever you want and show everyone, you know, just how impressive a piece that it is. Now, Claire's I have... desperate, so I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't take it away from her, How long have we been going here at uh, Jewelry Maker? 12 years. Okay. In 12 years, we've never had offered a collection like this. No, it's... Uh, in terms of both rarity, in terms of, you know, the fact that it's high jewellery, it is the best of the best. It's, it's beyond a Larique. This is, you know, in part, thank you, massive thank you to Steve Bennett for believing in me and saying, go and create this incredible collection. And, um, you know, every year it asks me, how, how's your collection coming along? I mean, it's in five years in the making. And Claire, look, you look a million dollars. Like, you're wearing this incredible piece on the neck. Now, look at it. I just, oh, it is amazing. <gasps> these these colours, uh, we've got multi-buyers on the phones. I mean, the colours are like, it, what, what the colour <coughs> profile that is known with conch pearls yeah. is what the, the highest grade colours are. The angel skin colour, the sashimi That's pink. That's such a beautiful and the description. Yeah, but th this is the colours they talk about. The angel skin is when it bleeds out into more of the peach. And we said very strict parameters for our team that we said, look, we, um, we only want those colours. I don't want it going into the browns. I don't want it going into the, the, the white material. I want to just bring the sashimi pink the, 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 um, the, the incredible angel skin and the flamingo pink. I'm going to price compare against myself. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately, when I first did this, and it was an epic piece, and of course it had the addition of pink diamonds and yogo sapphire and natural diamonds and 18 karat gold, but it had to be seven and a half thousand pounds. Of course, and that's because an amazing. Because of the extreme rarity of this carving. Yeah. Do you know how many of these break when I they're doing imagine. them? And when you talk about something that's one in two million, it's a massive risk, and that's factored into making it this expensive. But today, the starting bid is going to be, I don't know, a third of that price. We're going to have £2,000 straight away. And by the way, I'm just going to let you know, you, you will be aware of this. I'm going to be nowhere near this price. I'm going to be nowhere near this price, but I have to start somewhere. Earlier on this morning, Dave, I was... Uh, uh, I said to our lovely customers that last night I um, sat with a cup of tea and uh, I was chatting to my husband, Tom, you know, oh, Tom, of course. And I was saying about your, your collection and the fact that it, it, it was Queen Conch. He's not interested in jewellery ordinarily. It doesn't, I don't get much of a reaction. Right. However, immediately, his exact words were, that is beautiful. I think it's always the way, you know, like I've got friends and, and, and even family that aren't really interested in jewellery. Yeah. When they, when they encounter high jewellery. Yes. There's a reason that, you know, Samba earrings go for 68. That Absolutely. People will pay it because there is something ridiculously, um, you know, captivating about it. I'm going to do a minute clock again, guys. Um, and... We saw the Saba earrings, the ear pendants, as they call them, and they were $68,000. And this is the same material, okay? And yours is harder to accomplish, harder to do. Yeah, please show that. I couldn't do earrings, um, and it was meant to be earrings. And the reason I couldn't do earrings is because I'd only have half the quantity. Yeah. So well, we had to do pendants. Well, our jewelry makers to do this. You guys, at least one of you, please do it. So this is how they deserve to be showcased to the world. Oh my goodness. I want to say a massive congratulations to everyone joining uh, me for, uh, and the team here for this incredible uh, collection. I'm going to go to another price that you're not paying. Another price that you're not paying. But remember, there's not 200 of these. There's not even 100 of these. 
It's the fastest of you that can confirm on this fan year. You've multibot. I hope you are going to create a pair of earrings. I'd love to see that. And you've multibot. I hope that you get to create the pair of earrings. Now I'm going to go to a price that I couldn't even do when I launched this collection. My debut, the finished jewellery. I'm going to go to £500. Pounds. £500? The, the, whole, the whole message behind this collection is no compromise. High jewellery for high street prices. Okay? When you can go to galleries and pay thousands, like the price of a house mm. for pieces like this. Yeah. Okay. N by the way, just want to communicate to all of our wonderful collectors who are tuned in this morning. I'm nowhere near done. Nowhere near. Uh, I want you to, even if it sells out, guys, <laughs> I'm nowhere near done. I, my vision for these was earrings. I couldn't create earrings because then it would be sold out by now. So we decided to, to make, reverse engineer, make pendants. But if those of you are making earrings, I want to say you have managed to achieve something even I couldn't do. And, and you guys are be better jewelry designers than me, I get it. You, you guys know what you're doing. Um, Tracy, you've bought two. Devon, you've bought two. Surrey, you've bought two. Worcestershire, you've bought two. I think we're going to see some earrings. I think you guys are going to take the, the David Harry Jewels collection to, to the next stage. You're going to create epic, and I can't wait to see what you create with this incredible jewelry. I cannot wait. And, and By the way, they're, they're, okay, sorry to interrupt. No, go on, carry on. Those earrings are five figures. Yeah. Okay, like $20,000. Wow. And, and this they, is rarer and, material. You know what that is? It's Aquaprase. Aquaprase. This is Queen Kong. <laughs> this is the Queen Kong. You know, the, the material that is in Tiffany. Angela, you've bought three. I hope that's a pair of earrings and a pendant. Oh, my what goodness a sweet. me, can you imagine? Okay, <gasps> final deal coming in. Uh, so that means I need a one-minute clock, please, guys. Um, it's, it's humbling to see so many of you joining us for this. It's a very personal experience putting together a collection, as, as both Elle and Claire will know. Stunning. Um, thank you so much, Judy. It has been five years of, like, you know, and in that time, I've been on your screens and bringing you incredible jewellery, but this... Was, was something that I, I genuinely, there was moments where I thought, I probably can't do it. They just probably can't do it. It's you know, something dream. that cannot happen. Of course, it's a dream. It is a dream. And because there is no one on the planet that's doing it. No one on the planet that's going, we're going to make Queen Conk affordable. It doesn't happen. No. It shouldn't happen. We've done it. And in Jewelry Makers history, 12 years, we've done things like this many, many times. Things that everyone said we couldn't do, we did do. Um, even though this is going to sell out at this price, I am going to bring you an incredible deal. I sold something wow. like this. We're always working on making um, you know, changes, making things better, making things more affordable. Just six months ago, I had to sell this piece, essentially, for nearly 10,000 yeah. pounds on our sister channel. Take 200 pounds off the price. 299 pounds. Yep. Wow. Well done, guys. Um, it's, uh, wow. it's amazing. Susie from, from Wiltshire, uh, uh, our Susie. lovely Susie. I'm sure you're going to do something remarkable <laughs> I, Yeah, I also saw uh, with this. A, a, Anne getting involved as yeah. well. Um, this is just, I mean, the depth of this as well, the, the, the thickness of this material. Yeah. Um, we are, of course, talking about 37 carat pendant. And one solid Carving. piece. Yeah. A 37 carat. It's absolutely in the probably the rarest gem. Not probably. It is the rarest gem material we have ever encountered. Wait, wait, wait! And the split pay. Yeah. Seriously. Oh well my done, goodness though. me! Congratulations to every is, single one of you. David, and I think we must all be feeling those same emotions right now. Certainly, that everybody on the phone lines and on the website. Absolutely. Those of you who have secured yours. You know, There's nothing else like this a, in the collection, just no, so you know. No, um, no, this so is very you, unique. For those piece. of you that are multi-buying and thinking maybe you're going to create a, I mean, even mm -hmm. a cocktail ring, I don't know. Um, the opportunity is here for every single one of you. It, uh, you said, mentioned the flame. You can literally yeah, you can see, see that flame. You can see the flame kind of simmering, dancing beneath the surface oh. of this kind of porcelain structure. You can see the swirls of colour. Um, this is a, a special moment for every single one of you, and for me, of course. Um, and the halo Okay, of... a minute clock. What are you doing? I'm going again. Yeah, but, yeah, but... 
I'm, I'm going again. There's so a, look, but look how many people have multi-bought. Hampshire, Swansea, Worcestershire, Greater Manchester, Wiltshire. Um, it goes off my screen, but a lot of you are multi-buying. We are going again in a massive way. We're going to provide you with even bigger savings. If you wanted to get, many of you are, if you wanted to multi-buy on this, then this is your opportunity. 40 seconds now to make this your reality. There are queues on the phone lines. If you can use the app, that would really help us out. If you can use the web, that would really help us out. It is happening today. Well, This is your moment that you can be a part of. There's over 100 people with it in their baskets on the web, but we've got so many people on the phone lines. You can still do it. Yeah. Now is the time to act, though. For sure, 100%. You now guys know is that, that time. We've got collectors as far afield as, as New York um, and everywhere yeah. in the UK. And yeah, in 10 absolutely. seconds, we're because going to Because there's again, nowhere else on the planet nope. that, where this is, where this is achievable. Nowhere. Nowhere else on Earth that you can even uh, entertain the idea of getting this material. Um, good luck. 249 is your final deal yeah. today oh as part of this you know, launch, this debut, this international event. This is on today, gone today. Good luck to every one of you that is hoping to acquire the legendary 37 karat Queen Kong donut carving with those wonderful, beautiful natural colors, the angel skin color blend oh, blending gorgeous. into the sashimi pink. Um, Oh. And I only ever wear pearls, but this is so stunning. I had to buy it. Thanks, oh, Dave. Thank you, Anne. Always love seeing, seeing your designs. Um, and it's wonderful to see you getting involved on, on this collection. I, and I'd be you know, really interested to see what you do with it. Thank um, you. Nothing else oh, needs thank to you. be said. Thank you so much. That's very kind. There's so many messages coming through for you, Dave. That's oh, the that's most beautiful lovely. thing I've seen. I thank agree. Uh, I mean, I have to say, Claire, this is the quietest I think I've ever heard. Do you know, heard, it, I think ever. it's because so I, I, when I saw it, I, I, abs I loved it because I just think it's something inherent in you, isn't it? If something's beautiful, you just know that it's a beautiful thing yeah. and you want to be near it. But then actually seeing, it's, it's so flat and seeing how, uh, thinking about the process of how, it must have, how it's got to this point of, from that shell, it, it's the respect that you have for it as well, isn't totally. it? So you know that it's something really beautiful, but you're absolutely in awe of the creative pro uh, process to get it to get it to look like this. That's probably the the perfect word, I think, Claire. You know, the, 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 the respect as well. Yes. You know, like the respect that we have to show for something like this. This organic, mm. ultra rare gem that has taken mm. twenty years, twenty plus years to to, to you know, showcase this incredible, beautiful color. So many of you multi buying. Some of you getting three which is amazing that you're able to do that. Oh my goodness, I only yeah. had one when I launched this collection. Yeah. I couldn't even bring you three if you wanted three. And it would have cost you, you know, 21,000 pounds to yeah, get three. Yeah, for all those three, yeah. Um, here you are being able to get three at this. And, and this is this team in Hong Kong have really delivered. They've uh, put together this incredible collection and it's amazing to share it with all of you as well. Um, Thank you so much, Karen. Uh, JM Studio. Dave, your collection is gorgeous. I've seen the shells in the Caribbean. Excited to see what future pieces you bring to wear. Well, the future is here. That, I don't know it. if we'll be able to do it <laughs> again, but the future is here. We are going to be bringing it to your screens. I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon to see you tuning in and messaging again. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, now, a, a bit of an update on quantity. Yeah. There's 21 21 remaining. chances. 21 but available. Nicolette has got two, Anjum's got two, Tracy's got two, Angela's got three, Maker in Devon's got two, Jenny in Dorset's got two, Alison in Suffolk's got two. Um, good luck. Seven people have got it in their basket, so that's yeah. not. I'd be checking those out if you can, because this will never happen again, I don't believe. Um, oh my goodness me. And again, if you've got your phone in your hand and you haven't you pressed your option one, I, you need to do that sooner rather than later, because there is a bit of a queue on the phone lines. Uh, so Pat, we can see you. Sheila, we can see you on the phone. Yeah. There's nothing. And Annie, sorry, yes. Annie's just uh, got two. Oh, did you get? She well done, Annie. She just jumped through and got two pair of earrings, I think. Well done, Annie. Uh, David, it's just. I, I said this earlier on this morning, and in fact, I've said it a few times. You know, I think in our in our in our roles and in our our experiences, we've all seen uber 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 high end pieces Absolutely. of jewellery. Yeah. But in my personal experience, 
nothing comes close to this. Oh my God, look at this from Caroline. She says, Dave, super fab, cl fab collection. I'm gonna put it with my pink jade. Wow. I mean, put it with whatever you wish, whatever yeah. you see fit. I think it would look beautiful with, with the pink jade eye or just as is on, on we a We haven't mentioned, chain. but obviously this comes Oh, it comes with, with your... the, the beautiful baby pink box. And it has is... the crown on the front. Yeah, the queen comp. In reference to the queen comp Absolutely. itself. Um, oh my goodness, there are 12 opportunities. Yeah, it's getting serious now. If you haven't checked out your basket, you will miss out. Um, I most certainly, by the way, will be adding this to my wish list. Yeah. The chance and likelihood of, uh, of, of me getting hold of this other than today is... is Unfortunately, this well, is kind of a one-time one collection. Million. One in two million, I think that that's, it sounds about right, especially with <laughs> phone lines. I think yeah. it is going to be a one in two million L. Um, but thank you so much for, for joining us. This was the first incredible piece. And uh, we still have this incredible collection to bring to you. There are just 10 remaining. If this is something that, that you want, there is nothing else like it. It's the largest carrot weight in a single piece. Nearly 40 carrots in that carved, incredible donut shape. That intricate, beautiful carving is something that I don't foresee us being able to bring back. It was a massive undertaking for the mm. team in Hong Kong. A huge commission, very, very dangerous as well and should be extremely expensive. But we have worked out you know the, the the tiniest kind of margins to make this um such a, an incredible deal for everyone tuned in today i mean it's just incredible that even when you're working with something that with the with the, with the statistics that we had earlier yeah. on like billions yeah well the katrina perez said one in two billion billion wow that, that, and yet that, here we are saying oh we'll put, give it to you on split pay absolutely split pay uh, that, that is me um diving for the piece that is in the studio right now in the ruins of that kind of pearl form. wow we went out there with the team we wanted to film we wanted to show you the incredible story those turquoise waters and i just put the quote there from uh the author of katrina perez the one of the most incredible jewelry journalists on the planet and she's talking about this material being one in two billion. Two billion. So congratulations. Goodness me. Being one of those one in two billion. Oh, the final five opportunities. There are a lot of multi buyers on this. Yeah. So I think uh, there's uh, going to be. Oh. But like I said, the inspiration was earrings. But had I brought earrings, it'd have sold out. You know, 15 minutes. Yeah, ago. of course. So it's it's to your discretion. If you want to make earrings, then and I think a lot of you obviously do. It is there to do that. Uh, but for me, it was about making as many of you happy as I could, and, and that meant okay. Maybe we can't do earrings, but let's do the most captivating, captivating spellbinding pendant um, and uh, give you guys the opportunity. You guys are the jewelry makers, and this speaks to what you guys are great at. You know, having that vision and deciding what you will take this on and do with it. Uh, I, 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 it's re literally remarkable. Remarkable. Awe-inspiring, as you mm. said earlier on. Yeah, um, I'm probably as close to being speechless by the beauty yeah, of this design. Uh, yeah. Who's taking the final one? There is literally one left within the vault. Oh, I can't wait to see who it is. Oh. I actually cannot wait. I'm waiting with bated breath to see who takes the final Queen Kong pendant. Oh. Um, and there's nothing here. like this. Is not there? in this collection, no, not at all. Um, the only time I bought something like this was uh, next door. Next door. Um, is that kind of one of a kind piece uh, with the pink diamonds. But this is your opportunity right now. One remaining one. in the world. Uh, June is saying, Dave, uh, this is exquisite. No other words explain its beauty. Oh, I totally thank you. agree. I mean, it's, the, the Queen Kong, she kind of talks for herself, I think. You know, you yeah. just, you look at that, you, you see the incredible colour, you see what the team have managed to put together for you in Hong Kong. And I think all of us are kind of in a kind of state of shock just at how beautiful that she is. You know, it's incredible jewellery. And I totally see why. I mean, f when when Steve was championing you, if yeah. you like to do your collection, you were like, no, I'm going to wait. Yeah, because because I, I, I wanted because I wanted it to be some. Yeah, I, I love what I do anyway. Yeah, you know, coming and getting to speak to you guys about the gemstones we're bringing. I said, look, if it's going to be a point of difference, we have to make it a point of difference. Um, is it the caged conch now? <gasps> this is actually my favourite. It is. Sublime. I can't this, it opens as well, so you can actually remove the conch and oh, roll really? it between the fingers, which is sensational. Um, it is in that wonderful cage, inspired again uh, by the Tiffany pendant that they ever did, a one of a kind, bought by Henry Walters in 1905. That's the piece in question. And you have this opportunity right now to own this material. We're going to bring the graphics in. Uh, we, we obviously are in double figures again, so very very <laughs> limited, extremely limited. 
14 carats. We saw a 14 carat conch pearl. No, it was 9.5 carats, it was yeah. $14,000. Had it been uh, 14 carats, it would have probably been closer to $20,000. And this is showcasing that same impressive, beautiful color, showcasing that kind of angel skin rolling into the cream colors that we're seeing on this material, mm. for which it is famous. This is your opportunity now, guys. Um, again, very limited. There's only one other piece of jewelry like this on the planet and it probably resides in a private collection right now. Yeah. The piece that Tiffany created and was sold to, in 1905. We've drawn direct inspiration from this. Um, that is um, you know, the, the, the message that I received uh, from Mr. Talani, who's a pearl dealer in the Caribbean. And he let me know about this pearl that he discovered, that he found, and he offered it me, you know, rock bottom price, $14,000. $14,000, and here is your opportunity right now to acquire a 14 carat queen conch in this beautiful uh, cage, which you can open um, in the, the, the incredible jewelry box. And I'm gonna do you a, an incredible deal on this, I promise you that. We're gonna look after you. But this is my favorite piece, I think, of the collection. It is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And, and, and I think because it is so unique in that design. Yeah, absolutely. It is. Um, it feels like a one of a kind. Yep. You know, it is high end, it is couture, it is the, the legendary Queen Kong. And we have created this collection <coughs> uh, to, to be worn. We want all of our collectors to be able to own it. And as such, we're going to do the best prices. But these are the, some of the largest carat weights that I've ever seen for the Queen Conk herself. I, I know this is not something that you would do because, uh, you know, the best part, I think, uh, you would say, Dave, uh, of your job is actually bringing Absolutely. these rare treasures to our audience. But I'm just imagining for a second, you know, when I was uh, lucky enough to join both Dave and Jake and, uh, and a few of the team over at Tucson, you know, if he did have that, you know, that that display, literally in uh, uh, sort of one of the, the top grade exhibitions at Tucson. You know, it, it would have been literally rows deep with people. To come and see it, yeah. To go and actually yeah. see it. Yeah, because that's what the design is Not necessarily like even piece, purchase it, it but yeah. just to see it. I feel like it's, you know, if you go, um, you know, like when I went to go and see the Fabergé exhibition, that's what it feels like. You go and, you go and see each piece and as you stop, you look, it's a journey. You know, you're looking and admiring so much of it and mm. that's what it feels like it feels like totally you spend you, you know each piece you need to spend the time to really um appreciate and like we said admire respect uh, that's i love hearing that you know about going to the the Fabergé yeah. exhibition and you think about the kind of engineering that's gone into mm. this piece yeah we're dealing with the rarest gem in the world but that kind of detailing that kind of design work you know and to see pieces like this you usually have to go to exhibitions, you have to go to museums, you have to go to galleries, you have to go to those, those places where you, 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 you're looking around, you're in awe, as we've all mentioned this morning about a collection like this, but you shouldn't be able to own it. And that's, you know, that was the whole key uh, kind of uh, driving force behind this collection was, okay, we're gonna bring you high jewelry. And so, and they were like, you know, we've done pieces that look like Fabergé eggs next door. We've had them made in Jaipur and it's not, not to be, you know, crude or anything, but it's, it's kind of like an imitation. It's a, it's a, you know, affordable way of getting that look. And I was like, no, no, I want the whole high jewelry experience. So although it would be easier and cheaper to make this in Jaipur, I wanted to go and find a high jewelry house, a high jewelry house in Hong Kong. So everything about this feels, looks, and actually is high jewelry right to its core. And you've opened the cage there, Al. And you can see oh. the incredible Queen Conch inside. Very similar to the piece that I saw in Idar Oberstein. It is a beautiful uh, Queen Conch egg. And you can see the cream colors yeah, the underneath, which is what the, the cameo carvers of Naples want. Yeah. Look you know, that's amazing, it's isn't absolutely it? It's absolutely beautiful, isn't and that's, it? Yeah. It's like, why when you look at it yeah. when it's closed and then you've All got natural. another experience on top? That's wonderful. Okay, I'm going to do something uh, crazy. I'm going to go to... Um, just to show you how good this is going to be, I'm going to go to £1,000 to start with. Nowhere near right now. So I'm going to £1,000 for every single one of you. And I promise you, 
we're going to do the best deal you've seen so far. Even wow. though it's my favorite piece, I want to put it in your collection. I want you to be able to experience this. I want you to be able to hold it. I want you to be able to open it. I want you to be able to hold this incredible piece of Queen Conk, this large, beautiful egg of Queen Conk, this beautiful pearl of Queen Conk, if you will. Um, I'm nowhere near done. Nowhere near done. Um, half the stock is gone. <coughs> I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to 500 pounds right now. I'm going to go 500 pounds right now. I've promised you I'm going to do the best deal you've seen so far, which is without a shadow of a doubt what I'm going to do. But I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to take you back to the Caribbean, okay? Where we talk about the maturity of the Queen Kong, you know, being brought from the depths, mm. that incredible material. Mm. We're going to do that for you right now. When we come back, I'm going to give you the best deal that you've seen. Um, so get on the phone lines. Take advantage of it. A lot of you multi-buying. Susie, you're in as well. Uh, Anjum, you've bought two. Maker in North Yorkshire, you've bought two. Uh, Wiltshire, you've bought two. It's going to sell out, but I want to take you to the Caribbean so you can really understand the story of the incredible Queen Kong. Take a look at this. Hi right, guys, I am in possession of possibly the, in fact, I'm gonna state it, the rarest gem of my time gem hunting. There is one gemstone in the Caribbean that is regarded to be rarer than the conch pearl, and that is indeed the gem quality, queen conch shell. This is material that has been worked with by Tiffany & Co, Cartier, David Morris, and a whole host of incredible jewelry stores in the Far East, which is where it is in huge demand. In fact, we have arrived in, in the midst of a kind of a gem rush. And what they're looking for is this. Now, I'm not talking about any Queen Kong uh, shell. Uh, many of them will be disregarded by the fishermen. You'll find them washed upon the shores. What we are talking about is the ultra rare, fully mature version. And the reason for that is what I'm gonna show you. As you flip it around, you see this incredible, incredible hot pink color that is obviously extremely natural. And you can, you can kind of see how, how solid this is. It's like a porcelain. Now with immature uh, queen conch shells, you don't get that. They can't create jewelry out of it, or not durable jewelry. And so the buyers in China don't want that material. The problem that faces the people in the Caribbean is they can't farm this material. They can't culture this material. And of course, for it to, to, produce, for it to become gem grade, as it's deemed around the world, it needs to be over a decade old. A decade old. This this uh, incredible Queen Kong is estimated to be about 12 years. And um, we were doing some research earlier. And if you want to talk about rarity, a Queen Kong has to lay two million eggs in order for one to survive to this incredible mature stage. That is the, the, the location that these originally came from, but these have probably been out of the waters, like I said, for maybe half a century, maybe longer. You know, for anyone to curate a collection like this, to put together a unique collection like this, um, takes you know, decades, takes generations in many respects. And that's why no one can do this. And if they can, they can create maybe one piece and it is sold at that kind of price that we saw. You don't, you're never gonna see this on the high street. You're never gonna see it carried by a big name, a retailer. It is high jewelry. It is for the 1%, and today we're going to put it in your collection. There's a lot of you multiplying. Linda's got three, Jenny's got two, wow. Hertfordshire's got two, Susie's got two. There is a massive queue. Let's, do, let's, let's not mess around anymore. I'm going to go to the final price, but I'm going to ask for a minute clock because it is extremely busy. I'm going to give you this moment to get involved. You know, it is 60 seconds. I've promised you the best deal of the show so far. It is my favourite piece, and I want to share it with you. You know, this was the hardest to engineer because you had to you know, essentially build the cage around each of these incredible queen conch. Yeah. And we had to find the queen conch that was dense enough that we could produce a 14 carat pearl, essentially, carved out of the queen conch shell um, this many times. Now, this is why it is gonna be one of those showcases, unfortunately, and you know, most of the times I bring you big quantities and I love doing that. We can't on this. If I could have, I would have. I apologize to everyone missing out. Al just said a moment ago, I am, you know, I'm jealous of the viewers on the I am jealous, yeah. I doesn't mean that in a bad way, but I get no, no, it. No. It's like, we're fully aware that how limited this is. It's, it's been five years behind the scenes, finding the material, finding the, the, the high jewelry house in Hong Kong that is producing this. This is not China, this is not Bangkok, this is not uh, you know, Jaipur, this is 
Hong Kong, they create usually solely in platinum. You ready, Ross? 199. 199 for every one of our collectors. And it's because, you know, all of our collectors that I've come to know over the last year, two years, I'm seeing you on the phone lines, you know, getting involved in my debut collection here at Jewelry Maker, you're multi-buying, mm -hmm. and if we can look after you, then we're absolutely going to. We're absolutely going to. When I see, the, you know, ev almost everyone multi-buying, and then I think about, look, this is my vision, right? And we're giving you all the components to be able to build this, but you guys are designers, you guys are jewelry um, makers, and I wanna see what your vision, where, how you take the baton on and create other incredible jewels with this collection. Um, Karen in Dorset says, I, I have a stunning Caribbean conch shell, 11 horns for 40 years, which I could never consider cutting. Thank you, I can now wear this beauty too. Oh, amazing. That's amazing, That's Karen, and how amazing that you've had that material for 40 years. And I'm, I can guarantee, I know for a fact, well, that you still have that wonderful itself. color. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and that's remarkable, isn't it? Because that's 11 years old. I was told this is about 14. I can count the horns in a moment. But if you think about that, this still isn't what we need for this collection. For this collection. It's, wow. We still can't get the material to create a collection like this. Okay, a minute clock. I'm going to go again. I'm gonna go again. Look, Angela's just bought three. Yeah. Soraya's just bought two. Vanya's just bought two. <coughs> We've got uh, Surrey's bought two. Hampshire's bought two. I know it's ridiculous, but if I can't do it on my collection, then, you know. True. That's why I haven't said anything because I'm very aware it's your collection. So. And I understand, like, it's probably not the the smartest move to just do what we're doing, but. We, we can't bring it back. We can't do this again. It's now or never for our collectors. And uh, if I'm going to do an incredible deal, it's going to be now or never right now. And remind, remind me that, that, that the inspiration behind this amazing piece was that, that beautiful Tiffany's and coat. And there was one of those, right? Yeah, yeah. And it was uh, acquired, as one. you see here, by Henry Walters in 1905. It's the Tiffany pendant necklace. Uh, features a 23 and a half carat pink conch pearl. So it's the pearl. And the centerpiece is housed by the Walters Art Museum in Baltimore. If you want to see that, you've got to go to a museum, which yeah. is kind of what you were saying, Claire, about the mm -hmm. Abigé yeah. exhibitions in the museums yeah. that we go and see. This is going to be in your collection. I shouldn't be moving from the price. I, I'm more, more aware of that than anyone else. Okay? I'm more aware of that than anyone else. And right now, the time is up. And I'm going to take... Well, I'm just going to go to 149. 149 for every single one. Well, Virginia's just come and bought three. Alison's got two. Joyce has got two. North Yorkshire's got two. Wiltshire's got two. Anjum's got two. Angela's got three. Soraya in Kent has got two. I don't know how many people are in the queue, but it goes off my screen. Yeah, does, like I said, yeah. we don't have the big quantities. We don't have 300s or 200s. We're at pence and split pay. Yeah, exactly. Do you know, do you know again, it's... All these things sort of bouncing around in my mind at the moment. It's like, gosh, if I'm looking to buy for, say, my children um, and hopefully their children and so on and so on Absolutely. and so on, and we're looking for the rarest treasures, most irreplaceable treasures, mm -hmm. this is it. Yeah, for, I mean, like I said, I mean, you know, I'm ha happy to share this with everyone right now, but, you know, make no mistake, I've got a lot of this in my collection as well, you know, of because course. when we started bringing it, I was like, I need to get hold of this incredible material and I have. Um, this, these wonderful jewels, this jewellery in my own personal collection. And I want to share it with, with all of our collectors. I want to. That's something that we've worked on extremely hard. And the, 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 the one thing we've worked on more than anything is getting the price yeah, to this level. Six months ago, this wasn't possible. Yeah. Six months ago, this was not possible. Oh, my goodness. There's literally 33 left and we're super over allocated. Yeah, we've got Anjum, who's just bought four. So well done. Because you were already, I think you'd already bought two and then we've gone down again. Yeah. And you've gone, okay, well, I'll take four. And again, um, like all of you, I can't wait to see what you do with them. Because this isn't how, you know, the, the beautiful thing about jewelry is that it, it has its own life, you know, and I love that when you follow the history of jewelry, you see like what was once a tiara 150 mm. years ago, we've broken up and then put into like a brooch. You yep. see the jewelry uh, dismantled and created into different pieces to, for different children. And I feel like, you know, jewelry is ever changing. And uh, you guys can take this incredible material. You can maybe just wear it as it is, or you can create pendants. You can take the, the incredible Queen Kong out of the cage and do something else with it. You guys will have a better idea of what to do with it than I ever could. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I love what, what, what you've done here. We've put it on this beautiful uh, diamond cut chain. I just love that, that long line look. Yeah, it's absolutely. the kind of piece that I would want to be seeing. But that's exactly well. what the, the Henry Walters one yeah. is on that is in the museum in Baltimore. It's on that long line chain. And because of the, the size, because of how exotic and beautiful this is, it is like this unique kind of one of a kind high jewelry masterpiece you know i think it, it would look beautiful on that long chain over like a block color with oh, you just beautiful. see it rolling around in the cage showcasing those wonderful delicate sashimi pink colors the the angel skin color 
congratulations and um, you know like I said, I'm over the moon that you guys love this this incredible collection. Well, much like you were saying with the with the, with the first piece, um, there's nothing like this. No, nope, nothing like nothing this. Nothing like this. But that was the whole idea about doing every piece this collection. Need. Yeah. You know, I wanted to bring you something you'd never seen. Yeah. I wanted to bring you something that maybe you never even knew existed or never thought you could actually own or work with. That was the whole idea behind this collection. I'm Amazing. Humbled by by uh, the the presence of everyone on the phone lines. Please stay holding. I hope you're successful. It's that is the, the the second piece of this incredible collection that has gone. Um, Absolutely amazing. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. And again, there it is. Well done. The Queen Conch. You want to have a look I at do, that, don't yes, you, Sai? Yes. She's. I can see. She's no problem. Of course. Yeah. Um, um, now we move. Do we move to the Strand now? Oh my God! How did you? How? How, this, how, how? Yeah, this is, this genuinely is nearly impossible. All of these are very, very difficult. Uh, but this material was very, very difficult to accomplish. Very difficult to accomplish. We've got, obviously, the one with the, the, the pink pearls, but we've also got the Queen Conch strand as well, which is <gasps> epic. So many of these incredible Queen Conch. Yeah. Here it is in the display over here. That's all Queen Conch. Individually hand-knotted. Oh my oh, goodness. Look. Yeah, and you saw the piece at Sotheby's, which had an estimate it, of Needless between... to say, it's the most limited, right? Yeah, for sure. That's right, isn't it, Ross? Yes, yeah, 60. I, I mean... That's Queen Kong. Unbel I, have, do you, have you look, ever Look at the seen... colours in Adam's recording when you actually get it in daylight. It's a bit washed out by these yellow lights over here. We'll bring it over to you yeah. guys here in the, the studio. So, I mean, I've never seen... A strand. A strand. Yeah. Yeah, Ever. They, they are significant. You know, I've shown you the Valentino Magro piece, I've shown you the piece at Sotheby's, which had crazing. They admitted that in the condition report. But if I can just show you the piece that, you know, showcasing all of the colours of, of the conch that you get. And you can see the, the connector there. Wow. We've kind of drawn direct inspiration from this. That is, by the way, that's like six figure jewellery. Yeah. Like six figure, might, might be more. But obviously you're using the, the conch pearl, all the different colours, and then you've got the conch pearl in the connector as well. We've gone for the queen. Wait, you get the connector too? Yes, you get all of it. You get all of I it. I thought but that was like, separate. No, you get it all. This is what I mean. It's, it's reverse engineered everything, so you can create this. Now, this is extremely limited. You've seen everything sell out so far. Um, I'm going to urge you to be quick on this. I am going to urge you to be quick, because the value proposition here is like nothing else in the whole show. Oh my word. Yeah, all those world class colours. 115 carats. Mm -hmm. 115 carats. The largest carat weight, obviously. Um, I'm going to wish you all the best of luck. I know this will sell out at any price. I'm still going to deliver mm -hmm. the best deal for you. A deal that I don't think any of you are expecting, but I'm going to urge you to be quick. I have done one strand before um, next door. Okay. And it obviously it sold out. We put the whole collection on pre-order. I don't know if you can do that here, but we do it next door. Yeah. And by the time we got to the auction, it had gone. Yeah. Like, and that, that, was about, that was just after me, you know, when I do my talk at the start, like the 20 minute talk, we got to the strand and it had already sold out. Yeah. And I know how many of you are going to want to own the strand. So I am just warning you. I'm going to take care of the price. You don't need to worry about that. But if this is something you can't live without, if this is something you want in your collection, this is the rarest, it's the most limited, it's the biggest carrot weight, and as a result, you'll probably have about 30 seconds to snap this up. I'm just going to be... But it's not just the strand, it's also that beautiful box clasp. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but were, obviously I'm talking about it as a finished piece of jewellery because of where I, where I come from, but you're right. Yeah. To, to our jewellery makers, it is... When I, when I call it a strand, I'm talking about the whole piece of jewellery. The whole piece, sorry, yeah. yes. No, no problem. Uh, but yeah, you're right, it's, it's all of those factors. It's all of those factors that we're looking at right here. And... and you know, you put that in a, in a window in mm -hmm. London or, I don't know, a market town or wherever it is, and you label that as 115 carats of Queen Kong, individually hand-knotted strand with the, the Queen Kong in the connector as well. It is just name your price time. We're not going to do that. I'm going to bring the graphics live for this oh. right now. Uh, no clock. I'm letting you all know right now immediately. This is your moment yes. to get this into your collection. You're already on the flow lines. It is the most limited. I apologize. I do. I know you're going to multiply. I know you're going to multiply. And I, 
that, the only that, that strand. makes it even more limited. Of course, it's the only strand. And I told you they're going to multiply. And you're more than welcome to do that. This is it. This is your moment right now. The most sensational collection that I've ever been in part, part of. And look, it's not because it's mine. I'm just saying, like, objectively, you know, even if I was here just as, you know, as I usually am with, with the wonderful jewellery we bring you, I'd have to say it is the most sensational collection I've ever even can had a hand imagine, in. Can you imagine, and for a second as if I'm doing this, bear with me, bear with me. Yeah. Can you imagine... Go on now, you show everyone. This. Or the caged. Can you imagine that? But that's the beauty, isn't it? That it, this, you, you have the joy of creating it yourself. So you've got... As, as, as you wish. And I mean, that's... Unbelievable. That is, yeah. It is unbelievable, yeah. At, that. Can, if you manage to get the beautiful Queen Conch donut at the beginning, mm. Mm. can you imagine being able to take your piece even further? Mm -hmm than, dare I say, that £7,000 single piece next door. And I mean, knowing, knowing, you know, all about it now, you know, can you imagine the wonderful process of, of making something with it? You know, you, you've got the joy of, of receiving the components, the actual then the pleasure of actually making and creating with it. And then, the, and then you know, if you're keeping it for yourself, you know, the I absolute delight it. of wearing it. Could you part with the this, whole, Claire? No. I couldn't part no, with it. No, This is, th th this absolutely and i'm just going to mm -hmm. turn it around so you can see that class because it's a shame almost yeah. isn't it to, yeah to, to, to hide it but you could wear it asymmetrically mm. could, can you imagine this piece of jewelry just stunning yeah yeah uh, tears caroline wow mm. what about that yeah, I mean, just ridiculous. You're making it possible, though, aren't you? I am going to, yeah. I mean, where should we be for something like this? I'd say about £1,500 even here at the channel. Yeah. 115 carats. And it's not just the carat weight collectively. It's the matching of all these stones. It's finding them. Yeah. It's, it's getting them carved into these wonderful rounds. It is showcasing those wonderful, incredible... Because you can get a £1,500 Ross, but I'm not going to stop there. Um, I, sh I showed you, look, I'm not a designer in the truest sense of the word, you know. I don't have the imagination of someone like Claire uh, and with you, Elle, with your collection. But what I do is I look at high jewellery and I say, what's the closest, essentially, we can get to this? You know, th that's essentially what I'm talking about. And I'm going to do a minute clock right now, guys. And I'm going to bring you your deal. Oh, wow. I'm going to bring you a deal. Um, OK, I'm going to show you this piece that I based it on. This is what I mean, look. I looked at this, this incredible piece, which is a six-figure piece of jewellery. You can see it clearly on your screen, the connector, all of that. I knew I had something rarer, in, in essence, than the actual pearl. I've got the Queen Kong. And you're getting it right now. And in 38 seconds, I'm going to do you, your phenomenal deal. If, if everyone checks out, we're over-allocated. I apologise for yeah. that. It is... Um, a one-time offering, the only strand, all of the matching that's gone into this. Take a look at the wonderful myriad of colours. You know, like I said, you've got those corals, the angel skins, the sashimi pinks, the flamingo pinks. You've got those wonderful cream colours. You've got that sensational piece in the connector itself. Um, I wish I had more. I wish I had 500 right now with the response we're seeing on the phone lines. But we're at £1,500. And my final deal on this, my final deal on this piece... It's 299. Wow. It's 299 for, for Goodness this. me. It's a miracle. That's and, a uh, huge carrot weight. Yeah, and it's the, the amount of. Did we count the actual. Would you like me to? Yeah, you I can you certainly do, do that. that. Here we are. Two, uh, six mil. Two, four, six, eight. Bear with me. Uh, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, I mean, 58, as, as, 60, as you keep going up, 62, I'm just thinking, 64, my God. 64, 64 solitaires. 64. Beautiful and round you've got that beautiful Kong. flamingo pink. Yeah, you've got all flowers. of the myriad of colours that we based the design on. That's what we wanted to create. So the look we wanted to give you, wanted to put it in your collection. Tracy's got two, Alison's got two, Virginia's got two, Vanya's mm. got two, Anjum's got two, Susie, you've got two, and you've got two. 
This is it. This is your moment that you can be a part of this. Yeah. You're double figures on your split so, payments. They're interest free. So massively over allocated. Sorry, Ross, did, did you just work out what that is? Each? Don't you dare. Mm. I don't want to know, mate. I actually don't want to know. So don't even. L, you know. That's enough. You know. I know when. Even I you know guys, you guys don't Dave need to know. Means shut up. Yeah, now. I'm just saying. I do not want to know okay, at all. Enough. I'd rather just think of it as an incredible deal for you guys. I don't want to think of it at that level because it, I know I'll be annoyed. But it's amazing for you guys. Let's think of it as just one epic, incredible deal. I knew it was the most limited. I saw you multi buying, and I thought, like, again, if we can look after you, wow. we're going to, and we've gone to a crazy low deal. Um, make the most out of it. Um, you and Ross can know that between you, but I do He's not just need say, to know. Just tell our viewers it's £299 <laughs> divided by 64. There you go, that's uh, the easy math. Actually, it's, and it's You're lucky, Al, that I'm terrible at maths because you've told me the formula and I still have no idea. Okay, but you guys at home, you'll know that. Uh, I don't, and I don't want to know. Uh, but, uh, well, uh, do you know, thank you. Dave, thank you, thank you, thank you for making this possible. Yeah. Well, um, and that vision, which happened, what, five years ago? Five years ago was the, the idea of let's wanting to do something. The Steve said, go and do something. You know, we'll, we'll provide a budget for you to go and create something incredible for our viewers. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, well how do we take it to the next level? We've, we've already taken on the high street. High jewelry. That's what I love seeing. So well, don't we all? We love going to, like, um, like Claire said, going to the, the Fabergé exhibition. We all love window shopping. And yeah, of that. course. But if we're not going to provide high jewelry for affordable prices, no one's going to. So that's what I wanted to do. That was uh, what, what really started off this, this moment. Um, now it's the other strand, isn't it? We've got three more pieces. Yes, we have. What do you mean? What do you mean? This strand is... That necklace is absolutely astonishing. Yeah, so these are the ultra-rare pink natural-coloured freshwater pearls. Very difficult to do. It's, it's very... Because of the strict grading. Now, we're working with a team in Hong Kong that are doing this. Now, you'll notice how good these pearls are. Okay, we, I've brought you pearls. I've brought you the papaya pearls. I've brought you naturally colored pearls. I know you've seen them on the channel. You're going to see this satin-like finish on these naturally colored pearls. And this is because we are entering the realms of high jewelry. Mm. You know, I played, and I'll be honest, I played no part in sourcing these pearls. Okay, I didn't go out to Bangkok and source these, where I, where I usually do for the Charlie Barron collection with the Okoyas and the South Sea. I spoke to this team in Hong Kong, Clara, her father, um, the, the family, the team, who create one of a kinds. And I said, I knew, I knew that strand that I just brought you, I knew we didn't have enough. I said, is there any way we can create another strand? And she said, we might be able to get some pink pearls. Right? We might be able to get some pink pearls. And, I, and I've seen pink pearls. I've never seen anything that we're about to get a chance to own right now. I don't even know how she got access to material that's this good. We're talking perfect rounds, um, well, well, near so rounds. We're talking incredible luster, the best Orient I've ever seen, the strictest and finest color grading I've ever seen for a pink pearl, true pink pearl. And then you've got the Queen Kong as well as part of this you know, piece, this component, as you can put this together as a masterpiece. This is not anything you've ever wow. seen before. I'll bring it over to you guys. Again, again, it's 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 how perfectly it complements yeah. the, the the actual queen Con, uh, the queen conch herself. It, For it, sure. It literally, look at that. It's it's perfection. It's actually perfection. These these are. Uh, I mean, I haven't been with you for all of your pole shows, but these are the finest poles I've ever seen on the channel. Yeah, let me just one sec. The double row as well. Oh, Ross, how many know. do we have of these? 88 okay, available. Very small quantity. Wait a sec. So this is a multi-way wear. Yeah. That's, the, that's another key feature of high jewellery. You, you have those, those uh, pieces that have uh, multiple ways in which to wear them. You know, pendants uh, that can become brooches and vice versa. Um, and this has a multitude of different ways that you can wear it. Like you've got it there with the three strands uh, and the one going around the back. You can you pull the other one over Literally and you can have the, the full yeah. double and uninterrupted row with the connectors breaking it up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a wild deal on this. And do you know why I'm going to do that? Because so many of our collectors missed out on the previous strand. This is the only other strand. The only other strand. I'm going to do a deal I shouldn't do that even, you know, even with the crazy deals I've done today, I shouldn't even be thinking about the deal I'm about to do for every single one of you. I'm going to bring the graphics in for this immediately. You heard what Ross and Elle said, we've only got 88. 
you know, the, the wonderful pink freshwater pearls, the, the natural zircon, the unbelievable Queen Kong. Just amazing. Yeah. Just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And, I, and, and I'm also very aware of the sort of price point, if you like, that the pink pearls on their own mm -hmm. would be. Yeah let alone alongside. Absolutely. And uh, look, I'm so thrilled that you, that you guys are listening to what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying to you, I'm going to do you a ridiculous deal. Everyone so far on the lines has multi-bought. 10% of the stock's gone. 20% with the baskets. The best of the best. As good as it gets is what I'm bringing you right now. Well, I mean, and this is the thing with, when it comes to the pearls, you wouldn't have anything, you know, uh, uh, you'd only, only aspire to the best grade because this is Queen Kong. Uh, for sure, and that's, the, the, those pearls weren't my decision. This was Clara, and she sells these pearls to the high jewellers uh -huh. in, in every corner of the globe. That's where they go to to get their one-of-a-kinds made for their store window displays, and that's how she gets access to this material. We shouldn't have access to this material because in all actuality, in all reality, there's not enough in circulation for a shopping TV channel to own no, this. Of course. You know, we couldn't make a show of these. It's part of this one, 88 of these. Yeah, yeah. Think about it. So we never get offered it. It's well, just you couldn't too rare, put this on, on Gemporia, no, could you? The no, quantity would, nope. like you said, it would sell out and there'd be more people that were oh, frustrated. For sure. Absolutely. But we're going to sell this out today. And we're going to provide you with an epic deal because so many of our collectors unfortunately missed out on the previous strand. Uh, here it is. This is uh, how it will arrive on your doorstep. Yeah, everything comes with those wonderful um, you know, Queen Conk boxes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful with, of course, the regal crown itself. You have your lovely zircon, sterling silver box class. You have the, 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 the Tiffany mount. Yeah, classic and, so, and I'll be on. showing you how to set that as well. So we'll, we'll look at that in the masterclass. So in so, the masterclass, yeah. you're literally going to recreate yeah. Yeah, absolutely or make that. this piece make of jewellery. Yeah, so I'll show you how to set the, set the stone. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's look, the pearls, isn't it? And, and the, um, you know, the, the queen conch is, is are just out of this world. And the combination, I think, of the two is yes, the, the jewellery made is just, is, you know, so elegant. Well, it, 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 it's unmissable, isn't mm. it? It's absolutely yeah. unmissable. Yeah, yeah. Once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. Yes, very much so. OK. Um, I'm going to do the lowest price of the show on this, which I shouldn't, because it's the second most expensive piece for us to make. <coughs> um, um, I'm going to do this for you, because you missed out on the previous piece. I just popped into the gallery and I said, how many people missed out on the previous strand? And he said three, uh, three figures, like 100 people minimum. OK. okay? And, and for that reason, I am going to... Essentially, I might lose money on this piece, but that's OK. <coughs> we are going to do this for you. It's the only strand. After this, we have um, the, the Mickey Moto pieces, which are in the centre here, the, the pendant and the ring, which I'm going to do phenomenal deals on. But for this strand, the double row, the multitude of ways, the Queen Kong and the finest pink freshwater pearls we've ever brought to your <coughs> screen, I'm going to do the lowest price of the show. So Ross, I want you to go to 299. <coughs> forget 1500, forget 2000 pounds. I want you to go to 299, which is our sellout show stopping deal today. It's yeah, yeah, the wait. debut of David Harry Jules and whatever. And then I'm gonna go and show you what I'm gonna do for you guys because you've joined me. Um, and you know, it's always nerve wracking when you're you know, launching the, uh, 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 show, uh, you know, when you're kind of pouring your heart out, you've created something, it's taken a long time. You never know how people are gonna respond. Um, and because you've been here, because you've been part of this you know, wonderful journey with me and you missed out on the previous strand, I'm going to do something crazy for you. I'll take a minute clock, Adam, if that's okay. Take a minute clock and then I'm going to do you the deal. So I uh, want to say thank you to everyone that's multi bought. Lorna, <coughs> Jenny, uh, Maker in North Yorkshire, Vanya in Surrey. Some of you buying three of these, some of you buying two. It's the double strand. Um, you, you're also going to get the masterclass with, with Claire on how to put this together. You know, how, how to create these wonderful looks. And in 40, well, 39 seconds, I'm going to essentially give this away. Do you know, uh, um, Dave, you and I sort of uh, briefly messaged last night about today yeah. uh, and, and the show. And it, and you were saying, obviously, you know, it, it, it's excitement, it's nerves. Yeah, it is, of course. Leading into a, sure. a, a, a show like this. 
you really did not need to worry. They're absolutely oh. breathtakingly beautiful. And as you can see from the response from our, mm -hmm. on the call screens, but also the messages into yeah. the studio. Look, and uh, you know, we have the best collectors in the world. Everyone knows that. Uh, you guys are the best. And as part of my collection, it means I have kind of, kind of the authority to, to, to do the deal that I'm about to do, which is I'm gonna half that price. Pardon? I'm gonna half that price which is ridiculous. It's going to sell out in about 30 seconds. I am halving that price, Ross. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, we still have two incredible pieces to bring to you, but you saw yourself how many people missed out on that. The price that Over I've halved it from. Over people missed out on the yes. last one. So the price that I've halved it from is the price that it should be, the big deal. Yeah. Not today. Not today. Not with, with the amount of people that are missing out on these collections. collections. Do you know, if, even if, and I'm, I'm going to sort of talk about the pearls here for a second. You have to. For look, the pearls on their own. Yeah, no, and, and look, I've, we've worked with incredible freshwater pearls, okay? We're yeah. very fortunate to have some of the best contacts in yeah. the world for, for all pearls. But this is a grade above anything I've seen, or yes. it's certainly been offered. Because I'm offered, you know, what they call high grade, and then what high jewellery call high grade is what you're seeing right now. Okay, what high jewellery call high grade is what you are owning right now. This is high jewellery for high street prices. We're at 149 for everything that you're seeing there. Everything that you're seeing in that, that shot. And just to, just to recap, if I kind of pivot this uh, towards the camera, earlier on, for the benefit of those people that tuned in, you had a WhatsApp message. Yeah, I did with, with uh, Mr. Talani with, with, when they offered me a 9.5 carat. Uh, Queen Conk Pearl for $14,000, which wow. is an incredible deal. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, this is it, 9.5 carats. And there, it looks impressive, okay? This piece here, we're going to put it on your screen. It looks impressive, okay? But the reality is that's the size. That's the size, yeah. That's $14,000. And then you just look at the piece that we've put in this incredible connector, you know, that... that you puts together these two incredible strands. Vanya's just bought four. Virginia's bought three. Linda's bought two. Yeah, Linda's bought two. Angela's bought two. Linda's bought two. Uh, Alison's bought two. We still have a big queue. Um, if you can use the app, that would really help us out. If you can use the website, that would help us out. And it's not to help us out. It's to help you out, really. We, mm. I want to try and help you get these into collection because I'm seeing you know, people missing out after missing out. We've tried to promote it the best we can. Uh, I've already told you that I'm going to be doing the best, the very best deals for you as part of this collection. Uh, and I'm just trying to encourage you to be able to get on the lines, to be able to have the confidence to get involved today. There are only 18 opportunities remaining. Um, and this is the, the legacy matched, extremely rare, naturally colored pink pearls with the, the probably the best orient I've ever seen in a pearl. Yeah, I'd agree. With like a satin kind of finish. And then you have that beautiful queen conch with that kind of almost flame structure there as you see it going past the screen and the zircon. So you get the fire, the orient and the flame all in this statement, double row strand. Oh, Rosie, I saw your name on the call screen actually. Oh. She's a message for you, Dave, saying thank you, Dave, for letting me have in such beautiful pills. You're more than welcome, Rosie. You are more than welcome. Um, and uh, as is everyone else that's joining us this morning, Everyone is welcome. Jenny and Dorset, you've just bought four. I've got a maker in Meath who's just bought two. It is very busy today, mm -hmm. um, in part because buying of the deals four. we're doing. Yeah. I mean, I, I look at this. we're buying four Queen Conk. Yeah, we are. And, and, we're and double row pearls. And just, pearls. It's just, isn't it amazing? It's because, another world. Yeah, and, and I think the beautiful thing is, you know, the proposition is what you're seeing is that made piece of jewellery. Because mm -hmm. we've kind of reverse engineered it, for some reason we can allow it to go to these prices, whereas it's, it just walked in next door, as is the, the, the made-up strand. Yeah. It'd go for 2 dollars Of course it would. And that would be an incredible deal. Yeah, of I course. love what we do here at Jewellery Maker. I love this kind of secret club that we are, where we just get these crazy deals. I think it's amazing. Long may it continue. Yeah, but, um well done to every single one of you. We are down to our final five. I do apologize for that. But it is now or never for every single one of you. It truly is. Oh, my goodness. There's 101 people with it in their baskets for the final three. Mm -hmm. And I don't have another strand to give away after no. this. So I can't look after you. If you miss out on this, that's it. There isn't another strand. It's, it, it is now. Uh, now or never. I mean, oh, Dave. There are two auctions remaining. We'll leave yeah. those final two there. These, these two are... It, it, when you're working with the Queen Kong, well, when you're working with the Queen Kong, less is more, okay? 
And um, these are 100%, make no mistake, to show you the level of the material, to, to demonstrate clearly that the pearl is essentially a miniature shell. We're showing you that. So we've created two iconic pieces from the house of Mickey Moto in these pieces. And um, we're going to allow you to get involved on this incredible piece. Which one do you want to start with, Ross? Oh, show. Okay, this is interesting. I'll show you something now. Um, this is pretty much based on this. I don't mind saying that. It's a, a conch pearl and diamond pendant. Okay? It's uh, you know, one of the world's most unique and luxurious gems. Okay? And remember, <laughs> 100 years ago, they were selling what Elle is holding as this. And we've, we've changed the design up a little bit, but essentially that was my inspiration. You can see, uh, Adam, you can show yours if you want. That is incredible, right? Wow. So that is on Mickey Moto. It's high jewelry. It's not like huge and impressive like Tiffany's. It is an incredible piece. I reached out to Mickey Moto because even that is priced on request, okay? Okay. So I had to reach out to them and I inquired about it. And it's, it's actually in their Bond Street jewelry gallery. Okay. Okay. They said, thank you very much for contacting Mickey Moto. We have this very rare natural conch pendant available at our Bond Street boutique. The retail price is £42,000. Wow. Please let me let know me if you'd know. like to book an appointment for viewing or for more pictures. I remain at your disposal for any question you have. Yours sincerely, uh, Marie Marotta. £42,000. Yeah. And, and, and there are, you know, genuine... Uh, um, you know, argument to put across that what we're bringing you is rarer. Yeah. Okay. Inextricably linked to the piece of Mickey Moto. Yeah. Based on the same design. Uh, the the colour. There are is gem absolutely... dealers that wouldn't tell, wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this and a conch pearl. It's exactly the same. You know, the same structure. It's ex you know, gemologically essentially the same properties. This is what we do, though. We're up honest, we're up front, we certify things, and I'm telling you, this isn't, the, I'm proudly telling you, this is the Queen Kong. This is the Queen Kong, with the best saturation of colour you've seen all day. Yes, uh, yeah. And I just have to say that, it is. It's the best saturation of colour I've seen all day, because, you know, the, um, the inspiration was a world-class jewellery house. You know, the inspiration was Mickey Moto. And if you, if you want to be inspired by Mickey Moto, then you've got to bring the best goods. You've got to bring the best material. That's exactly what I've done. Match the color, match the shape. And I'm gonna do you an incredible deal. How many of these do I have, Ross? 99. Okay, biggest quantity of the show. That's, I've never said that before, have you? You have 99 and it's our biggest quantity. No. Usually like 99 is the one that's like quite limited. Yeah, the most limited. It? Right, 99 is our biggest quantity, so I'm gonna make oh. this an incredible deal. I know this is the one you're going to want to wear. You've got your statement pieces, okay? You've got your strand. You've got your huge carved pieces. This is that, that old adage where less is more. And for me, if I'm staring at Adam's recording here, I can actually see the flames. The flames. Can you yeah, see that? Just yeah. I, would, I genuinely, I have no problem telling you this. I, I'm even confused right now. I actually, th I, looking at that, I think that's a conch pearl. You know, even now, even knowing everything we've been through, I'm looking at that and going, I would bet anything that's conch pearl, you know, if someone showed me that. Yeah. Because no one's doing what we're doing. No one's doing what we're doing. Bring in the graphics, Ross. I just love this, Dave. I absolutely love this. I'm having to cement my feet to the floor not to run over and get my phone. I'm, I feel sorry for you, Alan. I do, and I mean that. I, I, I take no pleasure in the fact that I know you're going to miss out. I really don't. I know. Um, it is a special piece. Yeah. It's, it, it's beautiful. It's stunning. It's, you know, that, that, what you're looking at on Bond Street right now is £42,000. And it's not the same. This is not the pearl. This is the, 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 the mother of the pearl, essentially. Yeah. You know, this is... The, the artist that produces the pearl. And I've got, I had 99. I don't have 99 now. Oh. Can I give you a minute to make your mind up on this? Not you, Al, you've made your mind up. Yeah. I'm gonna give you guys a minute Maybe to make your mind up. Daisy. I'm letting you know I'm gonna do you an incredible deal. This is the end of the David Harry Jewels uh, event. I'm gonna do a crazy deal. And I'm letting you know that straight off the bat. I'm letting you know that straight off the bat. I can't do anything else. If you trust me, if you know what I'm about, I'm letting you know right now that this is going to be the biggest deal of the show. It's going to be the biggest deal of the show. You can Wait, get it. Wait, because you've done £149. This is going to be the biggest deal of the show, Al. 
So well done. And in half a minute, this will be sold out. Again, I have to no say... No problem saying that. Uh, yeah. Jenny's got three. North Yorkshire's got three. So Surrey's nice. got two. Hampshire's got two. Angela's got two. You've got 12 seconds, probably. In all actuality, in all reality, you've got eight seconds before mm. it goes wild. I only had 99. I actually m much prefer this design. I know, I know. There, I knew the majority of people will. <coughs> the majority of people it. will. You know, like I said, it's, it's based on one of the most incredible iconic. I remember seeing a video of this piece at Basel. Yeah. They, everyone was spellbound by it. It's just one simple, incredible pearl. You ready, Ross? 99 pounds. It breaks my heart to do that, but the payoff is Amazing. putting it in your collection. It breaks my heart to take it to that low, but I get the, the, that kind of feeling, the trade-off is I get to make you guys happy and that, that's good enough. Linda's got two, Vivian's got oh. two, Virginia's got three, yimei has got two, Alison's got two, uh, Angela's got two, Jenny's got three, uh, Maker in, in, I don't see, it's gone off the screen, has got three, Linda in Hampshire's got four. £99. Pound. Genuinely, I mean, what an amazing, amazing occasion, occasion this is. Yes. Half the stock's gone already. I mean, I, as we said earlier on, Dave, a lot of us have got a huge amount of, of gratitude to you for, uh, for the rarity of the gemstones that you've sourced. Not as much now. gratitude as I have for everyone else that is tuned in right now. Because, Bless you know, you. You, well, it's true. Everyone that is tuned in right now has put us in this position, right? Mm -hmm. Where, you know, you guys, uh, you know, being part of this incredible journey is the reason we can go and source these incredible gemstones. It's the reason that we get to travel the world and bring you this incredible material because we know we have a, a pool, a collection mm. of the most educated and incredible collectors that want that material. So you allow me to do what I love as well. So it's a, a kind of symbiotic relationship that we're all a part of. And right now I'm bringing you one of the statement pieces of the collection for different reasons in double figures. And you get your split payments, which are interest free at £49.50. <coughs> okay, amazing. You have Absolutely the opportunity to, to put this <gasps> into your collection right Look now. Look at that. And makers as well, isn't it? Because you, we're, we're a part of it as well, aren't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. So we, when you, got, you get it, you can look at it and think how lovely it is. And, there, and then you can create with it as well. So Absolutely. Just as it is. More, more than anything. You know, when, when I go and acquire something and then I see what the, 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 the makers have done with it. Mm. You know, for instance, every showcase that for, I'll bring like maybe a jade eye, I'll see what we have created mm. as a finished piece of jewellery. And it, it blows my mind. It takes yep. my breath away. And, you know, to, to the, the first part of the journey is, is sourcing the gemstones. But the, the kind of the dream that gets realised is by way of the incredible, uh, incredibly talented makers that we have here um, in the building. And, of course, you guys at home as well. That is the key part of what Jewellery Maker is a part of. And this is very close to selling out. Very close to selling out. Uh, we have, how many do we have left, Ross? Uh, 39. Okay, minute clock. I knew you, I knew it. Minute clock. Let's, uh, let's finish on a, on a bang. Uh, oh, Greater oh. Manchester, you've got two. Midlothian, you've got three. Dunbartonshire, you've got two. Anonymous Maker, you've got two. Anjum, you've got two. Vanya, you've got two. Greater Manchester, you've just come in and got multi-bought. Uh, Midlothian, you've multi-bought. 46, Wait, you 45. you do know that there's a ring to come I do, well. I do. I know there's, it's again part of the Mickey Moto suite. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And again, in the same way. And you'll way. show how yes, to send this yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, although it's like the necklace will be working on, it's the same same principles of. Um, it's just you know, cradling those. Yeah, yeah. It's taking your time. But it, like I was saying, you know, it, what a wonderful, how wonderful to be part of that incredible process. That from sourcing the, the you know, the beautiful materials, it's years and years, and you're part of it. You're part so of that journey. Honor. That is an honour. Amazing. Oh. Ross, seventy nine pounds. I know we've still got 10 seconds left, but look at the phone lines. 79 pounds, um, <coughs> and it is yours today. We're gonna do an incredible deal. And then we just have this one ring remaining. We oh had a whole display of incredible jewels for you. And unfortunately, we're down to just one ring right now. Do you know, earlier on you said, and it really resonated with me, Dave, that, you know, once it, with, with, with gemstones, and this is not me being derogatory in any way, shape or form, no, saying that they're not rare, because they, of course, are rare. Yeah. But if you find a parcel, if you find a deposit, rather, that's the word, yeah. a deposit of gemstones, then there will be... More gemstones. More gemstones. Yeah, it's a mine. But It's a finite supply, but it is a supply. Yeah, whereas something like this something like this is a miracle of mother nature it's a fluke it's a freak it, you know it's a miracle that's the reality 
And, and to uh, find, I, I guess, in the in the waters that they actually form as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, like I said, I went there. You, you're not going to find them. You're not going to find them. Um, these these come from old. Uh, uh, specimens essentially that, that have you know in different parts of the world that have probably been traded between Naples and Hong Kong yeah you know like uh, we've got a hundred of these old you know historic shells and then someone in Hong Kong would buy them there's that kind of secondary market you're not finding these in no. the waters of the Caribbean you know uh, for all that incredible pink color for all that incredible flamingo pink color the reality is that on a sunbed is invisible yes you know that at like a depth of 20 meters is invisible Yes, it's, it's you. You're not finding, you're not seeing it, um, and that is the, the the kind of harsh reality of something. This plus the natural dangers of those waters as well. Oh just yeah, thinking. I mean you talk for the natural predators. Reef sharks. Material, yeah, reef sharks, nurse sharks, cowfish, eagle yeah. rays, sea turtles. Yeah, it's a slow moving creature. You know, we might not be able to find it, but they can. Yes. They've evolved to. Of course. You know, um, wow. so congratulations to every Amazing. single one of you that is getting involved. We are down to the final eight. I went a lot lower than I should have done, but I hope that you guys are happy. I hope you get to wear these. I hope you get a lot of compliments with it. I hope it is, you know, part of your kind of heirloom collection. I hope you do get to pass it down for generations to come. You know, just we heard from a collector who had some Queen Kong in a collection for 40 years. Yeah, you know, uh, you know and, and would never dream of cutting it. And yet now she gets to be able to wear this incredible material um, on a daily basis. So 40 well years she's owned the shell. Yeah. First time she's ever seen it Absolutely. in jewellery. Absolutely. Or been able to acquire it in jewellery. Amazing. Unbelievable. Now. Final piece. There was one. Yeah. I call this the Mickey Moto Suite, which is, I don't know if I'm going be allowed to say that. It's based on it, though. And I'll show you the ring. This is it. The pretty oh, in wow. pink. And it's, again, a one-of-a-kind. They call it the Empress Ring. Seven mil conch pearl with 35 points of diamond set in platinum. And I'm going to bring it over to you right now, Al. And then my display, my cabinet, my, my um, exhibition, oh. essentially, is empty. It is now just the kind of beautiful queen herself that is sat in this display. Oh, my God. That is the best of the best. You know, we've seen bigger, we've seen incredible carvings, but that, Adam... Uh, that recording that I'm seeing there in that daylight. That's the that best of the daylight, best. That's the yeah. best of the best. That's what <laughs> they look like in Basel World. When, when it, I'm talking about the pearl now, but that's what they look like, you know, black cabinet. You know, nothing around, no price, no, you know, obviously no graphics, no phone number, but just in a display like that, and people are gawping over it in Switzerland. <laughs> and it's a one of a kind, the Empress Ring. We're going to bring in the graphics for this right now. Have we at least got 200 to finish the show on these, Ross? How many do we have, Ross, of this one? No. Okay, so 90. this is larger than the piece of Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is uh, seven, this is six to eight. You know, the, the, the length of this is eight mil. This is going to be an in unbelievable auction right now. An unbelievable auction. 1.4 carats. Oh, my goodness. Or you're, that, that, uh, Minute uh, clock, please, Ross. I'm going to just go straight to it. The simplicity of this design, I think, is what is. is, is That's is, it, isn't it? That's another. You know, there's two schools of thought in high jewelry. There's the, yeah. the, the thought that less is more, and there's the thought that they go and create these beautiful, ostentatious, out there designs. Yeah. Know, artists. Yeah. Create art. Like that chrysanthemum. Yeah. From Tiffany. Absolutely. Exactly. And then there are those that you know, they less is more. You know, it's all about the rarity of that central gem. Um, and then this is this walks the tightrope perfectly. You sold out. I'm just thinking for everybody that's managed to secure. Uh, Queen don't worry Con about don't today. worry about your sizes. Yeah, get, get the ring to match. We, we, we're going to be able to resize it. What we can't do is replace it. It's okay, true. We can't get you the Queen Kong. Mm -hmm. So, you te like you're quite right. T2 sold out. All the other sizes are probably going to sell out. We can resize it. We can't replace it. You got 10 seconds. Amazing, amazing, amazing. That's the reality. Yeah. It's such, it's such. It's, it's striking. It's, that, that, yeah. It is striking. It's captivating. Anything that color is expensive is natural. You know, a sapphire that color is a pad paracha, a diamond that color is a, yeah. a world record price, and um, a pearl that color is the most expensive pearl. And this material right here is something you would never find carved into a ring until today. I'm going to match the price on the pendant, Ross. My final deal, 79 pounds. What? That's what we're going to do. To finish the showcase, £79 for every single one of you. 
you'll get, okay, uh, R2S is about to sell out. Again, don't worry about sizes. North Yorkshire, you've got three. Lawney, you've got two. Vanier, you've got two. A, a mass of you on the phone lines. This is the final piece. The whole showcase is done. It's over, and you can be part of it. Just the fact that, you know, if you've got, if you've treated yourselves to any one of these beautiful pieces, any one, to be able to say that you have, and for an additional, what, £79, you can oh. say that you own two pieces. And split pay. On split pay. You could get the ring and the pendant today for £79. And £79, £79 next month. Or whatever, yes. You know, you know what I mean? Because it's Beautiful. the split payments. Oh, my word. Dave, it's... I, I, I apologise for being probably as quiet as I have no been at problem. the course of today. I, but it's I, no. genuinely because I am completely in awe of each and every single one of your designs. I appreciate that. Thank you. Like I said, I've, I've, I've kind of... The, the, my designs by name, but really I've leaned on some of the greatest designers of our time, you know, taken direct inspiration from them, you know, which I hope is flattering to them, but wanted to create these unbelievable pieces mm. of jewelry. I wanted to bring you high jewelry for high street prices. And uh, by, by the way of this auction, we've absolutely <laughs> succeeded in doing that. Not taking on the high street here, taking no. on the big, big, yeah, big the high jewelry, jewelry boutiques, yeah. Um, there are only, there's not that many left. So, and this was the only Queen Conch, uh, Conch ring that we actually had yeah. available. It doesn't matter about the size. No, not at all. Doesn't matter about the size. That can easily be rectified. It is your finale opportunity to get hold of Queen Conch. It's been 12 years and we've, I've never seen anything like this. And as I said at eight o'clock this morning, truly, 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 I, I, and I stand by this statement, I think this is one of the most beautiful, beautiful treasures and collections that I've ever been in the I presence of. I appreciate that. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you to Claire as well. I know Claire's going to, you know, go through the masterclass with you on how yes, to yeah. create this wonderful jewellery, yeah. which, you know, uh, many of you have to tune in for um, because I wouldn't have a clue. That's the truth. I would not even have a clue. You know, I'm <laughs> trying to learn. Should, should I'm trying to learn. Yeah, I'd love to actually... Do a masterclass with Claire and you can yeah, teach me or definitely. try to teach me. It's terrible, but I would like to, to do that at some point one day. Um, for you guys, I want to say a massive thank you. We're at £39.50 on your interest mad. free split payments. There are limited opportunities available. How many do we have left, Ross? Um, 35, but we're way over allocated okay. on the web and on the phone lines. Way, way, way over allocated. You've got to check out now because like I can see Kathleen in Monmouthshire, you're there, Jenny, Gillian, Catherine, Linda, Hazel, Linda, Julie and Karen. And you do go off the bottom of the screen, so I can't see everyone. I've got people who want multiples of. It's the only Queen Conk ring that we have available. Uh, it's just beautiful, beautiful sizes. We've got single figure quantities on sizes, but like Dave said, and I think that's a perfectly worded sentence, it can easily be resized, it can't be replaced. No, not, not a chance. Over a carat of Queen Conk. Yeah, over a carat, um, and you know, eight by six mil, um, beautiful oval cabochon, showcasing that wonderful um, angel skin color that, that we associate with the rarest, the most expensive pearls on the planet. Good luck to every single one of you. Stay holding. If, if everyone checks out, it's completely overallocated. Um, if you are concerned by sizes, speak to our contact center. They can help you in the, re the resizing. Mm -hmm. There's something we can look into for you, but we just can't replace this material no. at all. Uh, which leads me into one question, which I know is ridiculous, but I ask you every t single time so, I have the pleasure of your company. Go on. Any chance you get more? Uh, I'll try. I will try. Of course, <laughs> I will try. Um, and uh, I'll try for you guys. I'll try for you as well, because I know that you've missed out. Um, Thank you so much for, for joining me for this collection. It's been yeah, an absolute Dave, pleasure uh, to, to be with you this morning and to bring you this. Um, thank you for your messages. I'm going to go in there and read them after the show. Um, I'm also going to pay close attention to what Claire is going to do. Thank you for joining us as well, Claire. It's always yeah, amazing to see you. And uh, to you guys, thank you very much. Stay tuned because the wonderful Claire is going to take you through that masterclass in a moment's time. There it is. I did tell you, didn't I, that it was going to absolutely blow you away. Just breathtakingly beautiful. Mm. The story, the legacy, mm. the, the designs, designs yeah. absolutely. Um, and again, immense gratitude to Dave for being able to welcome such wonderful pieces into our fabulous collections. Now, the masterclass 
is all about this amazing collection. So Claire is going to be walking us and talking us through mm -hmm. how you complete your pieces of uh, uh, fine jewellery. So don't go anywhere. If you've got any questions about the designs, you know, how you go about setting your queen conch, how you go about maybe attaching the connector or the clasp, um, then don't go anywhere because Claire and I are back after this. <laughs> It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewellery Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Jewelry makers, this coming Wednesday, we are launching Britain's Next Gem, a hugely exciting competition that Jewelry Maker launched on social media some months back. The finalists will be joining me in the studio from 8 a.m., that's this Wednesday, and we need you to play your part in crowning the winner. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Make sure you go to our website at www.jewelrymaker.com. We have got over a thousand lines going into a huge online exclusive clearance with up to 95% off prices. Wow. See you there. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price and there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page, Jewelry Maker. Happy to help. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way 
with split pay. Wow. I don't think I don't think I'm I, I, I've come down off cloud nine yet. No, feels like a privilege, doesn't it, to be involved in it? Wonderful. There are literally single-figure quantities of each piece, which I was ever so pleased about during that break because it meant then I could check some out too. Yeah. That oppor that that opportunity is never going to arise again. No. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And it's lovely to um, to see something, isn't it? That's new, that's old, that, and to learn about it, to be educated, yeah. and to be involved in it. He's and just make, fabulous. He's absolutely he is. fabulous. He really is. He really we is. We love Dave. Mm. We love Dave here at Jewelry Maker. For, well, for many reasons, but uh, the fact that he brings such amazing treasures just mm. like this. Now, these, uh, if you were lucky enough to secure any of your Queen Conch, then. You're going to want to know how you actually finish the piece, especially if you're new, maybe, because I've got no doubt about the fact that there will have be that there will be viewers who, ha who and they do they follow Dave across to Jewelry Maker because that pendant, for example, there was one, wasn't it? That donut he said earlier on, there was one of those at seven thousand pounds on our sister channel. We've just given an opportunity of what did he say? I know about eighty, wasn't it originally? I'm not sure. Anyway, so there will have been lovely Gemporia viewers who would have watched the launch, not able to purchase, but will have made that possible today. So you, the, there are people on our, uh, the other side of the screens that will not know how to knot pearls, won't know how to attach a clasp, etc. Or maybe you just want to refresh. So this hour, we've got a few items that we're going to be dropping in throughout the course of the hour. For example, this lovely sterling silver chain. Um, I actually said to Ross in the break, I was like, Ross, oh, yes. are we going to do this lovely diamond cut chain? Because it goes perfectly. It goes perfectly alongside particularly the Tiffany's Absolutely. egg design. Yes. The yeah. cage design. Yeah. Um, so this, and it's a long line chain, so it will also work with the beautiful donut that we haven't got off Claire yet. Because I feel like we haven't... Um seen those long line chains for a long time. A long what time. What donut? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Dan has his eye on you, let's just put it that way. I know. He has his eye, don't you, Dan? What's his eye? You're keeping a very close <laughs> eye on the fact that Claire hasn't what? taken that necklace off. Oh, what? Okay. That didn't sound so convincing, actually. You might get away with it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What, what am I doing? What am I doing? Um, so if you love this beautiful long line chain, diamond cut, big gram weight of sterling silver, then we're going to be bringing this to you as well in the hour. So it's this one here. Mm. All of that beautiful, beautiful sterling silver. Amazing. Should we do it now? Yes. Let's do it now. Um, because then I can show you the actual length of uh, of the sterling silver. Oh, sugar. There's only 40. It's how many? How long? 24 inch. Oh, that's beautiful. So it's going to sit kind of bust line. Depends on your build, obviously. It does, yeah. It's going to sit perfectly sort of bust line. Oh, I mean, it's lovely. You could use this chain with the necklace that you're wearing because you've got that beautiful yes. open, yeah. um, open uh, sort of gallery at the back yeah. of the line. Yeah. You could use this chain even with the Mikimoto inspired piece. And you could use this chain alongside, obviously, the caged uh, um, <coughs> queen gonk as well. So you could actually use it with all of those. All of those. And you think about all the wonderful, um, you know, the other pearls that we do as well that, you know, because I feel we haven't had a chain of this length. No. For so long. Can all I the, just, you know, this is It's perfect. been ages, ages yes, and ages. Probably, yeah. I'll be honest, immediate was the last time I actually saw yeah. chain lengths like this. Yeah. Probably. Oh, yes, look. I don't need to undo that. What? Stop it, Ross. What? How? 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 How is that ten pounds? How is that ten pounds? 
It's amazing, isn't it? I wanted this chain, but um, I say wanted past tense because they're going to yeah, sell out, aren't they, be... in a nanosecond? Rah, so have we got any longer, li any more longer chains? Or is this the only one? Twenty-four inches. We don't like That's you said. I can't remember the last time I actually saw a long no. long chain. Beautiful. At nine ninety-nine. I'm going to be snapping these up because there's loads of pendants as well, even outside of today's show. Oh yes. Where I've wanted a longer chain. I feel like we haven't. Yeah, like I'm repeating myself now, but I can't think the last time. Yeah. Wow. Sold out. Sold out. I love a longer chain. Well done, everybody. Amazing. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, well, we're going to be, like I said, adding a few more items throughout the course of the hour. Any questions that you have for lovely Claire, then do feel free to message us in the studio um, about uh, each and every single one of these pieces. Now, um, let me just tell you, the, the piece that you're demoing with, mm -hmm. so with the pearls, which ultimately creates this beautiful necklace, uh, so that features... Um, a beautiful zircon sterling silver box clasp and it also features your queen conch connector and it also features two of your beautiful mother uh sorry pink natural pink pearls here's the detail i've only got single figure quantities left of those by the way what ross you know the full strand one has fallen back into stock of the full strand if you missed out on the only Queen Kong Strand, there's one. Let's bring the graphics on there for that, just because there is purely one. You get the box, you get the, the clasp, you get the full strand of six millimetres, the biggest carat weight, bar none. Stunning, isn't it? £299 for this. Just so, unbelievable. So gorgeous. Do you know, I, I kind of shadowed Dave um, around Tucson and, I, and obviously I knew that this was a, an ambition of his um, at the beginning of the year and uh, I saw nothing. I didn't see a single opportunity of, uh, uh, of Queen Kong. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Let alone a strand. So mm -hmm. how many did we count? Was it like 65 individual mm, I think there was a, natural uh, yeah, treasures? Yeah. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So, no, 64 on the strand, but you've got to remember there's one on, in the clasp as well. Yes. So we can do it now because Dave isn't here. So let's do it. £299 divided by 65. Roscoe, 299 divided by 65. <laughs> £4.60. Oh. £4.60 per... Per Queen Conk. Oh my goodness me. It's beautiful. And what's knotted? It's just stunning, isn't it? Simple box oh, box. Absolutely, yeah. That, that's, that, make no doubt about it. That is Antiques Roadshow of the future. It is, yes, it is. It really is. You know, is. When, that, yeah. when that, you can almost imagine future generations talking about, oh, well, this is mm. was this was my my great, 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 yes, great it? grandma, Elle. Yeah. And she she used to deal in gemstones and she used to make jewellery and she, she made this piece of jewellery. Can you imagine that? That's, that's, the, that's yeah. decades to come. That's yeah. the Antiques Roadshow conversation. The people would, yeah, wear on their wedding day and things like yes. that. Yeah. It's sold out. Yeah, well done. Oh, well I done. Well that. done. Okay, yeah, let's okay. go. Let's dive into your demonstration. So, Claire, you're going to okay. show us. You're going to be working with yeah. the kit that's on your screens right now. I've got single figure quantities remaining. Um, so, these are natural pink pills. Those alone, two strands, shouldn't be £149 because they are the most lustrous that I've ever seen. But to team alongside natural, genuine Queen Conch. And you're getting those two beautiful components as well. So yep. if you want to recreate this beautiful piece, um, then Claire's going to show us how. I am. So the first thing I do I do want to say uh, is, so these all these gorgeous pieces were created by um, Anne and Sue. So there's, uh, I can't take the, the Oh, you the did get the credit, didn't you? I did get the credit for it. So I have to say that they were they are the beautiful um, creations of, of Anne and Sue. So so I, just, I just need to I do need to say that because they make beautiful jewellery and do. they work very hard so I want to take their credit absolutely um so but if we have a look at how um how you can make uh the the piece so like a multi-strand um and, and when I've worked with um multi-strands and we've worked with with jade so we've talked about um 
you know, drawing them out or uh, working with your tones, things like that. Now, so it's a little bit different here, but similar that, similarly that what we do have to think about is, is the number of the, um, of the pieces, uh, uh, the pearls in this case, on the strand so that you're going to get so that how it's going to sit. So um, if we look, because you've got, just put my glass on, so you've got the, um, the, the connector. So if we have a look at all the components that we're going to be working with. So we've got our, uh, the beautiful uh, focal piece here, the so, and we've got the, the two connectors either side. So we're going to set, the, um, set it in here. And then we've also got these really, really amazing, uh, the, pink, the pink pearls. And then we've got the wonderful um, uh, box clasp that is, I mean, this in itself is just, is absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. So and we've got the two connectors on here. So you can, absolutely you can um, uh, with these, um, knot them as well, if that's what you wanted to. I'm just, for the purposes of this, I'm gonna put them on beading thread so we can see sort of how many we use and, and how we can set it all out. But if you wanted to, and I know there are lots of um, demonstrations about um, how to knot pearls as well. So what, what we wanna have a look at is, is the number. So we're thinking about how this is going to sit uh, uh, and the curve and the shape of, um, you know, the shape of your neckline. So although we're putting it here, it's on a flat board, what we want to think about is, you know, as, as pieces of jewelry are, are sitting on our, um, uh, uh, on, the, on the neck, you know, we're looking for that lovely curve so that it's going to sit beautifully here and we can have that focal, um, the focal piece, whether it's going to be at the front or as we saw, it's sort of like asymmetric to the side so that you get to see both. Because when you've got a clasp that's as beautiful as that as well, you, you've got the option to do both. So the first thing, um, the first thing I'm going to do is so going through your, your basics. So if you are going to work with your beading thread, um, uh, and even if you if you want to work with um, your uh, your silks as well, um, having a look at some of the findings that that you'd be using. So let me just get all of these. So when you're working with sort of like your finer findings, what I tend to do is always try and get like a few of them out, um, just because you you know you can guarantee that when you're working with something. Uh, tiny and delicate like this you know it might sort of one might disappear and you don't really want to stop the flow of, of, of being creative so get a few of them out so that they're easy to hand so I'm just going to get a few bits out here so I'm going to do a combination of working with so I've got some jump rings um, I've got some um, uh, crimp tubes I've got some crimp covers and some wire guardians now absolutely if you just want to work with your um the guardians you absolutely can so you can see uh you can see how they've been used there so you've just got the guardian and then it's going straight into um uh into the round there so no crimp and um no cover anything like that or you can work with the um uh, a mixture of both so i'm going to just do both so then you can see how they both work so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pop on my tube. So let's take one of those. I am actually going to oh, just get my, make sure these jump rings are closed. So I've got two of my chain nose pliers. I'm just going to give these a little wiggle to get them all closed. Let's just have a look. I think that one might be okay. And let's give this one, there we are. Okay, so start again. So I've got my crimp tube and I'm then going to go into the Guardian. So I'm going up through here and down through the other side. So you can see in the, in the wire Guardian that beading thread or your silk is just going to sit beautifully in, in here. And I'm going to go through there. So then I'm actually just going to give it a little pinch. So before I crimp the tube, let's just make sure it's not crossing over underneath. Just want to give that just a tiny squeeze down so it's a little bit narrower. Now, what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to go and use jump rings and then into, into my connectors. If you wanted to and you've got small enough... Um, uh, wire guardians because I think they come in different sizes this is the larger one you could if you wanted to go directly into the holes here but I always like to have that flexibility that once you've gone in there that's it then it, it's you can't take it apart you can't mm. add to it so I prefer to work with the jump rings if you're working with all your sterling silver 
you know, you're going to have that lovely luster. So that's my preference, um, but it's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to bring that forward. So I'm bringing up, making sure that the beading thread's not crossed over and squeeze that down. Okay. So again, if you've got crimping pliers, wonderful. If you haven't, we're just going to bring this in on itself to make it a little bit smaller so we can use and I can put my crimp cover in. So I've just brought that down, squeeze it together. You'll know when you've done it enough because then when you squeeze the next time, it will just really squash in on itself and be a lot easier. So it's now half the size. So I'm gonna give that a wiggle and pop that into that crimp tube into the crimp cover. And you can just, it just sort of clicks in place and hold that out of the way. So what we're looking for now is we're going to take this crimp, the crimp cover into so it looks like a seamless spacer bead. So slight squeeze there, angle my pliers, bring down so that we've got that nice, neat seam. And then we're ready to go. So once you've done all that, what I would say then is go out it, if you've got like larger drill holes on beads what you can do is you can cut that um you can leave that uh shorter piece and that it will get hidden into the in the gemstone we're working with pearls so it's unlikely that we'd get a double um double lot of beading thread so i'm going in really really close to cut that down and then we can start threading on and it's a, it's as simple as that so you're going to do the one end it's nice and neat it's going to be lovely and comfortable to wear and it's attention to detail as well so it just it looks it looks really nice and neat so you'd be threading threading those on so what we come to next is so again if i'm just going to move these out of the way we look at the number of the number of the pearls that we're going to pop on so I've got, because we want it to have this curve, so if I just sort of bring it in so you can see how it's going to sit, we're looking something like that. Okay, so we want to have, let me see, there we are. So I've got, and I did write it down, on the larger, so on the outer one, this one here, I've got 30 pearls. And on the other one, this is not knotted, so this is... Um, just on the beading thread, I've got 28. And that's gonna give me something that sort of comes down here. Now, if you've got, if you need to, um, and, you, and you find that it, you, you need to alter the lengths of these, that's where your jump rings will come in. So as I was saying, so if you've just, if you've gone into your wire guardians direct into your clasp, there's not much you can do about it. Whereas if I needed to, I could add uh, length yeah. by using jump rings there so that you know it's, it's just quite important to you don't want to have got all that way and then you find it's not sitting properly and you, you've got to undo the whole piece so that's where jump rings can really really help with that so I've got I've got four strands in total so two have got the um two have got the 30 and two have got the 28 so if I do the reverse of this now so uh you're, you're doing the same crimping but you're just doing the reverse so we want to have one of our crimp tubes. If I just snip that off, actually. And we're looking at how flexible it becomes now. So we, want to, we don't want to do it too tight so that it can't, um, we've got no movement. We also don't want it too loose. So again, back through the, through the little valley in that wire guardian. Let's go back through and bring that through there. Okay. So I'm just going to hold this, slide that all the way down. And this is where that tension comes in. So you'd be just be looking, you want to get, you know, nice movement there. If you're knotting, you'll get that lovely, you'll get it, it, it you'll get that, that beautiful um, fluidity as well. So it's slightly different with your knotting. Okay, so I'm just going to, again, squeeze that together just a little bit. Just check there. And let's give that a pinch. So you do your crimp and your crimp cover in the same way. Okay. And again, I'm going to snip off. So we've prepped all of the, the strands that we've got. So we've now got, let's have a look. So I've got the two here. We're going to make sure that we put the ones on the outside. So the longer ones are going to go on the outside. So again, let's get our jump rings 
That in itself can be quite tricky to actually get it to drape. Yes, yeah. So that's why on other, other, and I have been, you know, I'm always uh, trying to be quite honest about it. So sometimes, because you, if I think with wire work as well, if you do things, you just tend to do things by eye, or maybe it's just that I'm a lazy person. So counting, sometimes I just think, oh, do I want to count? But I think with these, it is quite important because it does make a difference with how, if you've got multi strands, it will make a difference in um, uh, how it sits. Yeah. on the um on your neck so yeah don't be lazy i reckon that's probably there just do a bit of counting bit of counting yeah and how how many extra pearls would so you i'd suggest? i'd got 30 and 28 so, so two yes two extra. yeah okay yeah and then just that bit which i know it sounds very simple of just with the jump rings but it just gives you that flexibility that you can add in them because what you if you wanted it to be a longer length you could, there's nothing to stop you it's jump rings or chain um, you know, it, you can add in and add in sort of maybe at this top section if you didn't want it um, around the clasp. So now what we're going to do, let's have a look, is we need to prep this, this bit here. So this is where um, the setting comes in. So if you've never done anything like this before, I'm just going to move this out of the way so you can, um, you're not distracted by those beautiful pearls. So this is where, if we have a look all the way around the, um, the setting itself, so it's all beautifully finished for you. All you're going to have to do is um, you're going to uh, pop in. So let's just make sure, just take your time with this. You know, these are beautifully uh, smooth. So I'm just going to open that up just a little bit. So I'm going to use a combination of uh, my chain nose pliers, just tiny, tiny movements, and uh, my, um, the, the, the pusher, the prong pusher. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that in. So now what we're looking for is you'd be looking, and, and I'd, I'd imagine you, when you're making jewelry, you might be sitting down. You want to be looking at this at eye level, so holding it up, making sure that you've opened those prongs enough so that it's sitting, you know, it's a flat uh, back so that it's sitting into the setting properly. You want to make sure about that, that it's not sort of tilted. All of those things, take your time with that. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to start and I'm going to hold it in my hand so hopefully you'll be able to see. If this, isn't, if this doesn't feel comfortable for you, you might want to put it down on. If you've got one of the rubber blocks or if you've got one of the clamps, you might prefer to do that. I'm going to try and do it between my finger and my thumb so hopefully you'll be able to, um, be able to see. So I'm just holding here and supporting it. Now, first of all, I'm going to work with my chain those pliers and what we want to do is we're looking to get even um, even amounts of pressure uh, and opposite sides so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to angle it so you can see so it's not flat like that I've angled my pliers and we are I, I'm definitely going to use my chain nose pliers um, if you've got nylon jaw pliers you absolutely can certainly not round nose because we're looking for that lovely surface area um, that's in there that we can then push against the, um, the silver. So I'm just going to hold here, slight pressure. And so the one I'm actually working on is this one here. So it's this one that I'm going to be trying to move and push over a little bit. So I've angled it down and just pushing it towards the shell itself. Okay, so we've gone one here. So I've worked on this one. So the next one I want to do is this one here. Okay, so I'm going to turn it round. Just take your time. And I'm going to do the same on this one. So I've sort of angled it. And if you can see on the other side, so if I turn it like, oh, sorry, that, I don't know if you can see from the front, you can see I'm just bringing that so I've, I've angled it so it's sort of I'm getting a bit of purchase and, and leverage on this side on the underside of so that bit there okay so I'm going to turn it again so that I can see and again so I'm pushing so you, they are alternate prongs just really slow I'm not it's not it's, it's making a bit of contact um, with, with the uh, the conch but it's just just a little bit it's not fully I'm just getting it so that it's secure rather than actually pushing it all the way over. So we've done this one, we've done this one. So now I'm going to do the opposites here. Again, just taking your time, taking your time. So we're working this one now. So I'm angling it around. And last one now, this one here. 
So the way to test now, so it's not, it's not fully done, but if we're looking and moving it all the way around, that's not coming out of that, of that setting. Now, if you wanted to, Claire, because uh, you are a silversmith extraordinaire. <laughs> Thanks. If you wanted to, yes, you could transform that, couldn't you? Oh, d yes. It was re when when I was looking at it yesterday. It was really, really tempting. I just thought I want to make a ring with that. I want to make something else. But I knew I had this. You know, yeah, I had one one piece to do the demo. But yeah, when you get this. And that's the beauty of, of connectors like that. You know, you could make this into a stunning, a, a stunning, yeah, yeah, so many different things, stunning ring, other sorts of um, connectors. But that's that's the beauty of um, yeah. that's the beauty of it, isn't it? When you get a wonderful piece. That's me like just this. kind of thinking outside the box. Yes, right? yeah, you don't, yeah. You don't have to. No, you don't. But it's it's lovely to be able to. So now I'm going to um, work with the uh, the prong pusher. So that's the one. Um, so it's got a little groove. Uh, in there and that's what we're going to push over so it's just a very very slight um, rock and roll remember you might have this down on the um, down on your board like this and you're just going to start and push you're pushing over trying not to make contact with anything other than the um, than the prong is this the the pusher that you said was on the website for so a pound? This, this is the one this is the one um uh, this is the one out of the gem setting toolkit that's the one that is um but the, the, yeah, the 90 pence. 90p? Yeah. 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 90p? Yeah. Good, isn't it? 69% off this item. I mean, it was all right at 2.99, wasn't it? Yeah, so that, that's, yes, it was. Okay, well, we're going to put the Great. graphics on your screen. There it is. There you go. There you are, you can get hold of that right now. Yeah, 90p, 90p. Can you get a chocolate bar from our vending machine for 90p? No, I don't think you can. No. No. Anyway, back, sorry, Claire. No, it's all right. So all I'm doing now... It's so an no essential tool, isn't it, for this technique? Yeah, I, I mean, and you'll use that, um, you'll use that, uh, that push-up, yeah, so many times, so bezel wire, everything like that. So I've, all I've been doing now, so remember, we've gone opposites. Once it's stopped, once it's stopped moving and you're not pushing, pushing and putting too much force in this direction, uh, you, I don't worry as much about doing alternates. I'll sort of, you know, go clockwise or anti-clockwise because what the, the motion you're doing is sort of more up and over rather than pushing in that yeah. direction. So we're just looking to get that so that it's nice and, and secure um, and in. Now, if you're really, really careful, if you've got this kit and you've maybe never made any jewellery before and you've only got some um, chain nose pliers, you can very, very carefully go in and just slight, you know, but be very, very careful. But don't let that put you off if, you know, if you, if you don't have um, the your sort of specialist tools like that. So you can see, so we've got that, that connector now. So all you're going to do now is we've laid this out. Let's just check that we've got our... There we are. So we've got our... All the lovely pearls. And we're going to do the same with these... So all you then do is you've got your, your findings and you're going to connect in. You're going to be wearing that tonight. I think I might be. Don't blame you. And you're going to connect in. So if I move that up there, in there and there. And how, and how you know, the beautiful one with um, uh, Anne and Sue's, it's entirely up to you, isn't it, whether you have it so that, that that section is coming in. Mm. So you've got it at the side, you have it at the front. Mm. Multi-wear, isn't it? Just be, uh, I, absolutely I, I know beautiful this is piece entirely indulgent, Claire, but can yeah. you imagine if, you're, if you've got a budget to get two of these kits? <gasps> can you imagine that in a really lovely, beautiful long line necklace stunning. as well? Stunning, absolutely stunning. Or maybe even multi-layered. Yeah. You know? so, uh, so yeah. twist it if you wanted or... Yeah. Well, that's the, lo the lovely thing with this as well, isn't it? There's nothing to stop you because you've got the, the, the double layers. You know how you'd got it with the three at the front or you just twist it. I didn't mean to have it like but that. But it looked lovely though, didn't it? That's, you know, and often, you know, things happen. <laughs> you would, and you, I could feel you kind of like fidgeting next to me <laughs> as if to say, it's not going to be like that, Elle. It's like, I know, I know. But it looked I'll, nice. I'll it did look lovely. In a she did, she just had a little, <laughs> she had a little fidget. So, 
So That's yeah, so there we go. So you can see how easily, Beautiful. just a little bit of planning, counting out, basic techniques, and then that, that, that setting of the, um, of that connector in the middle. Ab and there you go. Absolutely stunning, Claire. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And, and uh, I thank guess, you, Anne and Sue. Thank you very much. Absolutely, ladies. Well, well all three of you. Absolutely Gorgeous amazing. Design. Thanks to Dave for making this opportunity yeah. possible as well. Teamwork. Um, yeah, makes the dream work and all of that. Um, yeah, Queens of the Conk. Yes. <laughs> it's an Love album it. cover if ever I've heard it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Anne, Sue and Claire. <laughs> the Conk shells. Oh, I'd be there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, now, yes, we've only got a. How many left? Update on stock. Three, three left. Massively over allocated. In fact, can we? Can I see the score? Uh, the, the, the call screen for a second. Um, yeah, the call screen because hugely over allocated. And um, if I, if we just turn it round, our fins on it. If we just turn it round, and I can show you the names of people that have those final three in their baskets, and you'll realise when we say over allocated, just how over allocated it is. So, um, yeah, on one side of the screen, that's all the people that have been successful that have checked out that have this on their way. But on so these people that have been successful, but these this side, if it's in those baskets. It's not yours as of yet. And three doesn't divide. Oxfordshire, Essex, Jan, Maker, Lancashire, Dawn, Kathleen, Christine, Linda, Barbara, uh, Patsy. Oh, I think Barbara just checked out, did she? I think so. You just disappeared, Barbara, so I'm, maybe. It's probably jumped across on the other side of the screen. Um, Patsy, I can see you there as well. You need to check out your baskets because literally it's the final. We've got three of them left. Jill, I can see you've joined us as well on the web. I mean, does this... I know you have to invest your beautiful time and your your, your amazing talent. It's a into pleasure. This. It's lovely exactly. to do. This yeah. is something that we yeah. love. And you are working with yeah. the world's rarest right now. The reality is we can bring you any other gemstone more plentifully than we can mm -hmm. um, uh, that, that your queen conch um, and it's techniques that really I think we can all do even yes. with without the experience that absolutely that, that, like, like you absolutely have it is it's about it's the quality of the components isn't it and the yeah and the joy of working with them stunning absolutely stunning 149 pounds or just 49 pounds and 66 pence on your split pay um, unbelievable. So you could literally be wearing this in, the, in, in, in a couple of weeks' time, couldn't How you? How exciting, yeah. yeah wearing yeah. this. And you might reconfigure it. You might look at it and think, OK, I want to do this design. I, or I'll only, I'm only going to put the clasp on those pink pearls and I'm going to use the, mm -hmm. uh, the queen conch somewhere else. That's the joy of being a jewellery maker, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's it the really joy. Is, yeah. Well done. But again, if you've got it in use baskets, I only have... Is it still three? Still three! Okay. Oh, Barbara, oh, Barbara is on that screen. Yeah. If you, still three available, and remember, Claire and I disappear off uh, uh, off your screens in twenty five minutes. So there's two ladies here that are after mm. these kits. In fact, yeah. actually, Claire, you've got one. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, you sounded quite menacing there. <laughs> I don't think I can pull off menacing. <laughs> Two left. Make it. Well done to you. You've got yours. You've got yours. Amazing, amazing, oh, amazing. Wonderful. Um, shall we do some closeout deals between now and the top of the hour? Yeah. Um, because, yeah, we've been utterly, utterly spoilt with the beautiful uh, opportunity of Queen Conk. Now, um, OK, when we say closeout deals, what kind of, what kind of goodies are you going to bring us then, Roscoe? I'll scooch that for a sec. Bigger carrot weight bundle of what? All of these? I've got it. I've got it. So we've actually got them in two different sizes. You, you get all, every single one of these strands. Weren't these launched on our, our, on birthday? Uh, sorry, birthday or Christmas or something like that. Was it these birthday? I knew it was a special event um, because, well, clearly you, you wouldn't get that quantity of gemstones. They are all birthstones as well, which does make sense. You've got, if we work through it, you've got your garnets, beautiful quality of garnet, that rich, beautiful red. You've got your amethyst. You've got your aquamarine. No? All rounds. Have I got 12? Do you want me to count them? 
Let's give a little count. I don't think so. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Is Dan being efficient again? Don't worry, Dan. <laughs> don't you worry. I've got the right gemstones here. Oh, my goodness, Claire. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. So all of your birthstones... Where did we get up to? So we've got garnet, we've got amethyst, we've got your aquamarine, uh, you've got your clear quartz instead, of course, your, your diamonds, you've got your uh, emeralds, you've got your ruby, you have your sapphire, you have your uh, opal, is it opal, or have we got moonstone? Moonstone. Uh, moonstone within. Uh, you have beautiful tourmaline in here That's, as well. Um, tourmaline's incredible. Amazing, isn't it? And also your tans, and I, I've forgotten your, uh, your August, didn't I? Peridot. 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 Beautiful. Uh, so beautiful. 12 beautiful birthstones all in a set of 12, 32 centimetres and they're four millimetre rounds. I mean, this, literally, Claire, you and I are massive fans of the classic stretchy bracelet, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, can you imagine these? These the stackers would be gorgeous. Oh, that's a little bit of me, that is. Yeah. That kind of bundle, just a few of your little spaces. And I, I, I was reading my pearl book last night and in it was a, a lovely, it was multi-strand um, pearls and they'd just put, they'd scattered through different gemstones like that, just through randomly through the pearl. What, like faceted rounds? Oh, yeah, it was lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, yeah that's what I'd be doing. Do you know, uh, I, years back, actually, I can remember a piece of jewellery that was a little bit like you've described, almost a little bit... Um, you know, we had, sorry, and I've gone completely blank there for a second. You know that crocheted necklace where you had the mm. uh, multitude? Yes. Um, yeah. But, yeah, it was a mixture of... Yeah, and just uh, layering it, just jewel colours and sparkle in the part. It was just it was just lovely. And, again, simple techniques, just, just you know, um, but it looked it was so effective. Look at that. Look at that. Now, for 12 strands, genuine gemstones, all of amazing quality, and I could single a few of these out. Look at the quality of the peridot. The quality of the moonstone. Who wants this under a hundred pounds? Wait, 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 hang on. Wait, wait, wait. No. Let's just hold this out, because in fact I'm gonna borrow the tea bar. Because there's too many gemstones for me to hold. Um, so January. Look at the quality of that that's garnet. That's incredible quality. Look against the black. That's amazing. Stunning, isn't it? Then, February, amethyst. January, February, March. Wow. <gasps> April. May. June. For your moonstone. July. Ruby. Gosh, that's an incredible strand as well, isn't it? August. September. Sapphire. October. Oh, I Tourmaline. love that one, yeah. November. Citrine. December. Tanzanite. 12 That's months of the year. That is incredible. The quality of these are absolutely amazing. We are already under £10 per genuine gemstone opportunity today because it has been an absolutely super Saturday, hasn't it? Oh, it has, yeah. Super yeah. Saturday. Um, let's bring you some closeout deals. Like I said, we launched these as part of the birthday celebration, so they've been within our vault for a little period of time. How many do we have left? 30, okay, yeah, we need to clear the vault then. We do, because 30 is not a viable quantity. Plus, they're too beautiful to be under lock and key. Think of what you can create with these. Your bubble styles. Yeah, bubble style would be beautiful. And, and also, you, I know they're birthstones, but again, if you rearrange them differently, you've got, you know, incredible, um, you know, think of the, all the colour palettes you have, you'd have with that. Mm. You've, probably got, you've probably got your chakra colours in here yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially given the fact that you've got tourmaline, beautiful tourmaline in, yeah. in a multicoloured strand. Peridot is amazing, it isn't, is, it? isn't it? <gasps> beautiful. We're going to go to a brand new low. We've got the final 30 opportunities. Great opportunity for you to stock up your stash. <coughs> Excuse me. Never been this low before. We're clearing a location from the vault. So 
If you've never had a deal like this, even on our birthday. Wow. £79.99. pence. Now, can we do a little bit of maths on that? Because my brain can't do that. So what's that working out at per strand? Eight? Six pounds. Six pounds sixty-six. Per I'm strand. Do stretchy bracelets, little stacker bracelets with chain. Yeah, and you could make, if I just use the garnet, you could I could make two bracelets out of that one, couldn't yes. I? Yes, yeah. So I've got more than enough, especially with a few additions, maybe of your charms yeah. or sterling I silver. Think totally, yeah, a bit left over as well. That's Look lovely. at how beautiful. Close out deals for you. We had 30. Deirdre, Vanya and London, you've got yours. I've, oh, my goodness. Hayley, Linda, Karen, Mervat, uh, Soraya, uh, Janet, Dorothy, new customer, Ayrshire, Surrey, Jacqueline. I can see you there. Lynn in Yorkshire, you're on the phone lines too. Look at the quality of the ruby. Mm. Mm. It's hard to single one out, though, to be honest, because they're all absolutely amazing. The emerald's beautiful too. The aquamarine, stunning. And what's lovely, isn't it, is to have... They're, they're all the same size, they're all the same size, shape, cut. It's just about the colour and the gemstone. And that's that's great to have it that it's all together. You think of all your different designs, it's <gasps> all going to be uniform, shape, size. Something's come into my mind, and I'm, I'm going to... Uh, Ross might curse me now. Um, but, Ross, if you go into Liam's uh, folder... <laughs> don't get jealous. Uh, if you go into our lovely Liam's folder... Uh, and under and rose quartz, because rose quartz, there's a bracelet. <gasps> Do you remember the one yes, I'm talking about? Yes. There's a bracelet that's had a beautiful cuff and it's oh, faceted. Oh, can it's you imagine this, doing it's that in this the card? Yes. Can you imagine doing that in your rainbows like that? Oh, nice. You I know look, the yeah. one I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't do. You? I because do. Because once upon a time, our kit team were actually going to try and uh, 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 and uh, design a kit around. Yeah. I showed this piece as part, not that one, but you could show it. Could show it. Nope. Could show that. Yeah, that wasn't what I was thinking of though. Scroll, keep scrolling down. There. There. Oh. The kit team will go into actually design a kit around this. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it, it, it didn't come into fruition. Can you imagine that now with the mm. multi colours? Oof. Stunning. Stunning. Oh. Oh. I did just oof on air. <laughs> I know. And I'm not even sorry. Are Oof. you sorry? No. I'm not it's sorry. Deserving, isn't it? That was it. You could make that bracelet probably multiple times over look as well. Because look. Ah, oh, brand new low price tag. Well done. Do you want another one, Claire? Yeah, let's have another one. Should we do another one? Yeah. How about? Oh, wait, I'm going to have to borrow the tea bar again. There's too many for me to handle. Here we go. <clears throat> In no particular order. Emerald. These are slightly smaller. These are the two to three millimetres. Beautiful. Sapphire. Moonstone. Tourmaline. Garnet. Ruby. Wow. Tanzanite. Amethyst. When you go there, I'm just trying to separate the colours. Clear quartz. Peridot. Aquamarine. We've all picked up the, th the theme, haven't we? And citrine. Beautiful. We know what they are, don't we? More birthstones, obviously. Yeah, if you don't know, it's on the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you have got the 12 strands uh, um, and birthstones, um, two to three millimetres in their size, 240 carats. So maybe these could be the tassels to that bracelet. Yes, or your earrings, couldn't you? If you wanted to make earrings, you wanted a slightly smaller size. Do you know, we've touched on, we, yeah, we've, and we've mentioned tassels. You know, we use, there's not many gemstones you can actually use in a tassel because they tend to need to be, well... There are, but the size has to be mm. sort of the balance, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, yeah. And you've got it there, haven't you? And again, so you've got the, the same sort of sizes in all those different gemstones. Beautiful. 12. Yes, 12. Ross says he's, he's going to do something mental. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> he's, fair enough. <laughs> Okay, do you want me to ask oh, that question? Oh, look at that. <gasps> Shall we ask that question? Ross says, this is how, this is how mental he is. 
Um, who would like these? Uh, what, sorry? £4.99 per strand. Yes, please. Amazing. I love Abs that twist. Yeah, look at that, Claire. That's perfection, isn't it? It's stunningly beautiful. Mm. And is that achievable using what? Just some wire? Yeah, you through? could use your, maybe your 0.4 wire. Um, depends what ends you were going to work with. Maybe, um, you know, your uh, cross structural, you know, beading thread. Oh, that's, that is, that's the way. If, you, if you're mm. unsure of wearing any colour, that's the way to do it. Just, just, it? just, yeah. Go all out. Yeah. Look at how beautiful. Who wants this under five pounds per strand? For tanzanite. Just, 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 just remember that you've got tanzanite, ruby, emeralds. You've got garnet, amethyst, peridot. You've got tourmaline. You've got clear quartz. You've got citrine. If I'd have done it in order, it'd been far easier, wouldn't it? Um, but you've got high caliber gemstones under five pound per strand. Ross, what an amazing, amazing deal. £59.88 for all 12 strands. It's incredible, isn't it? It, it? it really is, isn't it? And the, and the fact that, you know, they're not little short, itty-bitty strands. No, We're not no. talking about what we described once upon a time as taster strands. Do you remember those? You get, you get high-quality gemstones at a more affordable price. That was the concept. Um, but... You know, you've got, I've got more than enough to create probably two full stacker style bracelets. Yes, yeah, which, which could be a whole collection, couldn't it? You know, like Dave's designed his collection. You know, you, if you've got something like that, there's nothing to stop you. We've got your findings. Absolutely. And you, you, you do an incredible collection. Amazing, amazing, amazing. What, Ross, he says, I'm not happy with that price point. What do you mean? It's £59.88 for 12 strands of genuine gemstones. Is it just because it's not a nice round jewellery maker figure? Is that what it is? Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm... Uh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> um, um, uh, oh, yeah, we do, get, we do eat a lot of cake here at Jewellery Maker. That's why. Cake there. <laughs> That's your slice of cake as well. Oh. I've eaten mine. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Did you eat yours? While you were demoing, yeah. Oh, no. Let you into all our secrets. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Whenever the camera's not on me, I'm either eating cake, drinking tea, maybe a bit of melon. That's the inside. So it's yeah, do yogurt. Sick. I eat my yogurt this oh. morning, like seven o'clock. Oh. We're going to take it under fifty pounds, Claire, just because Ross, just because our Rossy doesn't like fifty-nine pounds and eighty-eight pence. I do get it though. Yeah. It's not. A, it's not a price point that sits comfortably with us. But we do kind of forget the fact that there's 12 beautiful, genuine gemstones in this opportunity. Let's do it anyway. Hayley, Deirdre, Yvette, Dorothy, Vanu, well done. Caroline, Janet, Dorothy and Sarah. How many do they have? Oh, this quantity. It's an absolute giveaway deal, isn't it? Look, people adding these to the baskets and stocking up your stashes. Absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm fond of a tassel. I do mm. like a tassel. It's a movement, isn't it? Mm. And, and, and with that, you get movement and so much sparkle. That's why I think when you twist it, that's why I think they look so beautiful. It's mm. because they're working together. Yeah. You're getting that amazing colour, of course, but mm. also that, that lovely luster on the uh, on the exterior. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're making the most of this amazing closeout deal. It has been an absolutely incredible, incredible Saturday morning show. But Claire's gorgeous kits this morning at nine o'clock. We had lounge hours, some closeout yeah, deals. Yeah, we've had it? tools, haven't we? And yeah. We've had Dave's amazing, uh, yes. amazing collection. Yeah, yeah. And now, uh, and, and of course, um, um, demonstrations and now close out deals I don't even know if we can buy them at this price tag 12 There's strands there, of beautiful gemstones yeah amazing Linda Janet well done to you Hertfordshire Kerry you're there as well Yorkshire congratulations make sure you check out new customers getting involved amazing um, keep on dialing through have I got what 
I do have an aquamarine strand. It actually caught my attention. So yeah, we, you mentioned that necklace. It was there was a piece of jewelry, and I think it was years ago, but it still sticks with me. I actually shared it on my presenter's page, not in a, in a PowerPoint or anything like that, but I shared it on my presenter's page. So I was like, look at how amazing this necklace is. And it was literally pearls, Baroque pearls, a big, big piece. It was mm. a statement mm. piece. Loads and loads of Baroque pearls that kind of, you know, just almost spread across the decolletage. Oh, wow. And then you had these beautiful little splashes you know, of aquamarine. I, I think I remember it. Do you remember that I piece? do. Yes, it's several years ago. Several now. Years. Yes, but I it do. It still sticks with me, I that do piece. know. I if do you know. went yes. far enough yeah. back on my presenter's page, yeah. you'll probably see it. Um, yeah. But it, th this strand just made me think about that. Mm, several yeah. years ago, just, a, a, I don't know, it's almost a, a, I almost want to say a, a crash of pearls, yeah. you know, almost like thinking yeah. of the waves as they crash upon the shore. But if you got the uh, the pearls from you, you did a bundle, didn't you? The three strands of pearls. Earlier this yes. morning. Yeah, incredible. Good call, Claire. Yeah. Oh, that's Look lovely. at that. Crystal clarity. Wow. But do you notice how the clarity is not, we're not making sacrifices uh, um, for the colour or vice mm. versa. Ignore the first price point. Genuine aquamarine with the beautiful Santa Maria blues. Amazing quality. Aquamarine, stop it. That's ridiculous. 19.99. So look, look, if you have aquamarine with clarity, more often than not, not always, obviously, but more often than not, you will have to substitute it maybe for the colour. If you have aquamarine with colour, more often than not, it's actually got quite a, le a level of opacity. To get both traits is fine quality. 25 carats of absolutely exquisite glacial clarity, natural aquamarine. It's not even heat treated. Ross, there's certain things we can do close out deals. Surely this shouldn't be one of them. What a lovely addition to those pills that you had earlier on. Mm. Yeah, perfect. Let's do it though. Close out deal. Never been anywhere. It shouldn't be anywhere near twenty pounds. Yeah, it should have been. I remember when strands of this grade would have been one hundred and nineteen pounds or one hundred and twenty nine pounds. Today, oh, oh, let's put it this way, Claire. With all, we get little perks, don't we? Get little. We do discounts. sometimes. Yeah, but yeah, sometimes it's not. You're better off shopping right now than you are as an employee, let's just put it that way. Mm. Yeah. 1999 was already ridiculous, wasn't it? But 1299. No disrespect and please take it as I mean it. That's a that's a courtside price. That's a cer certain mm. Jasper mm. prices, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes it is. Yeah. Not for that strand. Not for not for Aquamarine. You know, I mean that you take little in, you know, maybe inch amounts in, in your um, slider bracelets, you know, that I I'd say that would be Those earrings earlier. Yes, gosh, yes, on those diet. Yes. yes. How nice would they be on beautiful, those earrings that, that we had this morning? Yeah. But that would be, you know, that could be bridal jewellery, couldn't it? Definitely. You know, you're, the quality of that. Your delicate something yes, blue, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And also, I don't know if you saw on the, t on, the, on the desk, we actually had some little tanzanite earrings that Anne and Sue had created. Nice, so like yeah. just a, yeah. I don't know, a centimetre or so. Um, of your Tanzanite uh, rondelles. Imagine just that on, on, on your shepherd hook earrings that you might have already in your stash. Make sure you do check out your baskets. Um, how, many did I, how many did I have? Sorry? Well, it's not a closeout quantity, is it? A hundred? Oh, is that, yeah? Rogue. Rogue Ross. He's doing his own thing. He is. I quite like the rebellious Ross. Yeah, that's, that's like most it. of the time, isn't it? Yeah, it is, to be fair. Yeah. It's not, it's not, it's... It, <laughs> It is. It does. It's not. It's not a a, a, um, a rare occurrence. No, happens quite a lot. Yeah. Christina Vet, Anna, Tricia. Well done, everybody. Keep on dialing through. We are running out of time, but what an amazing, amazing deal for fun. You've got their glacial clarity with your Santa Maria mm. colour, which is amazing. Have a little look back on the website, uh, um, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, to see if you have any opportunities remaining to get hold of Queen Conch. We are talking, remember that statistic, one in a billion chance. Um, and yet, 
We've managed this amazing collection. Mm. I'm truly, truly, truly grateful mm. to, um, to Fabulous Dave for making this dream possible. Well done, everybody. And it will only get better when it lands on your doorstep as well. Congratulations. And thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a wonderful day. Likewise to you, Claire. Oh, thanks. I've had a wonderful morning. It's been, it's been just it's been, start to yeah. finish stunning. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Thank you. Do you know when you're back? Uh, next Friday, I think. Next Friday. We yes. look forward yeah. to that. Ha enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Lovely joy makers. We'll see you soon.